<laughs> sorry, sorry for the delayed stream. It has been just over a day, but we are back. <laughs> I don't know if I can say good. You know what? I'll still say good morning because I always say good morning. It is not morning here. This is a late stream and a rare late stream these days. But good morning. Welcome on in, everyone. Welcome on in, Orti, and welcome on in, Anime, and welcome on in, Teacup. Oh, Teacup. Yeah, sorry. Excuse me. I nearly called you Teacup. Teacup. Welcome on in. I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, really sorry about the abrupt end to yesterday's stream, and I'm sorry that I couldn't post what happened in chat. Because I'd gone offline, my phone couldn't connect to my Twitch chat even with data, so I, could, I couldn't type anything in there to be like, hey guys, uh, we've had a power cut. Um, and we, yeah, we had some flashes. They were all really short ones, thankfully, but they'd knock our, they knocked our internet out. So every time it happened, not only would the PC turn off, but the internet would cut out and then we'd have to wait for that to reboot every time. So I was just like, you know what, <laughs> if this is gonna, if this is gonna keep happening, we'll just wait for things to even out. But they have. So uh, yes, things are back to normal now. Thankfully, touch wood, touch wood. Uh, let me, let me switch to this screen. Hello, hello. I'm sorry, I feel like a bit of a mess this afternoon, but I hope everyone's doing well. Welcome on in. Glad it's fixed. Yeah, I really don't know what caused it in the first place. The other thing is, I went back to see like, well, to see what it looked like when we cut off, right? Because I was like, I hope hope that it was okay and that it wasn't too dramatic or anything. Uh, but yeah, no, it's quite funny. <laughs> I didn't realize you guys could actually see when the power went off. I didn't realize it would catch that because I had assumed, because when the lights flashed, the power went off for me. And I was like, but it's still captured for like an extra few seconds. So you guys saw my lights flashing before they went off. And I was quite surprised to see that. I didn't realize that it, that would happen. I thought you'd have immediately got cut off when like, cause my PC went down. So I was like, oh, you would have been cut off then. But you weren't, you weren't. <laughs> Weird. I mean, it was only an extra couple, like two seconds or whatever. But yeah, it was still cool. I didn't know that could happen. Also, Lagoon, good morning, good morning. And she leaves, good morning. And Clues, good morning. I know it's not technically morning, but I'm still gonna say good morning because that's what I like welcoming on people in, in the morning. I watched it back also yesterday, joined right. Oh, did you? That's a good point, Anime. Yeah, I don't think I actually saw you <laughs> because you might have joined right as we lost power. But yeah, no. Um, it flashed a couple times and then and then cut out for us it kept going um but yeah no it was just like on off on off um and yeah then it affected our area for a while so it's better now thankfully <laughs> there was blame anime in chat jello is back yeah uh, i do have a couple things i want to go over really quickly um one of them's not so fun one of them is fun so <laughs> we got a bit of both it's not really unfun um basically i'm sick yay i've actually been sick for a little while uh we thought i was ill we thought i was coming down with something uh this week and uh i am i have no, i am not very well <laughs> not sick with like a cold or anything thankfully my body's attacking itself again i'm the problem it's me uh but no i'm on antibiotics now everything should be fine but uh, i just wanted to give a little bit of a heads up i'm very tired i've been very tired all week and i couldn't quite work out why and even more now, I am very sleepy. So if I'm like staring off into space, if I'm getting a bit like tired looking or anything like that, don't worry about it. It's gonna last two weeks. <laughs> Got two week treatment, potentially three. Um, and then hopefully I should be better. But I don't want anyone to think that if I've been low energy or if I am like a bit quieter, uh, that I'm not having a good time or that I'm upset or sad. I'm not, <laughs> I, I am not sad. I really, I was like umming and ahhing about whether posting this in the discord or not, because I don't want to worry anyone. And it's not, it's not a worrisome thing. It's a, it's a long-term thing. I'm used to this. Um, but uh, yes, I, I didn't want to worry anyone, so I, but I thought I should mention it because I don't want anyone to be like, oh, Jelly's not enjoying the Goblin Project. Oh, Jelly's not having a good time. She keeps going quiet. She keeps staring off into space. Like, no, I'm just, I'm just ill. <laughs> I'm just tired. Um, the other thing is like for a late stream like today, I, I wouldn't normally stream after lunch. It's just because of the power going out. Uh, but yeah, for like a late stream like today, I might not go for as long because I'm going to get tired. Uh, so we'll see if I get to four hours. Amazing. That's kind of my goal. If I can get to four hours, I'd really like that. Cause also I, I do want to get this work done and I'm enjoying it. Uh, but uh, yes, I am a little limited at the moment, unfortunately. Uh, it is what it is. Got one of them bods, one of them bods. Ah, oh, dear, anime crashed the power. Absolutely, just, damn it, anime, how dare you crash the power? <laughs> but not just me, but everyone in our area. <laughs> also, Maggie, good morning, welcome on in. Boo, bad body, very bad. If you're having fun, that's all that matters, exactly. Yeah, this is the thing, it's like, I wouldn't want to take like two to three weeks off streaming until I'm better because like, what am I going to do in that time? I'm just going to be bored. But yeah, if, I, if I'm feeling a bit tired, if I'm being a bit spacey, if I'm forgetting things, I am tired. I'm, t I, I'm attacking myself. 
constantly. Um, but on the positive side, is Rax and Egg one of the outcomes? It's not getting better because I am fighting something else, yeah. It, it, the rash on the neck I've had, well, I had it, it, it happens every year, Mystic. Like, I get it, it's eczema that is caused by, like, pollen and stuff. So it happens every year in the spring, and it lasts, like, a couple weeks normally. Uh, but then, yeah, because I got sick, I've not been able to get better. Uh, from that and a couple other things as well. Basically, when your body's fighting an infection, you just, everything goes under. <laughs> You're just like, great. Um, but yeah, no, we've sorted that out now. Well, I say we sorted it out. We're on the path to sorting it out. Um, so yes, woke up with too much power and then I took some of yours. <laughs> Oh dear. I think I think actually what happened was the opposite, which could mean that it was you with too much power. I think we had too much power shoot through the system or something and it knocked us out. Uh, that's what it looked like online. And it wasn't just our area, there are a few areas in Wales where it looked like we had like a bit of a power, like woof, and then everything knock out, if that makes sense. Oh dear, I haven't been around that long to say it before. Yeah, normally I get it, well normally I get it on my face to be honest, so it's even more obvious. But it only lasts for a few weeks normally, and this time it's taken a bit longer to get better, but because I'm fighting other things like myself, you know, I'm just a bit too busy fighting myself right now <laughs> to recover. But no, we'll be fine. But again, I didn't want to mention it because if I'm coming across as low energy, if anyone's like worried that I'm not enjoying myself, that's not the case. I'm very much enjoying uh, Goblins. I've actually really liked this arc. Uh, if any, it, this is probably one of the most fun detours we've had this year so far. Actually, maybe just one of the most fun detours we've had in streaming. I've really loved every bit of it. I've loved the embroidery aspects. I've loved drawing you guys as Goblins. I've actually really enjoyed drawing this very small one-off mini comic. <laughs> uh, it's it's just been really fun. I've, I've really, really been enjoying it. So I I don't, I don't want anyone to worry that I'm not having a good time or that I'm not enjoying streaming or if I'm not enjoying anything. I am. I am. I promise I am. I'm just a little under the weather and I probably will be for two to three weeks uh, until I'm feeling a bit better. <laughs> And that's fine. We'll get through it. I might mention it. I, I don't really want to mention it in the Discord, to be honest, because I don't want anyone to worry. You know, I don't want anyone to be like, oh my god, she's dying. I'm not dying. <laughs> I'll be fine. Ah, uh, dear. On the plus side, this happened now and not near Chromacore. Because could you imagine being tired doing Chromacore? Couldn't be me. <laughs> I don't want that. Oh dear. Hello. Hello, Nior. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Again, yeah. Sorry for everyone yesterday for just dipping suddenly. Um, yeah, I mean, the, 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 the power was in and out. It wasn't like it just cut completely. Um, but it was like flashing. <laughs> I mean, I guess you kind of saw it at the end of stream. It was just whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, I was most worried about the fridge. I mean, I don't know how everyone else deals with power cuts, but my main fear when, when power goes out, is like the fridge, the freezer. Uh, like, are we going to have to start emptying this? Are we going to flood our kitchen because our freezer's defrosting? So the first, like, I, I got the messages in the Discord so people knew what was happening. And then I, I went straight downstairs and I was like, how's our fridge doing? <laughs> is our fridge okay? Is it happy? Uh, uh, do we need to keep an eye on the fridge? <laughs> but it seems like because it wasn't for too long each time that it was like able to recool itself and we haven't had any problems, which is also good because I don't know if you guys have ever had it where your fridge is fully defrosted because of a power cut, but it costs a lot of, you, you don't realize how much you keep in the freezer until you have to restock the freezer and you're like, oh my God, this is gonna cost a lot. Does the fridge need emotional support? Yes, it did yesterday, but now it's doing okay. <laughs> now it's doing okay. <laughs> to be fair, it never really got that bad because again, the power kept coming back and so it would be able to like recall itself and then and then it would go out and then it recall itself so it, it never really got that hot or anything so everything's okay i'm not dying i'm not dying you're damn right i'm not uh is your fridge running <laughs> gotta chase after it yeah no no yes it is running it is running just fine thank you it's going on little laps around the around the area getting its steps in you know I'll say good morning, Grubbit. I know it's not morning anymore, but I will still wish everyone a good morning. <laughs> but yes, I think I think that's about all I need to say. I, I did do one page yesterday. The, the main issue we were having is because every time the power went off, it knocked the internet out, which t means, I don't know again how your guys' internet goes, but when our internet gets knocked out, it takes like 15 minutes for it to reboot every time. <laughs> So even if it only the power only goes out for like five seconds, it then takes 15 minutes to reboot the internet again. Um, so the main issue we were having yesterday was actually more to do with the internet, even though it was the power that was going out. Um, but yes, uh, I have done one page. 
uh, since you last saw it. It was the one we were going to do yesterday on stream. I did it off stream, between, when I could. Uh, and I never actually had any issues really with the power cuts. Like, uh, I, I didn't lose any save to work. I just saved regularly. I got I was in a good habit of saving yesterday. Nothing makes you save like imminent power cuts. <laughs> Your steps? Hell yeah. Oh great! I was lurking your stream this morning. How did it go? Because you were playing a... Uh, oh, was it Elden Ring? It was one of those style games. One of those style uh, fighty fighty games. How was it? I hope you had a good stream. Hey again, great! Hell yeah. I saw Sean was there as well. I just had to be lurky lurky. And Lady Valeria, welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. We're doing a secret rogue late stream today. This is much later than I normally go live. Um, so... We'll see how long we last for. Uh, I needed to catch you up on the the thing. Oh, wait, that's really zoomed in. Uh, fit the screen, fit the screen. Here we go. Let me show you the page we made yesterday. I say we, I made yesterday. Uh, I also have uh, added the, the new pages to this so that this will, the, I've made basically a new screen which is just for doing this so that anyone who's missed out on any of the work we've done, it, you can catch up. It's just going to be scrolling here through the pages we've already finished. Um, and then whenever we finish a new page, I'll add it to that so that anyone can catch up at any time. I know it's a little difficult to read the text on there, I'm sorry. But you can get a general vibe, hopefully, from the pictures. Yes. Oh dear. Smooch and Peanut, good morning and on the YouTube, how you doing? Hi! Hi! How goes it? I was near. That's what it was. I was like, it was some kind of fighty fighty pretty game. Nier, that makes sense. I've played the original Nier. I've not played Automatica. Um, I played, Nier was one of those games, I remember picking it up on sale ages ago for like Xbox 360 or something. It was some one of the older consoles and being like, this is a really weird game. <laughs> but I quite enjoyed it. Um, yeah. Oh dear. That's a cat's a literal bean. Yes, bean cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they got on the Twitch. No, you're fine, Peanut. Have a lovely, have a lovely trip. Near, 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 America. Near. I've always said near, but if it's near, my bad. Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure it was near. It could be wrong. But yeah, you can see all the pages going across our head. I actually as well, yesterday, because I couldn't really do a lot of things, because again, if the internet gets knocked out, you're waiting for ages for it to reset every time. But I was like scrolling on my phone a lot, because I was like... <laughs> I don't want to become a webcomic artist, to be clear. I think you have to have a real drive and passion to do that kind of thing, and my passion lies elsewhere, like with sewing and embroidery and stuff like that. So I have a sneaking suspicion that's not in my, like, long term, but we've met quite a few people who are aiming to be webcomic artists and stuff like that, like Grey Mouse, like a few others who have popped by as well. And I was having a little look into like how people get into it and like I, I was just doing the research because I was interested I had nothing else to do so I was like let me let me scroll and have a little look and I was like looking at the work schedule for you guys and like what a normal web comic artist schedule is and like okay I'm a workaholic and I, I'm quite happy to self-admit that it's insane how <laughs> it is abs like what I, I just don't know if I believe it like I was reading stuff and I was like there's no way there's no fear, like you, you, like when are you sleeping? I, I was so confused. The the journey went smoothie. Hell yeah, peanut. Hell yeah, it's nice to see you. Uh, I guess you haven't seen their hair. No, I haven't, and I don't think I want to. You're insane. You're insane. Passion for fashion. Yeah, I have a passion for fashion. <laughs> but uh, as much as I'm loving these goblins, I don't think I've had so much there. Ah, oh, it was fun. I played it through once. It's all very familiar to me on a second playthrough. That's kind of nice though. That's kind of lovely. Web comic artists are weird. You're, you are, <laughs> in the very nice way possible. Like, the the amount of work that people will have to put in to get these web comics out, and like the schedules a lot of people are working on, it's quite into- I, 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 I almost like, I was like looking at it, I was like, there's no way, I wish I had it on the screen, because like I had it on such a small screen, it's a little difficult. But I was like going through different articles, and they were saying like, oh yeah, you want like a minimum of 40 pages a chapter, and I was like, that seems very high. How often do you want to get a chapter out? Every week. How? How are you doing? For There's no way. <laughs> so you're like looking at all these different articles telling you like what new webcomic artists are meant to be doing, and it's like, new webcomic artists are meant to be doing 40 pages a week. I don't think that's possible. <laughs> I think I think even completing one or two pages a week is quite a lot. So, ex excuse me? Also, when they were saying, of, of like, depending on the genre, you might want to do up to 70, 70 pages for, for one chapter. And I was like, that's going to take me a year to do one chapter. Like, what the, what the, like, it just, like, it wasn't, I couldn't, 
I can't put it together how you could physically do that, not without at least having like a whole team of people working for you. Like if you're a full studio, maybe, but like, anyway, I, I left it feeling very incredulous. Like, I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> like, I like working. I like being busy, but I think that's too much for me even. I don't understand. I, I genuinely cannot put together how people are managing that. Like, I, I, if any webcomic artist happened to be here and they're doing 40 pages a week, I'd love to know <laughs> like what you're doing to get that out there. It just doesn't feel possible. Oh, dig it. Oh, have a lovely time. Take care, Lagoon. Sleepers for the week. <sighs> this is so important. Oh, you have the fire remote. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I don't have a standard schedule since I work full time and then my comic is part time. But I feel like that's the majority. It's got to be the majority of artists, right? Because you're not just going to be like a famous, well paid artist off the bat. I've got to assume that like most people are making these webcomics around a full time or at least part time employment. Like, unless you really like hit it off, I don't imagine it's gonna be paying your bills and you, you're gonna need to pay your bills. So like, if you're imagining you're working a nine to five and then you have like a few hours in the evening you can chip away and that's, like how are you, sorry? <laughs> Excuse me? And then you're expecting to do 40 pages of minimum a week? Like in three hours, maybe like, maybe you have 15 hours during the week, which is still quite a lot. Like I, and that's on the upper end of what you probably actually have between like washing clothing, all that kind of stuff. But say you have 15 hours Monday to Friday and then you have like one full day uh, on the weekend. Maybe, because then you at least you have one day off a week. <laughs> and uh, so we take it up to like, I don't know, 20, 25, no, no, 20, 22, 23, I'll say 22, 22 hours a week to do 40 pages. <laughs> you gotta go to like half an, you've less than half an hour of a page. That's mad. That's just not possible. I just don't think that's possible. In any, I don't understand. My sleep schedule has not been on my side. My brain physically cannot rest until it's past 2 a.m. Oh, heck. I hope that you manage to get some good sleep soon. I hope something changes. I think most people make the first season when it's completely done, they post it every week and then work on the next season. I can only imagine that's the only way to do it, anime, because like to get that kind of schedule out there, I just don't understand. Oh, uh, they're definitely not doing 40 pages a week. Maybe one a week at best. Well, I feel like that's much more realistic. <laughs> Well, you also do do very, like, a lot of art. You're a very art-heavy comic, but, like, I could maybe do two weeks if I fully dedicated myself, maybe three if I don't do bathroom breaks, but, like, you, it, it's mad. It's absolutely mad. I, again, I am very new to looking into this industry. It's only because of me meeting a few people that do web comics, like yourself and, like, a couple of others, and also, like, uh... Like, because I'm making this, not again as a full series, but just as like an introduction that I'm kind of getting more interested in. And yesterday I just happened to have a lot of free time. So I was like doing a lot of scrolling around and it kind of just left me feeling angry. I don't know, like, I just don't feel like it's possible without a studio. But they're like saying, well, if you want to make it big, I was like, there's no way, there's no way most people can do that. Like, unless it's like that I'm severely overlooking. And again, like anime said, I guess if you make the whole season to release it week by week, then that, that does make it it's still a huge off the off the bat workload but like i guess it makes it slightly better you don't have that week to week stress as much but damn like I, i've heard stories of like webcomic artists burning out really quickly and the more that i read about it the more i'm like what's well, no surprise like the expectations on their workloads is so high like you could and, and again another another realization of me and that this is not going to be a good idea for me because as much as i'm a workaholic i don't know if i have that passion <laughs> I, just, I, just, I feel like there's got to be quite a hefty amount of passion Oh dear, it really depends on how detailed it is. I don't think comments are usually as detailed as you make it. But like, this is not that detailed, right? Like these aren't, and I, I, I don't know. I guess those didn't take as long, but these panels, like they do, I guess. I have also, look, a friend. Look at this friend. They can't read, but they keep me company. That's me. That's my self insert character right there. And I also can't read. <laughs> I just keep people company. <laughs> Uh, I'm a high detail mouse. You are, you are. Am I going to have this insane making anime is? Yeah. I assume it's most of that backlogging that anime is talking about, but to me it sounds very draining. Yeah, like backlogging a lot and not even knowing if anyone will see it to read. 
Um, I, I guess it depends also what you're trying to make out of it. You want trying to make it a job or maybe some some background income if it's just a little bit. Um, for me, I guess I'm I'm not making a whole comic. I'm just making the first chapter effectively because the rest of what I do want to do is embroidered. Um, but it so so there's not that same pressure. So yeah, just to be clear, I'm fine. I just was feeling very incredulous and like kind of concerned <laughs> about the web. Like that's so much work. I don't know, kind of concerned. Ah, oh, damn. The ones above you did fast. I did. They did. But I just... But, like, trying to do that multiple days... I I think even I'd burn out. And I, I'm not someone who burns out very easily. And I think I'd burn me out. I stream the comic process become important that I don't backlog my processes. Because otherwise people are going to be waiting a really long time to see... Yeah, I get that. I get that. That makes very, that makes a lot of sense. My friend loves books. But if you hand me a book, I, um, I will read it. But not remember anything that I just read. <laughs> like, it just goes in one and out the other. Oh dear. I can do digital ones. I just need to blow the text up. I can read. My eyesight's just not very good. <laughs> I I don't keep it as a hobby very often. But I guess that's why I like things like webcomics. Because I, I do read manga and webcomics. Um, and I like those because so much of it's communicated by picture and that works better for someone like me who sometimes struggles with text. Um, and I like the pictures. I love, I like the pictures. I'm here for the art. Oh my god, Saki! Saki, how was your stream? We've literally just gone live. <laughs> We're doing a very late, late stream today. How was your stream? And what did you get up to today? Oh god, that's a really, that's big text. That's a big old text. Oh, bless you. Thank you for shouting out, Saki. I can do the, the Twitch shout out as well. There we go. How was your stream? How was your art? Uh, Saki does really, really lovely typography, but they've also been doing this really cool, like almost pop arty kind of pieces recently uh, with like video game characters and stuff like that. How, how was your stream? I hope you had a good one. I'm an audiobook kind of guy, yeah. Uh, there's a raid from Saki Sean. Welcome on in. How you doing? I hope you're doing well. Welcome on in. How you doing, Jelly? I'm good, thank you, Sean. How are you? I'm a bit sleepy, but other than that, I'm surviving. Sleepy but surviving. And our power's back, which is nice. <laughs> oh, dear. I think this new chapter will be the first last chapter I have. My previous chapters were only 10 pages, so I might aim for 20. But again, this is another bit that was sorry, welcome on in everyone. We've been talking about webcomics and like the processes behind making webcomics and the workloads and stuff like that because we are technically making a very short webcomic it's just one chapter it's nothing more than that we are technically doing that for goblins we've uh, we've literally just started stream but i made this page yesterday and today we're going to be working on this page i've just done like some basic outlines of what i want to do so yeah yeah and we we made this the other day off stream so i guess actually i've made both these pages off stream <laughs> We try to keep the kind of same sort of color palette between the two. Oh god, where'd you go? You want to go back in there? There we go. You want to go back in there? Nice. Uh, let's put you in here. In order, please. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. And then if I do that, uh, fit the screen. Fit the screen. There we go. Good stuff. Good stuff. Hi Cthulhu. How goes it? I hope you're doing well. Welcome on in. It was good. Sure, that's funny. My body failed, but I, you know, I'll drop what I just finished. Hell yeah. Well, look, look forward to saying your powers are back. My powers are back. They've been gone a long time, but they're back. Drop it in here and rest. That's very fair. If you need to go look after yourself, get a drink or some food or lie down, whatever you need, go do it. You're more than welcome. So just, uh, we are raiding a trace stream named Jelly. And, and the, oh, and I get to that. Bless you. Thank you, Saki. And thank you, Sean. It's very kind of you. Making a one-shot comic. Yeah, syrup is my spirit animal. Exactly. Me too. The, the, I wanted a self-insert. People said, make a self-insert. And I was like, I'll do it. Here's my self-insert. <laughs> they can't read. They're just here for good vibes. Good vibes and chill. They don't read books. Me, me, me need the syrup. <laughs> uh, how does this... It's not a cat, it's a slime. This is but a little slime. Wait, is that a cat or a pet rock? It's a slime. It's a little slime. I mean, it's meant to be my self-insert, so I feel like it makes sense. There they are. Look, see, they're just a little guy. They're just a little slimy guy. Ah, oh, dear. Ah... Uh, uh, I do love how you talk. Oh, I'm glad. Thank you, uh, Count. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I've been really enjoying drawing goblins. It's been good heckin' fun. Good. Would recommend to anyone. Important question, as we've missed out. What was for lunch today? It was naan bread with curry inside. And yes, it was really good. I needed it. <laughs> naan bread with curry inside. What curry? Good question. I don't know. I get what I'm given and I eat. Good bread bread. I had bread bread. I had the bread bread with the tea tea. <laughs> Queena, welcome 
coming in. How you doing? Personally, I thought it was a pet rock. <laughs> Got a little guy. Yeah, it's my little fella. Uh, do, do you have those slime yo-yo things? I don't think I did. Tasty. I had bread bread with my TT. <laughs> Yeah, it was very delicious. Whatever was in it was great. Oh dear. I don't have anything else, unfortunately, that works as bread, bread, or TT. Uh, but yeah, no, this is my little guy. I made my little goblins. We're getting the story done. Uh, we, I actually maybe have less pages than I thought because uh, there's a couple pages that kind of got condensed together when I was planning, and I didn't, I didn't put it two and two together. This is page eight. We have page nine here, which is talking a little bit more about what Charlotte does. Uh, when when people are busy and then we have page 10 which is their aspirations and then page 11 why they can't have their aspirations and then the solution in page I've lost count this was <laughs> 10 11 12 so it might only be 12 pages 12 pages yep uh, and then that would technically get us ready to start the animation. I might also make pages for what the animation would have been and just make that the whole thing. Uh, but that won't matter. That's not what I need right now. What I need right now is these first 12 pages. I, I haven't actually done page one and I need to go back and do that at some point. Chuck syrup at the ceiling, would they stick? Oh, this is the real law questions we need, would they? Probably. <laughs> you could have secret agent, secret agent the syrup, just throw them at a wall and they'll stay. <laughs> Oh dear. Ratchet being a plushy bee on his dark cord. Oh, so I can attach it to a little gut companion. That's so cute. A little bee? I love bees. Bees are great. One a 10 out of 10. Oh dear. The slime insert is giving me a boy and his blob vibes. A nan bread with curry inside the bread is a goal to find and eat. That is really good. It's like cut it open, put it in, put the lid back on and eat it. Like, yeah, it's delicious. <laughs> delicious. It's really good. I feel like any curry could do that. Oh dear. I mean, when you're done with the animation, you can take some of the frames. I could also do that. That's a very fair point, anime. Yeah, if I wanted to, like, post a completed thing, I could. Uh, but it'd be nice just to have, like, the basic story in a way... I might not even need to... To be fair, I might not even need to upload it to a webcomic website. I could probably just do, like, this and have it a bit bigger on screen and people could just catch up throughout the stream, right? I, I, if I had a link to somewhere where you could see them, well, I guess it'd be nice if you wanted to fake, take a little longer reading it. But I could literally just have it on screen as a slideshow and people could catch up like that. It, it, there is that possibility. And I'm tempted to do that, to be honest. If you don't want to work on the clack costume, yeah, I have. I've been doing more smocking. Uh, although I don't know where I've put it because the bag that had my smocking in it, I've moved it because I needed to put something else there. Oh, also I went to the charity shop and I got lots of purple thread for one pound. <laughs> I, I don't know if that counts as working on the collector, but it matches the darker color of the collector. But yeah, no, I've been doing working on the other half of the smocking for the jacket slowly in the background because we did one side all on stream, so I'm just getting the other side done off stream. Uh, it was a gift from his father, so he gives it. He carries it with him everywhere. Hell yeah! It was a bit of a metal. It was like the metal bit of a morning star, but made of rubber, filled with slime and a little figure inside, and you'd squeeze in of it. I don't know that I've ever had something like that. I mean, I, I would be interested in seeing it, but I don't think I've had that. Wait, we've been banished. You have been. Yeah, there's no no Twitch chat on stream right now because, or YouTube chat on stream, because I, I've prioritized this, which is just so that people who are new know exactly where we are. Also, Sleeves, welcome in on the YouTube as well. Yeah, uh, just so people know exactly where we are with the story and how many pages we've done and what we've got up to. I just, I think it's a really easy way for people to catch up and I, I'm kind of, yeah, I prioritize that to be honest, especially because I didn't, I did one of the pages on Wednesday off stream and then yesterday, obviously we lost power. <laughs> so when that was going in and out, I was doing the other page off stream as well. So just to catch people up. Uh, but yeah, this is the page I worked on yesterday and this is the page I worked on on Wednesday. I'm actually super proud of this. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I had to draw everything, like the all of the road bits, which took forever and all the trees and all the things. And also now that this is all in one thing, you can't see the leg, but you know what? I'm really proud of it. I'm really hecking proud of it. And I like that they've got color now because before it was kind of up in the air, whereas now, now you kind of know what colors they're meant to be and I can just also pick the colors from them for other things. We have uh, more backstory about Mabel. We have names. Uh, the only person who's not been named so far is the main character, which is Charlotte. So we're getting there. We're getting there. Things are happening. I wish I remember the name of it. I wouldn't even know what to look up. No, I don't know either. 
Oh dear. I <laughs> should mention Ratchet Father went missing as well. The night before he gave Ratchet to the beast, so he has a lot of reason to keep it for sentimental reasons. Oh dear. I have a feeling if Ratchet met Charlotte, the main character in this one, I don't think they'd get along. <laughs> Charlotte is the opposite of sentimental, uh, like not interested in sentiment, interested in results. <laughs> I feel like I feel like they would not get on at all. <laughs> oh dear! Uh, do not squeeze the poo. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's very bad. Disgusting. Disgusting. No one likes that. The covers are made to love the cobblestone path. Thank you. I'm glad. Oh yeah, they probably would not get along. <laughs> Uh, dear. Mabel's very sentimental. Maybe you get along with Mabel. Mama Mabel, very sentimental. Oh yeah, for dummy series. <laughs> it's. <laughs> oh no, it's too far. Too far. <laughs> get me out of here. Get me out of here. Thank you for the horn. It's necromancy for dummies. Oh Saki. For two months, bless you! Thank you, sorry, I just assumed it was a horn. Thank you so much for the two month subscription, that's very heckin' kind of you. Thank you so much, Saki. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Studies for the dummy series. Yeah, yeah, necromancy for dummies. <laughs> it, I tried to make it nice and small so that you couldn't really tell that it was that from like when you see the whole page. But if you zoom in, yeah, it's necromancy for dummies. <laughs> Gonna ask chat GBT what? For what? <laughs> Necromancy for dummies? You should do it. <laughs> Ratchet doesn't sweat, and I think the closest thing he said to an insult is calling someone a sticky wicket. Sticky wicket? Wait, that's- I've heard that- wait. Two seconds. That's- I recognize a sticky- sticky wicket? Isn't that a- th That's a thing, isn't it? Wait, what does it mean? I'm gonna Google it. Oh dear. Oh, yeah, 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 like when something's gone wrong. Yeah, sticky wicket, I believe. I think that's like a slang we have here sometimes. Sometimes. I don't hear it very often, to be fair, but I think we have it occasionally. Oh, dear. Let me, let me. Sweep, 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 sweep. There we go. Ah, oh, dear. Let me mention the old blocks for my friends. Where do you go? I'm done and post the Discord. Uh, once all the pieces are together and the court's finished, I'm going to digitalize my tattoos and avoid them so I can add them to my clothes and have tattoos. <gasps> Wait, that's such a good idea, Cthulhu. Wait, that's so clever. <laughs> what? I had never thought of that. That's such a good idea. Yeah, because if you've got tattoos that are like covered a lot, yeah, you could just put them on your clothing so that people don't, that's such a good idea. Hell yeah, I never thought of that. That's big brain, a thousand big brain. Oh dear. Tattoos over tattoos, yeah, that's really cool. Sue, so you wouldn't look at every single pixel of your artwork and spend so much time to <laughs> no. I, I, I mainly, uh, to be honest, the thing that I really struggled with this was colouring it. I had a really difficult time getting a cohesive colour palette that I also fit the colours I wanted the goblins to be. Like, because I did, although I always paint her dress really dark, I don't want it to actually be black. And I wanted it to be really fancy. Like, the idea that her mother is a tailor so as a kid she'd be wearing really nice clothing i felt like that makes sense so i wanted to I, I know it's a bit of an odd outfit for a goblin but i think it makes sense in the context that the mum is literally a tailor so it's like yeah you know she'd be making like if as a, and my, if i was a mother i'd be making my kid fancy clothing because why the hell not uh especially if i didn't have anything else to do <laughs> oh dear love my tattoos i'm always covered up yeah Ratchet was based on a cockney child. He does have some English sand and graded him. That's great. I like that. I like that very much. I wonder if my friends heard you say, that's such a good idea, Cthulhu. <laughs> that's such a good idea, Cthulhu. Wow, Cthulhu coming into chat with all the big brain ideas. Lots of prism. Good morning. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. And Icarus, I'm your said friend. Oh, hi. We have Cthulhu in chat. They are very talented, Eldritch Horror. Uh, they make amazing quilts. <laughs> Would recommend. Uh, I love the colour pack, it's very well thought out, it gives me warm fuzzies. I want it to be like full vibes. You know, maybe a little autumnal. Like there's green, but also it kind of suits because I I took swatches from the other bits, like like the other pages before, which were green and, and red, and kind of altered those to make some of the colours so that it felt like it didn't not fit in with the rest of the comic. I'm the Elder Chara, it's me! <laughs> <laughs> the goblin cobblers uh, do none of wearing them shoes. Nah, I, I will say I drew this quite quickly. I think you'll probably see. Oh, I 
actually, there's definitely prop. There's errors in this road. Yeah, like me not lining things up perfectly. There's a little error. You see that? I didn't erase that. But I, I was just. I think there's probably worse ones. Oh yeah, there's one. Speaking of. Oh my god! Look, wait. Look at this. Disgusting. <laughs> Disgusting. I'm still learning. It's fine. <laughs> oh dear. Hell yeah. I love that I can say I'm friends with Cthulhu. A hundred percent. Oh dear. Ratchet down the Goblin Cobbler. Hell, you gotta have cobbled streets. It's where I grew up. I grew up in cobbled streets. It's important for like country aesthetic. Real perks there. Oh yeah, I know I make cobblers. Oh, it's in the shoemakers. I see, I see. Not as in the cobbles. Yeah, there are shoes for goblins, but I just feel like they don't always choose to wear them. Doing cross stitching. Are you having a nice relaxing time? Couldn't say I didn't catch that. Uh, well, I didn't go through all the pixels. Yeah, there are mistakes. There are mistakes here and there. I am still learning, uh, but that's okay. I don't mind them being mistakes because I'm still really happy with everything. Oh dear, I struggled with it before, but I'm trying again many months later. Hell yeah, Blobcat. It's not a cat, it's a slime. However, I understand. <laughs> Do I understand the sentiments? Yes. <laughs> but it's meant to be, it's meant to be me. That right there, that's me. <laughs> Like look at its look at its like empty face. That's me. <laughs> it's not a pet rock. It's me. <laughs> I gave them a little bow. Yeah, I wanted them to feel pretty. <laughs> oh dear, not a cat. It's me. Look at the look at his this, this soulless eyes. <laughs> oh dear. But yes. We have things to do. We have we have got on the next page. So this page is introducing the mum as a tailor. The job is stitching protection rooms onto uh, wizard clothes. So that's the idea of also bringing the setting after the king turned his back on us. Many smaller settlements started conflicts over the land. So hopefully it makes sense as to why there'd be like potentially touring wizards, people who need protection and power runes, stuff like that. And and Mabel specifically is a seamstress who's very good at doing very neat, nice runes, which help protect people. Uh, on this page, we're going to be talking more about what Charlotte's doing because Charlotte is still a, a younger goblin. So during those times, goes to goes to read, just reads everything. Can't sew, so reads. And uh, yeah, that's kind of where they get an interest in books. We have a page after that, which is currently just my initial sketch. Uh, for anyone who's interested, <laughs> I don't have a drawing tablet, so initial sketching on is kind of difficult for me. So I do all of my initial sketches uh, like this in in a book. Like they're all like, like there was the previous page. It's really subtle, but it's there. And then there's the page that we're looking at right now. I just do them as like sketches in a book first to get the initial bits out because it's much quicker than trying to do like an initial sketch with pen. Uh, but yes, it's it's just my sketch. And then I, I kind of switch it up. Like for instance, in cases like this, I completely redid the sketch anyway, because it wasn't quite right. But uh, yeah, do it like that. I do it like that. Ah, oh dear. I got 64 ends to weave it on my crochet, but I'm not excited. <laughs> You've got this. You've got this, Peanut. It might it might take a mo, but I believe in you. I believe in you and your weaving. That is how I feel on the inside. Just head empty, no thoughts. Yeah. Ah, oh, dear. It's a bookmark kit with sloths. Oh my god, so cute. I've been doing the thread nobbing like you. Have you been enjoying your thread noms? Ah, oh, it's a compulsion. Yeah, it's just you see thread and you must eat it. Oh dear. But yes, that's where we're up to. We've got some of this. Uh, I've also been referring to them as ma'am. Uh, I, I, this is kind of an inside joke. <laughs> but, but at the end of the day, this isn't a full comic, so I think that it's fine. Um, so I say mum, because I grew up in England. But in Wales, Shiny says ma'am, because that, they grew up in Wales. So I've called them ma'am. Because it's just a little, it's just a little inside. This is a silly, silly little inside joke. I know over in America you have mom, like M O M, but uh, yeah, in different regions here, you, I think in the north of England you also get man instead of that. Could you do an eye shine blob on syrup as a tiny jellyfish? <laughs> no. However, no, I'm not going to go retrospectively add that in. However, I wouldn't be against them having like a little stamp on them like at some point during an arts and craft session get a little jellyfish stamp on it <laughs> decorate them 
I mean, they literally live with a, a crafter as well, so they could have like a jellyfish cape or anything like that. We can get accessories. We can get accessories for syrup over time. I think it makes sense, but I'm not going to change. I want them to be really simple. The idea of syrup is I don't want them to have too many details because what I want to be able to do is if I'm drawing syrup as my self insert, that I can just be like, here's syrup. There they are. Oh my God. Is that syrup? Yeah, that's syrup. Nice. I want to. I want to be able to do that. So I, I want them to purposefully be really undetailed, just for, just for like the ease of being like, ah, oh yeah, you want a syrup? Here's a syrup. This is here's me. So that if I want to put myself anywhere, that I, I have a really easy job. <laughs> I say as I'm. I get, no, there is one. There we go. That's better. Just my little potato with my big old bow. There they are. Heckin' cute bean. Yeah, easy. And they, they need to be simple. They need to be simple. So I can't have too much detail on them. But they can have an arts and crafts session at some point. I'd be okay with that. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. Gonna head to bed. No, you're fine, Grey. It was lovely to see you. Get some good sleep. And again, it was lovely to lurk your stream earlier. Take care of yourself. Ah, oh dear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thread is salty because I got sweaty hands. A vibe. <gasps> your birthday? Oh my god. Are you planning to do anything nice? Anything fun? Oh dear. Right. Should we do some work today? Again, for anyone who's just popped in, a quick heads up, I'm under the weather. Oh, I guess technically we're all under the weather, but I am I am not very well at the moment and I won't be for a few weeks. Uh, sounds really ominous when you put it like that. I'm not gonna be well for a few weeks. Um, so if I seem a little lower energy than usual, if I'm getting tired out quickly, uh, it's not because I'm not enjoying myself or I'm not enjoying the project. It's just that I'm not very well. So yes, there we go. Quick disclaimer over. I'm a little sick, but I'm managing. I've actually been a little sick for like a week. <laughs> and, and I've, uh, but now, now we know, we've got it confirmed, been to the doc, and they're like, you do be in fact a little sick. Here's drugs, oh, thank you, and then we're sorting that out. It also means, uh, at certain times during streams, I'm gonna have to go take a break, take some antibiotics, and come back. Well, I think in a regular stream I'd have to do it... twice. So, just as a heads up, there might be a couple of slightly longer breaks. But to be honest, everyone's always complaining at me that I don't do long enough breaks. So if anything, I'm assuming you'll be happy about that. <laughs> that, I, that I am physically being forced to take certain breaks now. Uh, that seems like, rather than that being something anyone's upset about, I feel like, if anything, that's what you've all been asking for for a while. So, you're, you're welcome. <laughs> I'll actually take some breaks sometimes. Uh, at the moment, specifically. I think this is the first time I've drawn Charlotte from behind as well. I don't normally draw my goblins from behind, because, like, why would I, I guess? But I think this is the first time. I don't remember doing this before. And the eyes need some pupils. Oh, like the one down here? Yeah. <laughs> I like leaving them without them, though. Ah, uh, dear. Oh, I think we were going to do it for a day out. Not sure what, but I think they're going to surprise me. Oh my god, fan service? Probably not of Charlotte, because Charlotte is a child. I think Syrup could do some pretty, some pretty snazzy fan service though, right? Syrup the slime. I mean, they're a slime. You could put them in a bikini. Like if I... Okay, this is just for you guys. Just for you, while you're live. No one else will see this. Fan service. There he is. <laughs> and then smaller. Do the teeny tiny triangle ones. Or maybe slightly bigger. Slightly bigger than that. Slightly bigger than that. Teeny tiny triangle, bruh. Oh my god. <laughs> donk, donk. There we go. Oh. Pretty, it's pretty hot. <laughs> and the. <laughs> 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 there they are. <laughs> this is what you wanted, right? You asked for fan service. <laughs> Here you go. It's pretty hot. Nice. <laughs> this is just for you. <laughs> you like this? Wait a second. They don't look nearly embarrassed enough. Two seconds. Oh, 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you looking at me? Oh my god. <laughs> no, screen up it, but don't promise that's for later. So let's just save that. That's just for you. <laughs> there he is. Oh dear. All right. You saw him and now he is gone. Goodbye. Syrup. <laughs> No, 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 stop it, because you're taking breaks. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> sorry, I misunderstood. I thought... <laughs> Prison, I'm so sorry. Bikini slime, yeah, bikini slime. <laughs> God, I'm getting second fan service. Oh, my happy days. So we're playing with jellyfish toy. <laughs> oh, that's a micro bra. Yeah, it's like the little triangle one. Ah, oh, damn, it's pretty something. It's pretty, it's pretty hot. Pretty too hot for this stream, that's for sure. Chucky, okay. <laughs> Thank you. No, I'm fine. How you doing, Chucky? I hope you're all right. Uh, can I blame the antibiotics? You've only been on them for like a couple of hours, but yeah, no, it's antibiotics. That's what it is. It's definitely not just me normally, because oh, that's <laughs> blush colored. <laughs> so I shouldn't clip that. Nurse, no, too sexy, too sexy for stream, isn't it? You don't, you don't want to let people in on that. That's that's just for you, wink. Oh, time it, thank you. You're damn right. <laughs> I can't stream for one day and I start drawing slimes and bikinis. I mean, pretty hot though, right? Oh dear. And if you say it wasn't hot, I'm going to take that personally because that slime is my self-insert character. What do you mean? What do you mean you don't find it hideously attractive? <laughs> oh dear. Hell yeah. Uh, but yes, no, it, sorry, I the, I will say I completely misunderstood what you were asking for that uh, prism. That is my bad. Don't worry about it. Oops. Wait, but, but on the plus side, I would never have normally drawn that. So it's uh, it's added to my repertoire of things I could potentially draw if I wanted to. Uh, not that I often have wanted to draw syrup in a bikini. But I could. And you know, the knowledge that that is something that I can do makes me feel like a powerful artist. So I'm okay with that. There you go, get that in there. And then that in here. And yeah, I was trying to work out when I was drawing the initial sketch, like what this hair would actually look like from behind. And it is kind of odd, but that's okay. That's okay. Jelly getting the flirting she asked for, hell yeah. <laughs> So we're streaming out today, I went to look at the phone. I saw your life flash before your eyes. <laughs> Good morning. Yeah, we had a we had some some power outages. They were mostly really short ones, but we had some power outages in our area yesterday. And uh, they were I again, I'm really genuinely surprised, you guys. I I I was asking Tony about this article, so I was like, I don't understand. Because when I went to look at the VOD, you could actually see when my power went out, which I feel like that's not normal, because like you, the power had gone out. Like when the flashing had happened, it knocked my internet out immediately, and yet the stream still caught it for like a few seconds, which I thought was really interesting. I didn't realize that that could happen. I kind of just assumed that a uh, if the, you know, when the internet would go out, that it would knock everything out immediately. But yeah, no, you could actually see it go out, which again, it's kind of cool. I am sorry if I worried anyone. I tried to, uh, to what do you call it? I tried to put the message in, in Twitch, but because I wasn't technically live anymore, even though I had data on my phone, like I couldn't, I couldn't message a non-live chat on my phone. That's only something you can really do on desktop. So uh, yeah, sorry, I, I didn't mean to worry anyone because now, especially that I know that you saw the flash, it's like, oops, my bad. Uh, but you know, I <laughs> I just couldn't, I couldn't get in there to message you because I would have needed desktop and I couldn't have desktop because it knocked everything out. Oh dear, it's what is. Uh, we know Jelly's power now, she's very capable for hentai, I am. That'll be my next, my, our next experiment on stream will be Jelly becomes a hentai artist. I think I need to get better at anatomy first though, before doing something like that, just as a heads up. To be able to draw good stuff like that, I think you need to have a pretty strong grasp of anatomy. And I have pretty strong grasp of goblin anatomy, but I would also say like I really don't draw particularly sexy goblins or maybe they are sexy for some people, but like I wouldn't say personally that the style that I use is particularly attractive for that. So I would have to then learn like a whole nother art style and it would probably take a while. I can't imagine doing that anytime soon. The other thing is it wouldn't be on Twitch because 
I'd get banned if I did that sort of thing on Twitch. Uh, let me go just get that over there. And then we might have to fix, oh, I don't know. Cause I kind of wanted it small, but then on the other side, it's bigger. Gives me bad vibes, you know? Just the vibes, not so good. They're not so good vibes. So how can we do this in a way that is good? Uh, we could, for instance, put that to there. And then, kind of like the chunkier base. And then put that in here. And then go across there. I think that's all right. I think it's manageable. It's not perfect, but you know, we could do that. Me, me. Oh dear, what this? Goblins, eventually. They look like this. Oh no, that's not goblin. <laughs> They look like this. This is a goblin. <laughs> That's a slime. They look like this normally. Oh uh, dear, drawing chickens and ties. Come your ears, Maple. She didn't read it. <laughs> Dilly, how's the YouTube going? Still need more lurkers? We are one third of the way there, so any lurks are very appreciated. But don't feel like you have to. Like, if you've got other things to do, I completely understand. Oh, uh, we instantly started playing anime, yeah. Oh, that's not a link. It's a bad keyboard. Oh, sorry. Did you? I, I request a, a ZOS to bring oh, to, uh, to bring back artistic knowledge. Yeah, for one more day. For one more day. Uh, enjoying them thinking it was a link. Oh, if you're asking about my reply, I studied. Now I'm done. How are you doing, Wad? I hope you're doing well. I hope studying is going well. We are getting some line stuff done. Just like fixing some bits and bobs up. I think this one I could fix up further. It's just not looking. It's fine. Like, but like. If I'm spending all this time and effort, do I want it to just be fine? No, I don't want it to just be fine. I want it to be okay, <laughs> at the very least. Standard is at least get it to look an okay. Right, so let me let me get this in a little bit more. And then let me do this a little bit more and just, yeah, there we go. And then if I take this off, Hopefully, I mean, ignore the fact that a lot of the lines don't line up, but yeah, they look a little bit more even. I'm still not sure if I like the extra line here, if I just want it to be kind of stylized. Like, if I want it to be more just like, meh. Like that. I haven't quite decided, you know? I have options. Sometimes options doesn't make things easier. Sometimes options make things harder. Also could do that. Oh, actually, could also do that. And then could change this a little bit and then do like that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they are meant to phase backwards, so I guess that would kind of make sense. Still not sure if I like this. I still don't know. Ah, we deal, we deal, we deal. Ah, oh, dear. Ah, oh, it was Mr. Bezos. My keyboard decided I had to add a period. God damn it. How dare, how dare, uh, one heckin' period? Terrible. How are you? I'm sick, but other than that, I'm okay. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm like the good kind of sick, like I'm, I'm sick, like I'm wicked. Um, uh, what else is there? Wicked, sick, uh, rad, radical. <laughs> yeah, all of those. But also, I'm, I'm just regular sick as well, so I'm a little I'm a little more tired than usual. But yeah, we're managing. We're managing. Oh dear. And I've got lots of goblins to do, and that does be making me feel much happier. Even if I'm not well, knowing that I have goblin stuff to do makes me pretty happy. Can't lie. Makes me the good, the big happy vibes. Uh, I'm gonna go in and start neatening stuff up already because normally I'd have a lot more to do. But since the face is uh, is not in this one, because they're facing the other way, I can kind of just go in and, and make things look cool. I'm gonna remove this for a second because I wanna wanna work on my lines, and then also forgetting things like this and making them look a little nicer because that looks a little messy. And but I don't think I yeah like I don't need to redraw it from scratch because I'm gonna thicken up the lines anyway. I might as well just go in and neatening it up a little bit make it look nice and pretty there we go uh, i use my wrist today so oops oh are they doing okay i don't know if maybe you were meant to wait a little longer you nasty hell yes love how you doing good afternoon a rare afternoon stream but on the plus side our power is back 
And on the plus plus side, the power didn't disappear for more than like a couple minutes, which meant our fridge never overheated, which means we don't lose any of our food, which I'll be honest, that's the biggest positive of all, isn't it? Whenever you have a power outage, it's always a pain. But then if you're also going to have your freezer defrost at the same time, it's a pretty big pain then. It's a pretty big pain. So yeah, no, I'm feeling uh, great. You know, like the, the Facebook statuses of how you're feeling? Feeling grateful. Feeling grateful that my fridge didn't defrost or my fridge and freezer didn't defrost, even though we had power cuts yesterday. Feeling grateful. <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, all things considered, honestly, could genuinely be worse. <laughs> I I spent hours making a really nice lasagna. Imagine if it spoiled because of the goddamn. I can't even eat the lasagna, but still, imagine if it spoiled because of the power cut. I would have been livid, livid. It didn't. That was fine. Oh dear. She is sick. She put a bikini pet rock. It's a slime. <laughs> Follow up legal prescription medication. Yeah. I eat fruit. Delicious. Antibiotics. Thanks for mine. Yeah, you take mine. I hate them. I'm on for two weeks. Two weeks minimum. Tired. But then, I'll be honest, the ones I'm on are very, very mild. So, I know some of them make you really sick. I've had those before. Not these ones. I'm just gonna be sleepy. Sleepy jelly. And to be honest, we've streamed a lot while just generally being sleepy before. And if anything, I do think it tends to lead to slightly more unhinged streams. But that's about it. Uh, the problem is I, I get into overtired territory really, really quickly. And I think when you hit overtired, that's when you t tend to go a little bit more unhinged, right? But uh, yeah, no, that's that's fine. We've done that before and we've managed and we will manage again. We will also manage one more time. <laughs> It'll be okay. You lose power? I did so five. You did five hours. What a coincidence. Yeah, we had a, a big outage yesterday. Actually, we had it happen while I was live on StreamWod. And what was really interesting, because I, okay, I've already said this a couple times, but it still interests me. I'm, I'm interested in this. What happened was we lost our power, but you can actually see on stream the power flashing before it cuts out. It cuts out after a few seconds. But somehow my stream captured the moment when like the first power outage hit and I, which is madness because the power outage knocked out my computer. <laughs> so it's kind of mad that it caught it. But I think that's really cool. The people kind of knew that something had happened, I think, because the last thing you, you saw when we when we were live was I had these like flashing lights in my house and then and then the stream cut. But uh, yeah, I didn't know that at the time that you could see that. Because in my mind, as soon as the computer turns off, I assumed the stream cut. But it actually cut a few seconds later. I don't know. I don't exactly know how that works. But I thought it was really interesting. Because I didn't I didn't realise it worked like that. And I thought it was cool. Ah, uh, you have to head to bed. No, you're fine. Feeling it was lovely to see you. Take care. Have a lovely rest of your day. Same. Yes, go take medications. Loopy. I'm ready to add quotes and clips. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 30 seconds of my brain power, but it's slowly coming back. I'm glad. Ah, oh, dear. It went on and off and then went off for five hours. No, it was literally on and off for five hours. For, or like for the most of the day yesterday for us. Like it wasn't off for very long. Um, Like the longest one was like, maybe like a minute. But like, no, it was like, bing bong, bing bong, bing bong. But the problem was every single time it, it went off, it cut our internet and our internet had to reboot. So... Even if I was like, oh, don't worry guys, I'll just restart stream whenever the power goes out. I have to wait like 15 minutes for the internet to reboot every single time the power goes. <laughs> so it was like, yeah. And after a minute, you just don't bother using the internet for a while because it's just kind of like, well, it's just gonna go out for again. And then they have to wait 15 minutes for it to reboot again. And then it'll go out again. <laughs> So we were just like, tomorrow, we're going to avoid streaming. <laughs> it just is not the day for it. But again, we were very lucky because it was like short, short ones, uh, rather than like one really, really long one, like what it sounds like you had. Uh, like we didn't have any concerns about our fridge overheating. All of our food is fine. Nothing spoiled. So yeah, earlier we were saying, you know, what well, all things considered, I feel pretty okay with it. Because, <laughs> you know, that's like, the, at least for me, that's always the big thing of like, when your freezer starts to defrost because you've had a long power cut and then you have to like 
basically all hands on deck to empty everything out of the freezer before it floods your kitchen and then you have to replace everything in the freezer so that's always my fear with power cuts is that situation because we've been in that situation before and it sucks <laughs> so uh, yeah as long as that didn't happen which it didn't i am okay i will i will live and be grateful that that didn't happen Oh, damn. The freezer parts are real pain. Yeah. It was very expensive as well. Obviously, it's more expensive if it floods your house. But um, even if it doesn't, having to rebuy the stuff in the freezer. Because I feel like a lot of us keep similar things in the freezer. There's probably like a few meals that we've cooked and just frozen the extra of maybe. Like one or two for emergencies. Stock's a big one that I used to have but don't as much anymore. Um, then there's like, you know, your fro if you have frozen veg... If you have a uh, frozen, oh, what's it called? Frozen meals, chips, Yorkshire puddings, <laughs> potatoes, all that, all the kind of like side stuff that goes with meals, all of that stuff. It's expensive to get all of that. Oh dear. I prefer that over having water. I mean, yes. If we're going, if we're if we're having the argument of what what disaster is at least fun to go through, sure. But I I think just generally, uh, none of them are super fun. All of them come with problems. Oh dear. I don't tend to compare stuff. I feel like the whole, uh, yeah. I, 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 there's like a, there's a mentality behind it that I try not to get into, at least not as a streamer. Cause I wouldn't want to ever downplay anyone else's situation, you know, but like, well, at least it's not as bad as this because sometimes you just want to complain. You know, sometimes you just want to be like, this sucked. It's like, yeah, it heckin' does suck. You're damn right it sucked. That's a heckin' sucky situation. And you don't want to hear people tell you at least it's not as bad as this. <laughs> so, yeah. I try, I try, I've been trying to be better with that sort of thing, personally. Sometimes stuff just sucks. Sometimes it really do. Sometimes it really do. Save the heckin' ice cream. We don't normally have ice cream. And I, so I know some people are good with ice cream all year round, but for me, it's gotta be warm. I can't do ice cream in cold weather. I'm already a chilly lady. <laughs> I I need something warm, like hot drinks in the winter, ice cream, and ice lollies in the summer. Very stereotypical, but I just can't do it. I know lots of people that like ice cream in the winter, but just can't do it. Just can't do it. It's not for me. Oh dear. Here we go. So I have both for a while. Oh yeah, like I think the ones that really like I know for us, for instance, uh, and this is like where it gets more problematic. For instance. Uh, our local surgery also lost power and kept losing power uh, and like stuff like that that's uh that's not great <laughs> that that's a more of a problem like me in my house i can live with not having power for a while but i imagine if you're like in a surgery i know hospitals have backup generators but i don't think our local surgery does um but yeah it's difficult because then all your appointments are getting pushed back you can't access your online appointments and stuff like that so it's, it's there are definitely <laughs> there are definitely places nearby that had it yeah, it makes it much more difficult. Ah, oh dear. Warm brownies and ice cream. Or oh, you're one of those people you eat you eat the uh, the cold stuff in the winter. In some ways, I wish I could. But I just can't. I just can't do it. I can't. My brain. My brain is like, what the hell are you doing? Eating cold things when you're already cold. No, stop that. Also, I'm gonna fix that later. I've decided. Ah, uh, they went outside on Sunday. We had a dough from a fridge and went outside the whole day. We came back to syrup. Too bad it wasn't wearing a bikini. Oh, God. Oh, dear. There's no evidence of that ever being in this drawing. You can't prove it. Matrix, good morning. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. Pay no attention to the syrup in a bikini. People are putting in the chat. It's not real and it can't hurt you. It definitely doesn't exist. And it definitely wasn't something that I drew. And if I did draw it, it definitely wasn't sexy. <laughs> oh, my God. No. No. Welcome on in! How are you doing? We've got- we're having a rare late stream today because yesterday we had a power cut so I couldn't stream because our power was like whoop 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 Oh dear, there you go. I'm gonna shout out for Gnome. Oh bless you, thank you Sleeves! And Bixa, good morning! And Matrix, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. And Gnome, welcome on in! And Janie, welcome on in! How was your stream, Gnome? For anyone who has not met Gnome before, uh, they do a mixture of streams. They do journaling, they do art, and they also do like co-working streams. I know we have a few people who are co-working here today. So if you're interested in those kind of like chill vibe streams where you can work along to them, and also I, I really love the, no uh, the Gnome that art makes. The art that Gnome makes. Please excuse me. 
I'm going to start using the excuse of I'm a little under the weather because I am a little under the weather. <laughs> I don't normally have an excuse for flubbing my words, but right now I am sick. <laughs> I have I have the excuse. Leon, welcome on in. And G Crafties, welcome on in. How you doing? I hope I'm wondering where you were yesterday. Yeah, we had a power cut like half an hour into stream. <laughs> it just went scroosh. <laughs> and uh, there it went. But it was fine, because you know what? We lived. I, I surprise, sorry to spoil it, what happened yesterday, but we did actually live. We got through it and it's been fine. We're all, wait, I should introduce what we're doing. First of all, the, the, the pages we've already finished are going above my head right now. We're writing a little short story about some goblins. Uh, here are some, there it is, there they are, there's our goblins. And uh, it's so that we can make an animation later on in the month. Uh, I basically wanted an introduction to who the goblins were and why they want to do certain things, so that when we have the animation, that, uh, that there's an easy way for people to catch up on the backstory. Uh, so we're making this. I am not a comic artist. This I'm normally a cosplayer and embroidery artist, um, but I really like goblins and I wanted to make a goblin embroidered animation. And so here we are, just getting some goblin stuff down so that people can easily catch up and know what's going on, even if you're new. Yes, love the Oh, bless you, I'm glad. Imagine getting a colonoscopy and having power gap. <laughs> that would be typical. Because keeping the yeah, just wait till it comes back. She is back. She's alive. Socko, welcome one in. How you doing? This is Darling Oz. Oh, bless you, Gnome. Thank you. Yeah, no, we've, I've been having a really good time with it. We've, I, I don't normally do a lot of art, so I think I've been just really enjoying, like, settling down, having some art for a bit. It's been fun. Uh, but yes, we, we have heavy influence on like line art and such. So I've got my sketch layer there. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm going in. I'm just going in and adding lots of lines. Uh, I, by the way, for anyone new here who's like, they're kind of weird lines. Why is she doing it like that? Why is she adding the, the, the thickness later? Uh, all of my drawings are done with mouse and keyboard. Again, I'm more of an embroidery artist. So most of my funds when it comes to art equipment go towards embroidery. Um, and because of that, yeah, I don't have uh, equipment really for for doing this style of art. So uh, yes, we do all of our art with mouse and keyboard here, which sometimes means it takes a while to get it right. You know, it sometimes means it takes a few a, a few attempts. But I enjoy the process, and I've been really I've been really enjoying myself. Honestly, uh, I, I I've had to put a disclaimer in because I am sick right now. I'm like I'm sorry if I seem a little lower energy than usual. I guess for anyone new here, that might not be too much of a concern because <laughs> it'd be the first time meeting me. But um, yeah, no, to anyone who's been here before, and if I seem a little more spacey or a little bit more distracted and stuff, I'm just not well. I'll be fine. I really enjoy goblins. I don't enjoy goblins any less. I'm just not well. <laughs> I'll do my best to be clean and normal and safe for work about goblins. We drew sexy slime earlier. Uh, should I draw another sexy slime just for the raiders? Sure. You know what? Thank you so much for raiding gnome. Uh, this one's for you. <laughs> let, me, let me do a little sexy slime. We'll do them facing the other way this time. We've already had them in a bikini. So... Oh wait, that's a bit tall. A bit tall. We've already had them in a bikini, so... What outfit could we do them in that would be nice and sexy? What about like a... Let me see. Um... <laughs> a thong, just a thong? We could put little nipple covers on them, there you go. Little nipple cover? There's another little nipple cover. Uh, here is... <laughs> the thong. There we go. There we are. Once again, they're a little embarrassed. Be nice, be kind. Uh, there they are. <laughs> Just for you. <laughs> Thank you for raiding. <laughs> We're very happy. <laughs> Just for you. <laughs> yeah, you're damn right. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Very sexy. All right, we can't have this on the screen for too long because otherwise we're gonna get done by Twitch TOS. But you saw it. You saw it, it's in your brains. There's a sexy slime for you. Thank you for the raid. Now go, if you need to go look after yourself post stream, please do. <laughs> if you need to go eat or sleep or anything, go for it. Heck it, oh no, that's not the right color at all. Go for it. Go, go do whatever you need to do. And if anyone who's joined with Go as well also hasn't taken a break in a while and you need to go take a break, please go take a break. You're all good. We're just going to be here drawing goblins, maybe the occasional sexy slime. We should have, we should have drawn... Saki, I was going to say, I haven't drawn a sexy slime for Saki. Wait a second. Sorry, let me just undo my work. We keep goats there, Saki, sorry. 
my bad. We didn't draw you a sexy slime, and you raided us as well. You also deserve a sexy slime. Uh, we'll do like an upright one this time. Oh, a bit, bit too upright, there we go. There you go, and you can have- <gasps> Oh, what if we had like a- Ooh, the one of those like ones that like strap in the middle? Yeah, like cowboy kind of vibes. Oh yeah. Yeah, look at that. Oh my god. Wrinkled fabric. Wrinkled fabric. And then we could put you in little booty shorts and with a big cowboy hat. There you go. Yeehaw! <laughs> I don't know how to put the slime in booty shorts, but <laughs> it can just like get them in there. There you go, like little booty shorts. There, that definitely translates in the slime. There we go. Yeah, oh, nice. And then we could we get the thong line. Yeah, look at that. Nice. <laughs> For you. <laughs> there we are, there we go. <laughs> Sorry! Uh, the, oh, the bow, of course, you're damn right, Syrup needs a bow. Syrup always needs a bow. Kinda makes it look a baby, which is a bit weird, honestly. <laughs> That's okay, damn! <laughs> oh my god, you see it's a nose? Oh no. Do slimes have nipples? No, and neither do goblins. <laughs> there we are, here are your sexy slimes. Thank you for raiding us, I hope you don't regret it. <laughs> there they go. And now we take them off screen, so that, uh... So that nobody nobody gets us banned on Twitch. Also, sorry, thank you for the follow. That's <laughs> very kind of you. Oh, the, the bar shake of the booties. Yeah, that took a turn. Well, we were just welcoming in the raiders, friend Lily. You know, we want people to feel nice and welcomed here. So when when they come in, we're like, here you go. Here's a sexy slime for you. You didn't ask for it, but now you have it. Now it's in your brain as well. From my brain to your brain. <laughs> Everyone, these are cute little potatoes. Green, welcome on in. How are you doing? Why, well, like she's bending her <laughs> Kind of dim. Oh my god. Friendly, Ilya? Oh no, the <laughs> that was like that. Oh, my brain is in the gutter, right? Not, no, no, not in the gutter. That makes it sound like I'm thinking dirty thoughts. I meant like passed out in the gutter, like a like a drunk person. My brain is a drunk person passed out in the gutter right now. It's trying its absolute bestest to walk in a straight line, but it's hecking hard. It's hecking hard and... <clears throat> oh, actually, wait, no, no. <gasps> we can do something fun with this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Put them going into there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, because that's how hair works. Actually, let me let me let me put this a bit more center. There you go. There we go. Oh my god, ideas. Cause hair goes into the to the thingy, and then that's how that's how it ties up. Yeah, I have hair. <laughs> I've tied it up once or twice before. There we go. Just need it in like a wheel. And then get that in there, and there, and then we'll just have to work out how how to fill the lines in between. <laughs> Oh dear, that's okay, it's been screen capped. Good. <laughs> oh dear, it's fine, we know about your alcoholism. I don't even drink. <laughs> I think it would be tricky to be a common alcoholic when you don't drink alcohol. Not impossible though. Can you get drunk off hand sanitizer? I feel like, like not drinking it, but like, can alcohol seep through your skin? Cause I think it can. Cause aren't like alcohol baths super dangerous? Like you should not bathe in spirits. Not that I feel like most people would have the money to bathe in spirits anyway, but like, you sh also shouldn't do it. If I consistently rubbed my body with hand sanitizer, would I get drunk? Because I can only imagine that's the only way that I think I could get drunk, as someone who doesn't really drink. The only way I can imagine it conceptually happening is if I just consistently applied hand sanitizer. <laughs> Which, to be clear, I'm not going to do. I'm not planning to do that. Uh, that'd be such a waste of, like, a relatively expensive product. Like, if you're using that much of it, at least. I'm not doing that. But, hypothetically, would that get me drunk? <laughs> oh, the art show might need a black outline because it blends in with the white. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, dear. No, we know your brain's that. It's absolutely nothing looking for your, like, slime avatar. True. You're doing a bit. Thank you. I'm trying my best. Also, Jelly, it's hard to see the timer. It is hard to see the timer. You're right. I. What can I do to make it less hard? 
if I do this, and then if I go skadoot skadoot, get a boot boot, skadoot, and then I go skadoot, a, and then I go skadoot 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 skadoot. That better? I don't know if that's better. I I tried. I can do the same thing on the other one as well. If that, if that, oh, make it invisible. Yes, perfect. If that makes it better. I can do this. Uh, I just have to go select, select, and then skidoo, 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 skidoo. Uh, cancel. Is that better? Can you see that? <laughs> perfect. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you. When I was a young kid, I got high five from hand sanitizer at my after school club. Wish I was joking. That's not how it works. Damn it! America beauties are drank mouthwash to get drunk. Really? <gasps> what do I do to make it less hard? What do I do to make it less hard? I don't know. Things are tricky. Life's hard. I'm just setting an example with my stream, in that I'm struggling at simple things because it's a representation of all of life. All of life is hard, and I often struggle with simple things, like drawing my my slime in a sexy sexy underwear. <laughs> To make the font black. I did it backwards, but I, I could also make the font black. That is also possible. I, I can switch it around. If you prefer black font with white outline, just say. I can, I can switch it over. It'll just take me a minute. I'd rather people be able to read the timer. Like, if I can't read, that's one thing, but I shouldn't inflict that on other people. <laughs> I mean, you know, that, that'd be mean. I don't want to be mean. And then go in there. And then go in there. Come on, mouse. You got this. These long lines are the bits where mouse and keyboard gets really hard because you run out of mouse pad. And I am, I have gone back to using mouse pad. I'm sorry to disappoint everyone, but I have because it was just, it's just easier. And I don't get the little weird lumpy bumpy bit sometimes because sometimes my mouse picks it up fine. And then sometimes it just has these, it has its days, you know, where it's just like, you know what? I don't want to pick up stuff. I just don't. And so I'm not going to, and it's like, understandable. Me too, mouse, me too. Sometimes I also don't want to pick up stuff, but it is also your job. <laughs> and I do kind of need you to do it. So yes, I am a, I'm back to using a mouse pad again and not just drawing straight onto my desk, oh, drawing straight onto my desk, drawing with my desk. There we go. And Nice. Hell yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. I think I think what I could do is I could thicken up some of the lines here and have that look pretty heckin' awesome. Cause that's that's that looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with that. I'm okay spending a little extra time as well just thickening up some of these lines and having them go into like Yeah. Having them all go into like places like this and make some like thicker black parts kind of similar to the edge. I think that'd be really, really cool and makes it look because i want it to look like she has really tight tightly done hair with a few strays here and there you know i want her hair to look tight so let's add some extra here so it looks really tight especially because i don't often get the, the opportunity to draw them from the back because it's all about face uh the tiny blood vessels in your mouth and tongue and that's how and oh i see and hands don't have the same so using hand sanitizer over and over again could never get me drunk Damn it, well, that was my option. Now, drinking hand sanitizer, I'm assuming is a really bad idea because it's like a very high percentage of alcohol, so you shouldn't do it. And I'm not endorsing that you would, but that would probably get you very drunk, right? Also, what is this stuff? Oh, okay, sorry, we're... <laughs> please excuse me. There is, l bear with me for a second. Don't people put alcohol, like spirits, up their butt, sp like as an enema? And then it like makes you drunk really, really quickly because your asshole absorbs alcohol super fast. But the problem is because it doesn't get a chance to like process in the liver, it's like really, is quite dangerous for you. You shouldn't do that. Uh, and could, it could like kill you. <laughs> but uh, I have heard, speaking of other places in the body that absorb alcohol, that the butt can, but you shouldn't. You shouldn't not do that because it's really bad for you. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Oh dear, I've got a very large mouse pad on the side of my uh, keyboard tray. That's probably gonna, that's my, like, what I'm thinking to do green is, like, to get a much bigger one. Life's hard. Also, Jelly proceeds making hairs with a mouse. Life is hard. I physically represent that with my art, you know? Every day. <laughs> oh dear. There we are. I have heard that. Yeah, it would burn. Yes, but very dangerous because you can get alcohol poisoning. Yeah, because your body doesn't like have a chance to like filter it and such or like process it with your liver because you're just putting it straight into your ass and you're skipping a lot of, you're skipping a lot of the important steps, you know? So you definitely shouldn't do it. But yeah, no, I, I had heard that there are people out there. And again, I hope it's none of you. It's a very bad idea. Don't be doing this. But uh, I have heard there are people out there that do do it because it makes you very, very drunk. Uh, very quickly but the the problem is yes that is also incredibly dangerous <laughs> drinking hands out of the giving of all my head oh god same with vaping do not recommend there's alcohol saunas i've heard the same but no thank you yeah you know what i i first of all as grobit said can't imagine it'd be very comfortable i i think it would be very uncomfortable so just from like a feeling happy in your day-to-day -day life i feel like doing that is a really bad idea but then also, yes, it's very dangerous. It does make your ass clean though. But you, yeah, but you die. I mean, I guess, yeah, it's true. If you're gonna die, you'd probably wanna die of a clean ass. But like, was it worth it? <laughs> is, is it worth it to die with a clean ass? I don't know that it is. At least not to me personally. I guess everyone has their own values, but I think I'd rather live yeah <laughs> that's it actually that's the end of my statement i think i'd rather live <laughs> oh dear deep inspirational quotes actually i'd rather live so i will not put the alcohol up the butt thank you <laughs> that is what I <laughs> you, make <a> very... <laughs> you make a very fair point <laughs> At least you go over a clear hole. When I worked in lingerie, we would sometimes serve old ladies who would buy really, really fancy underwear. And a couple of them said the same thing. They were like, well, I'm going in for an operation this week. And if I'm gonna die, I'm not dying with like nasty old underwear. I'm dying with like this sexy stuff on. And so you get like, and honestly, Fair enough. You do. I mean, I hope they didn't die during their surgeries. But yeah, you'd get like old people coming in and being like, I just want something sexy because I'm going into hospital. And if I'm going to die, I want them to find me in sexy laundry. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> I mean, it was nothing, nothing that I'd ever considered before working there. And it is interesting how often that happened as well. But yeah, I mean, I kind of vibe with that. You know what? If I'm going to die in surgery, I want to die wearing sexy underwear too. <laughs> sure. When they're doing my... Uh, Whatever you do after people die in hospital, I don't want to. I don't want to be lying there in like old underwear. I want to lie there in new, fancy, sexy underwear. I mean, I wouldn't know, I guess, but still, still, I respect the mentality. You know, I respect the mentality. There we go. Oh, this is a long one. It's gonna be hard. Struggle, struggle time. <laughs> Oh dear. Can't get through jellies about toilet talk. You're a toilet. <laughs> I'm not the toilet. It's everyone in chat who's the toilet. Is Blapple or Vile here? I could blame them. Oh dear. Wow. I can't believe that Blapple. Actually, Vile's on a trip. Might be a little difficult to blame Vile right now, but I could blame Blapple. I can't believe Blapple made the conversation so dirty again. Can you guys believe it? I swear, every time Blapple comes here, the conversation just gets really dirty. I don't understand it. There you go. And then... Actually, I don't know if that's right. Do you know what I mean? Something seems wrong here. And I'm, I'm gonna work it out. I'm gonna work it out. Something's not right here. Let's fix it. Let's fix it. I think it's this one. I don't think it looks good. I think it could look better. And I don't want to live with it looking not as good as it could potentially look. Let's uh, let's see if we can fix it. Uh, I'll have to redo this bit at the bottom because it looks a bit messy now, but that's okay. We can do that. We can do that. Uh, dear, is it worth dying for a clean ass? It's not. I'll have more quotes for the meme. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, we have to ban Blapple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I were to die during surgery, I'd be wearing boxes with rainbow gummy bears. Like, yes, please. I think it's a mentality. I think as well, though, it's just like a little mental health thing some people would do for themselves if they're nervous about surgery. Like, oh, 
well, you know, what's a nice thing that I can do for myself that will help me feel a bit better about it? And one of the ones that, yeah, came up quite a lot, I think, is just having nice underwear can make people feel more confident. So I think a lot of it was just like a mental health thing. And to be honest, I'm all for things that make people feel more comfortable. Like, do I have to understand it myself? No. But if it makes you feel better and more confident on the day, you go for it. You go for it. Who am I to say that you're wrong? I'm no one. I'm definitely no one to say that you're wrong. That's for sure. Hell yeah. It's not perfect, but you know what? It's going to hecking do. It's gonna heckin' do, and I'm proud. I'm proud of the this heckin' hairdo. Speaking of doing, the hairdo do, do be doing, and I like it. <laughs> it's not perfect, but I'm all right. Hi, hi, welcome on in. How you doing on the YouTubes? I hope you're doing well. I hope things are going well. We are. Sorting out more line art and hopefully not losing power. Touch wood. <laughs> not today. Oh, spot. Is the rainbow gummy bears or actual both? I'm deciding what to wear to my friend's wedding. Oh, exciting. Is it a very smart? Is it more of a casual? Is there a theme? Is it going to be good food there? <laughs> All important questions when attending a wedding. <laughs> oh, the friend is really paying off. You could sell this. Aww. That's very heckin' kind. I, I still feel like I need a lot more practice, but I appreciate it. I heckin' appreciate it. I'm also glad that it's becoming more legible, because I want people to understand what we're doing. And the more legible my art is, the easier it is for people to understand. So yeah, I'm, I'm glad. I am proud. I'm very proud. Oh dear. I'm almost sad that once this project is over, I won't have a reason to do digital art as much anymore. Because we'll be going, well, we're going into chroma core, we'll be doing all embroideries again. I mean, technically, yes, I will draw a lot of them digitally first. It's a very different process, though. The emphasis is just to get, like, a vague drawing that I can then put on fabric and then move from there. So it's it's not quite the same. Yay! <laughs> hair. <laughs> all right. We had other hair as well. The hair is technically not done because we do have these little strands, but that's okay. We did we did the big bits of the hair and I think it looks good. Save work, you damn right I should. <laughs> Thank you. Bree, welcome on in. How you doing? How goes things? I hope things are going well. We are drawing lots of goblins, uh, but at the moment we're actually drawing, we finished the community goblins and we're now drawing my own goblins. Uh, and getting a little bit of backstory and all the panels we've done so far are flashing above my head so you can catch up on all the work we've done for this really quickly uh without having to go and watch like several six hour streams <laughs> because uh nobody's got time for that except for me i have time for that but i'm also the one streaming so it'd be bad if i didn't have time for it you know if <laughs> i don't know how that would work but yeah you know who doesn't have time for my streams uh, me actually i'm out goodbye <laughs> It's not black tie, we don't wear like a t-shirt or jersey, just like, okay, so it's like smart casual then. Honestly, I prefer that for a wedding. In my mind, weddings are mainly about eating food and chatting and drinking. And like, it's hard to do that if you're wearing really constricting clothing. Like, don't get me wrong, it's lovely to dress up every now and again, but I prioritize being able to eat the maximum amount of food. I'm still gutted. The last wedding I had uh, my wisdom tooth was infected and they had really nice food there of which I could eat like nothing because everything required chewing and it hurt. And I, I had to give all my food away to the people around me even though it was so nice. I could only eat the vegetables and like, I like vegetables, but I eat a lot of vegetables and uh, I'll never, never forgive my mouth for that. Hecking mean. Hecking mean. Ayy, nice. Okay, that looks good. That looks like hair from behind. And again, the hair from behind is this hairstyle. So <laughs> it's a bit of a weird one. Uh, she do be looking, I, I guess, a bit odd. But I think that works from behind. I think I think the vibe is there. Yeah. Oh, dear. It's your first non-Asian wedding. No, couldn't take it home for later. And like, I didn't know when it was going to get better. So it's like... Not really, no. Like cakes and stuff, sure, but like, again, I'm not really a sweet tooth. They had like a selection of, they did like a, a feast, like a medieval style feast with like every meat available that you could possibly ever want to eat. And I couldn't eat any of them. <laughs> and this, see why I'm so gutted about this? <laughs> they were so, like I had the smallest bite of one of them that was cut for me and it was really nice, but again, I couldn't chew anything. And it was just not worth me cutting everything into like swallowable mouthfuls. Uh, so <laughs> so I was just like, well, 
Guess you have to eat my stuff for me. Yay. Ah, oh, dear. You say touch wood, we say knock on wood. Yeah, what is the law behind knock on wood, actually? I don't know what that is. Looks really cool. Thank you. Ah, oh, dear. You said a year till you start proper, you can start. Oh, bless you. That's very heckin' kind of you. I'm, I'm really glad people like the goblins as much. Touch wood sounds dirty. I kind of get what you mean. But it is, I, like that's the one I've always known. So at this point, it's like, well, pff, wrong way. It's like, pff, well, what am I going to do? Change? <laughs> what am I going to do? What am I going to evolve and grow as a human being? I don't think so. Oh, dear. I want to go to a wedding soon just so I can wear waistcoat. The euphoria would be insane. When you have something that makes you feel really good, though, I I get that. I get that 100%. I will say it's generally, for me, it's not so much formal wear, but I get that vibe from cosplay. Uh, it's part of the reason I, I've really enjoyed cosplay for as long as I have. And there's just something really nice about wearing something where you just feel so confident in yourself. And like, cosplay has always really done that for me. I, I There was a time where I was less confident, but I gained a lot of my confidence through cosplay. So it's like, it wasn't even that I was less confident in cosplay than average wear. I, I still hide in public a lot of the time. I could cover myself fully and I'm just like, nobody look at me. But in cosplay, I feel really confident and I, I love that vibe. And you can get that from a really good suit as well, I think. Good suit does wonders. Uh, Knock a wood makes me think of that one song. What's the one song? I don't, I don't, I'm so out of the loop. Orti, please educate this poor grandma about what you mean. I'm so curious. I'm curious and encouraging, but I don't understand. Oh, dear. Oh my god, excuse um what? Excuse um what? Big hit. Ah, the Oaklands or something adverts. Oh, yee! Good soup, good suit. <laughs> Both are good. Knock on wood is to ask a favor of the Fae. Is it? Oh, that's so cool. The Google is by. Oh, thank you. As I've heard, trees are to be inhabited by fairies, and fairies are considered to be evil, so you knock on wood to scare them away. Oh. So in some it'd be like for sleeves I said it's to help ask for good favour, whereas others are like, oh, the hick is already recorded, but thank you for trying, brains. <laughs> but others are saying that it's to, to avoid fa I guess yeah, a lot of old there were good fairies and bad fairies, I guess, in, in a lot of European folklore at least. So I guess that they would actually both make sense depending on whereabouts you were. Like, are you are you thinking of like the ones who occasionally help people out who are lost in the woods, or are you talking about ones that like kidnap children? Because like, it's all the same thing. It's just some of them are good and some of them bad. So I imagine like having two sides to that kind of thing that actually makes a lot of sense. That sometimes you'd ask for them for help and sometimes you'd be like bugger off, depending on where you lived. Oh dear. I love folklore. If you couldn't tell, by the way, by all the stuff we've talked about previously, I really love folklore. I just think it's so interesting. I really love as well when you can identify the parts of it that are like, this is to tell kids to stop doing one specific thing. Like, the stuff about cornfields was often to be like, if the kids could stop playing in the farmland, that would be great because it's ruining our crops. So we make folklore about things that happen in the corn. Um, the other thing is with corn being so tall, like, you know, it's easy to get lost in it. I don't know. I I think and wheat as well is another one. You know, like wheat fields. Like stop kids running around in your wheat fields. So you make up some folklore about something that happens. Uh, and it's always really it's often very dark, but it's always really interesting. I I really, really like it. I think it's very cool. Very hecking cool. Ah oh, dear. Knock on wood by Amos Smart. Oh thank you. Come in 19 Okay, it's an older one then. If you avoid fairies, you get good luck. Kid uh, fairies kidnap children, that's why they offer tooth to the fairy to not be kidnapped. Oh lord. As a master contemplator, I decided to go with a cream cheese. Oh, white cream chinos, smart black shirt, uh, blonde silver hair, na- Ooh! That's cool! That sounds very suave. Oh, nice. You make sure if you do a really good outfit, get some really good pictures. I mean, you don't have to share them with us, but it's nice for yourself to have good pictures of when you feel fancy schmancy. Good fancy schmancy pictures. Lovely. <laughs> Boglaw's the best, it is. Even a short sleeve button up or what cut it with a waistcoat. Well, you have as well the option of like, if you have two things that you already own, you could always just see what you feel like on the day. Like, is one calling out to you more than the other? Or if one of them's short sleeve, one of them's long sleeve, what's the weather like? You know, is it looking a bit colder? Stuff like that. Yeah, I feel like you. if you have those options in the house already, 
I don't think there'd be anything wrong with waiting until you, you're either at the day and you know how you feel, or until you see the weather. It depends, I guess, if one of them is significantly warmer or colder than the other. <laughs> Folklore's the best. Very uh, hard to get lost in a cornfield. Movies make it look hard and scary, but in IRL it's not. You just keep walking in a straight line, you'll be fine. <laughs> also, have a have a lovely lurk brain and good morning, Gina. Welcome on in. We have folklore around here. We have a castle in our town. It's said to be inhabited by a monster, I would say. He's been granted the wish in, uh, oh, to visit, only visit once a year. So every time he visits, he uproots a tree and it happens every year. That's really cool. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of folklore in Wales as well. There's like some, some Welsh specific folklore, some that's more UK specific. Uh, a lot of ours is like, I believe it's, you're looking at Germanic folklore slash paganism kind of vibes. Uh, there's a lot of interesting stuff, a lot of really interesting stories. I love them as well because they're often a little darker. A little darker, a little more concerning. I think it's really, really cool. I love the poetry around folklores as well. I am by no means someone who's good at language or literature. I think most people here know that. But I, I still find it interesting, even though it's not something that I'm particularly good at. I love, I think that's, the, maybe that is more why I find it interesting though. Like I love poetry. I abs I, I really, I really love poetry. I love listening to people's poems. I love, like we had at one point someone who was sharing poems as part of the art share and it, it fills me with joy. I absolutely love it. It's not something I have any skill for myself. Uh, no artistic skill for words. I probably never will. It's just not one that vibes with this brain, but I love hearing it from other people. I love hearing how people describe it. And I love poetry and folklore. I think it's, I think it adds a real eeriness to it that you don't really get any other way. And I just love it. I just love it. I don't know if I've mentioned that I just, I just love it. Um, it gives me a big happy vibes. It makes me very happy hearing it. And I mean, I love it enough that Back when I was still studying, I based my entire final piece off some folklore in poetry. Uh, and yeah, no, I, mean, it, I, I really like it. And I made this piece and it was huge. <laughs> it was massive. And I think it's still hanging in my parents' garage. Cause like, it, it, it was like a hanging piece. It's most meant to like float in the wind, but it's also taller than me. Uh, also, fun fact, that's one of the pieces where I sewed through my hand. Uh, I, that's also the piece where I stitched into my eye uh, twice. <laughs> there was quite literally a lot of blood, sweat, and tears <laughs> in that piece. Oh dear. Yeah, 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 yeah. 29th is generally boiling. Oh yeah, short sleeve. Something short sleeve for sure then. I eat anything. Yeah, that's going to be really hot. We're probably going to have quite an early summer this year, I think. That's my prediction, at least. I have most of these in my closet. I already have a porter hoodie. You have a porter hoodie for a lid? Oh my god. Hell yeah. I want to make myself a porter hoodie at some point. Also, I've realized that this is not quite scaled correctly. We'll, we'll work on that. We'll get that done now. We can scale this better. We can scale this better. There we go. Like that. It was just missing a bit of its pizzazz. And that's better. That's better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stitched into your eye. Yeah, so <laughs> I've done it twice, but only one time was it really bad. Um, so hand stitching. A lot of the piece had to be hand stitched because of the thickness of the fabric. Uh, two seconds, if, if you want a quick squeamish warning, uh, I would say close your ears for just a minute. I'll put a thumbs up when you, you can unmute me. Because uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna not give a warning for this story in particular. Um, if you are squeamish, uh, especially about eye stuff, mute now. I'll give you a thumbs up when we're finished. I'm just gonna explain what happened. I'm not gonna go into gruesome detail. Um, when you're hand stitching, you pull towards you often. You shouldn't pull towards you, but you do because that's how it feels right for your arms. So you pull towards you, right, when you're stitching. I was stitching through particularly really thick fabric, which meant that I was having to tug a lot, like huh, to get through it because it was really, really thick um and twice it happened uh the first time was not as bad and gave me a full sense of security uh where just the needle went into my eye uh, and it went in immediately pulled it straight back out again uh and it didn't hurt that badly and i didn't hit anything bad and i was very lucky um the thing is your eye doesn't really have any nerves so the eyeball itself you'll feel like around it when it's healing but you don't really feel it in the eyeball because it doesn't have that nerve um but the second time, uh, which is the time that was bad, uh, I was doing exactly the same thing on the same piece 
and what happened was my thumbnail slit open the bottom of my eyeball. And it was... I was very lucky. <laughs> I can still see out of both of my eyes. Uh, I do have a mark on one of my eyeballs from where it happened. Uh, you're not going to see it on camera, though. Uh, you can barely see it in real life. And I have to look up because I slit underneath it. Like, under... I looked up and I slit under there. And so when I looked forward, you couldn't actually see that I'd done it. But if I looked up, there'd be a thumb-shaped, like, red bit underneath. Uh, and at that point, you were more open to infection, so you have to be careful. Yeah. I was okay. I got- I, I will say the healing process absolutely sucked, because it felt like I had something in my eye. Because again, the, 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 the eyeball itself doesn't have any nerves, but the stuff around it does. <laughs> so it felt like I had something in my eye for like a couple weeks. It was very, very painful and very uncomfortable. Uh, but again, I'm very lucky because the, you could very easily lose your eyesight doing stuff like that. Uh, it's why a lot of the time these days I'm quite careful about where as and when I'm sewing. And it's why I am very quite open about preaching I don't do... What do you call it? Uh, <laughs> I don't do... Crunching. No con crunching. We've never con crunched and we probably never will. Because those kind of mistakes are the mistakes that you make when you're under a lot of pressure, when you're tired when you shouldn't be sewing, even if hand sewing, I think that's the other thing is, I have the same thought of like, oh, it's hand sewing, so like, what's the worst that can happen? Losing your eyesight's the worst that can happen. Um, and I was very, very lucky that I didn't. So yes, I, I, we don't do con crunching here. Uh, we probably never will. Uh, I don't personally think it's a safe thing to do. And yeah, there you go. Now you know why. Okay, story is over. Uh, I'm No more graphic descriptions, we're done. I don't want anyone, I, again, it's one of those things where eyes is hard for a lot of people and I completely understand why. So I don't want anyone to feel uncomfortable, but uh, yep. I got very lucky, very, very lucky. <laughs> you should be careful, you should be careful. Stream is safe now, stream is safe now. We're done, we're done. Not squeamish at all, except for eye stuff, yeah. When I was younger, I was like, oh, I have a round scar under my eye and it looks like a whole white booger. <laughs> nice, eye boogers. Little, little eye boogers. Do I like this? I feel like you wouldn't see the elbow, would you? I'm, I'm. Sometimes you have to just hold your arm up and be like, "Do I see my elbow?" The answer is no. I don't see my elbow. There's no elbow here. There's only the inside of the arm, which means there's like this bit, but it's not. Mmm. And that's kind of the shape. I have big baggy sleeves on, so I'm maybe not getting. <laughs> I'm maybe not getting the best angle on this. Uh, yes, yes. Invisible elbows. But they would be, right? Because if you're doing this, then the knobbly bit's on this side. So, you wouldn't see, you wouldn't see your weenus, <laughs> would you? It'd be nice and hidden. So I think, uh, yeah, no weenus on display this time. Sorry, guys. <laughs> no, I just don't think you'd see it. I think it'd be like in there. Yeah. And then that looks a little odd because... Oh wait, no, that's way too thin. Okay, well what we'll do is we'll we'll bring out the thing. I, I at least know there's no elbow there. And we can we can go from here. And I can just draw the whole way up. For the sake of knowing what I'm doing. There we go, and then Like so. I don't know if that's too far. Yeah, it's a bit far, isn't it? Uh, what I could do is, if I was to do this more... Hmm, like so. Yeah, I think that's a bit better. I'm okay make, like taking a minute just making these fixes because it's like, otherwise I'm gonna make something I don't like. And I think that makes more sense. Yeah, okay, okay. We got this, we got this. Can I touch your elbows together? Oh yeah, the whole like thing that people would do is like, yeah, you can, it's, I just did it up here. Come on guys. <laughs> I do love that when people like lean into it though, it's very funny. Oh dear. And then, yes, on this side we would get full weenus. So we get it on the other side. What we don't get on the first side, we do have on the second side is, or weenus. Go. And then... I actually kind of like how this one looks. I don't really feel the need to change it that much. Uh, and then we just have the tops of the hand here. 
because then it goes into the box. I, I did on this one double check where the box was because these are quite hard hands to draw and I figured why well, draw them if you're not gonna see them so yeah I, I just was like yep that'll do. Maybe I do wonder if this is a bit I think you could have this a bit further in like that kind of thing maybe just even like that yeah 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 because they don't have very big arms I feel like I might have gone a bit far with that that's okay that's okay and we still need to get it like filled in and such yeah yeah I think that works oh dear Oh, of no, and then go right back to nah, can't do it actually, never could, afraid not. Died was like, they go where you want to see and do that. Now, just decide back to cross stitch or to continue the diamond art. Which are you enjoying diamond art? Are you feeling productive? Are you having a good time? If you're not having a good time, then it's an idea to switch. But if you're enjoying yourself, I guess it depends on on whether you are enjoying yourself or not. Also, arm requires a little extra thickness, personally, just here kind of bothering me a little but it's like like that maybe actually if I draw it when the other one is still there I can get an idea of yeah because I think I want to go up to here and then up to there and then if I erase with my maybe a slightly smaller eraser this then I should be pretty happy Ah, oh, do I wanna uh, imagine that these aren't proofy seams? She says really buff arms. You, you honestly, that that's good head cannon. It's good head cannon. I, as the author, I will not confirm or deny whether or not you're correct, but I will say it's good. It's good head cannon. I like it. That's better. It's just slightly, slightly bulky arms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Well, damn you! I vote diamond art. Why? I vote cross stitch. 50-50. All right. You know what I vote? It is time for a Discord art share. Jelly be the tiebreaker between. Diamond art or cross stitch? <sighs> Have you considered doing some stuff in a sketchbook? <laughs> I'm like, the problem is, I'm like, I don't know if I could pick between those two right now. Because I kind of think, out of all of them, I think I'd prefer to do sketchbook work on a Friday. Personally. Personally. Friday feels like a sketchbook day to me. <laughs> Did that help? Have I been helpful? I bet I have. I'm gonna leave this conversation here being like, I was so helpful when they asked me to pick one or the other and I didn't pick either. Dude, I'm the best. Helpful is my middle name. <laughs> oh dear. I know also, yeah, sorry. I do know that it's break time. I just thought getting the rest of the hand in might make sense before we go on break, so that I don't have to come and do a hand as soon as uh, I come back. Like, not that I hate doing the hands or anything like that, I just feel like it's kind of hard. And like, why subject myself to doing the hard bit as soon as I get back? Let's get the basic bit in and then I'm like, yeah, I can work from- I can work with this. <laughs> oh dear. And then, uh, I just need to put like a little rectangle in here. There you go. <laughs> nice book. Oh, why will you like this? And there we go. Nice. Okay. Sorted. Sorted. <coughs> I'm a little tired of doing digital art. My friend has broken the tie. Yippee! It's diamond art time. Lovely. Hell yeah. I hope you enjoy it. All right. It is time for a little Discord art show. What time is it as well? It's fine. It's fine. We have a few things to go over. I can see it's been posted. So if we go across to... Uh, the art channel first. Oh, thank you for having me save my work. I will do that. I will do that. Two seconds. Let me get that back open again. Save that. Go back to here. And then would you guys like to see some of the art people have been working on while we've been doing our one? First of all, uh, we have the art that Anime did yesterday, uh, which is this, which looks really, really good. I will say I absolutely loved the line art for this one. I thought it was really, really good. It's incredibly detailed. I think this is the kind of thing that would do very well at Chroma Core, and I, re I really, really like it. I, I love it with colour as well, but I already loved it. You don't need to convince me. I already like this one. <laughs> I think that it's great. And then they've also done this. Oh, which is... Okay. Oh, my God. So cute. Oh, my God. Oh, with a background ready as well. For the, oh, my God. That's going to be lovely. I look forward to seeing what you do with this one. Oh, also, yeah, we have a slightly different setup. You can actually see me while we're looking at Discord Art Share. I am still here. I'm not just a discombobulated voice anymore. Hello. Hell yeah. 
I absolutely love her anime. I already loved the, the mechanical pony. I love, I already love this. But I, I love the extra ones as well. Hell yeah. Oh, it's also a commission. Hell yeah. Oh, congratulations on the commissions anime. Hell yeah. Well done. All right, and then we have Saki. Saki raided us earlier. Uh, the Synergist one should receive a new PNG tuber soon. Oh, lots of changes and overlays. Oh, it looks lovely. The texture is so nice on your, your typography, Saki. Always lovely. Hell yeah. And of course, it's incredibly neat. Looks really, really profound. It's just lovely. It's just heckin' lovely. And I love it. Yeah, great. Great heckin' stuff. Looks really, really good. As always, of course. If we go across now to embroidery, we have... Oh, you're turning to a costage. Very confusing, but again, in the hang of it. Nice. And you're making a goblin? Oh! <gasps> anime! Anime! Are you... Are you crocheting a little goblin? Are you doing a little friend? Oh my god. Very exciting. <gasps> also, it begins, but this... This is not the one you're going to be working on. It's, you're going to do diamond painting. However... The sloth bookmark is very cute. A mushroom goblin. Hell yeah, anime. Oh, I hope you really enjoy it. Have a really nice time with it. It sounds like a lot. Listen, I might be very goblin biased, but it sounds like a lovely project. Here we have a little sloth bookmark that's about to be made, which looks very heckin' cute. Anyone would be lucky to have. I hope you have a nice time when you do go back to working on this. Also, I need to put some hearts, some hypes. I need to make some goblin emotes at some point. Do you think? I feel like at this point we've done enough goblin stuff. Is there a sloth, by the way? That's what I was going to look for. Yes, there is. Oh, dear. Ah, oh, it's a super cute goblin pattern. Hell yeah. Oh, I look, I really look forward to seeing I think I have seen some mushroom goblins before. I wonder if it's the same pattern. Ah, uh, they've never cross-stitched, but I assume it's not super different to embroidery. I... Uh, it's different. It's more pixel artish. Like, you know how pixel art is a different form of art? There's just different considerations. Both are good. Both are difficult at times. And both can be easy. Uh, but they're slightly different. Yeah, there we go. And if we go to cosplay and sewing, uh, anime has finished the sleeve. Just got a... Oh my god, it's so neat. Like, damn, it looks like you've just unpicked this from a jacket at, like, a suit store. It's so perfect. I mean, well, well heckin' done, as expected of anime. But it is, it is really, really good. It's very hecking neat. Ah, uh, there. And then we have... <gasps> Ooh! Oh my god, those are stunning. This is going to be a wedding quilt that I believe Cthulhu is making as a gift. It's really, really nice. Uh, and it, the colours are beautiful. And this is this all looks really, really nice. I don't know if Cthulhu's still here, but I absolutely love those. The, the colours are just beautiful together. The purples, oranges with like little specks of green. It's really, really nice. I'm sure when they receive it, they'll be very pleased. Uh, finished one of the front pockets of the jacket and it has pretty flowers inside. <gasps> okay, so first of all, nice, nice, neat, nice, neat stitch work on the outside. Really, really pretty. Really, really neat. Look how well all of this lines up. Like, it's so nice. It's incredibly satisfying. And again, your, your darts all look really nice, really neat, very nice. And then, not only that, if you open up the pocket, there's flowers inside. <laughs> it looks like you're just so fancy, so heckin' fancy. Ah oh dear. It's really, really nice. Really, really nice anime. I hope you feel really, really proud of this. I, it's beautiful. Just beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Somne, good morning. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. Yes, Goblin Emotes. Maybe. I, if I have some spare time, could throw a couple of in. I have got some spare slots, to be fair. New commission for the big giveaway. Mokka Mine is doing. I put my art up for it. Oh, hell yeah, anime. It's the reason I'm loving my exam project. It's really, really nice. No, I to do stitch work is what I meant. Oh, yeah. In that case, if you're confident with a needle, you should be fine. Let's have a little look at general craft. Oh, prism. Oh, this is the piece you're working on. Oh, my God. It's lovely. It is really, really nice. I don't blame you for wanting to work on this. It's a memorial piece for a sweet heckin' doggo. That sounds hecking lovely. That sounds like a hecking lovely project. I look forward to seeing it when it's done. I'm sure it'll be, you can already see like the slight glisten on this side. I'm sure it'll be absolutely stunning when you finished it. Uh, I ran out of my uh, two cosmic commissions. So until then, you're going to go back to working on this. Oh my God, it's so big. Yeah, we haven't seen this for a minute from Gina, but Gina is in the background doing an absolutely massive diamond painting piece for Game of Thrones. They've more recently been working on this one, which is very, very close to being done to be fair, uh, which is a commission piece. But damn, damn, they're both coming on so well. I do see someone else is posting art. It's a Somne. Oh my God. Somne. Somne. This is, this is phenomenal. Oh my God. 
Jesus, that's so good. Also, cats, thank you for the egg smash. Good morning. You get your Gina. Gina's the one doing that. That's why you voted for it. Could be, could be. This is so good, Somni. It, it, this this uh, golden bit, is it metallic? Does it shine in the light? Because from the picture, it almost looks like it's shining, which is so cool. This background piece is so good. Uh, I love all of the sh I, I love this. I love it. I love it. When can I get it as a tarot card? <laughs> oh dear. I love it. I love it. It's beautiful. Oh dear. Stop. Never. <laughs> From the reef in his hand and the surface. I see. It's really, really nice. Really, really nice. Thank you so much, everyone, for sharing art with us again for a Discord art share. Next one will be in an hour's time, so we'll have another one. I I'm sorry if I seem like I'm going through it a bit quicker as well. It's not because I'm running to rush through it. It's just because I don't know how long I'm going to last today. My stamina is on a bit low. It's on a low. I'm low on stamina today. Need a stamina potion. But uh, no, thank you so much, everyone, who has shared art. It was lovely to see it. And yeah, no, looks it looks great. You're all goddamn talented. How dare, how dare everyone be so goddamn talented. Illegal, illegal. Oh dear. No, it's, re it's really nice to see. It's, it's very inspiring from an outsider's perspective as well to see people doing stuff that they're good at or just taking up for the first time and stuff like that. It's just lovely, it's just lovely. You just want scary? What'd you do? What'd you do? What have you done? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move these together. There we go. Uh, and just have a little look. We, can, we should probably just get the whole thing in. I think we can get the whole thing in and we can get away with that because it's not a, it's not too much detail on the back, at least. Again, considering compared to the front, this is a much quicker piece. So I think we can just nip through and get the big ribbon around the... I can't do it in air quotations while I'm drawing, but imagine I'm saying waist because the goblins I draw don't really have waists. But uh, yes. Oh dear, it says you! It says you, also. <laughs> oh my god, excuse me. Sorry, that was a very mechanical one. <laughs> I don't know why I like that. Thank you for the horn. I went to a comic and sequential art fantasy cafe and gallery today and asked about exhibiting and using the- <gasps> get a job? Oh my god, Somne! Wait, that's amazing! <gasps> Wait, that's so exciting! Do you, do you get good vibes? Do you think you got it? Oh my god! Con First of all, congratulations, Omni. That is not an easy thing to go and do. You're right. That is heckin' scary. But heckin' congratulations. I really hope... I really hope you hear back from them soon. I mean, they would be crazy not to take you, to be clear. Like, who did... Madness. Of course. Of course. But I really, I really, really hope you hear back from them soon. <gasps> That'd be so cool! That'd be so cool, son! Oh my god! You're right, that is really scary. But that's also amazing. Absolutely amazing. Ah, oh dear. Good hacking job. That's our... Oh, timer. Thank you. You're damn right, timer. <laughs> so that's good hacking vibes. The owner's one there with the girl. The bar was positive. Okay, okay. So it's good. Maybe good vibes. I'm so excited going on. What did I Okay. If I don't see you before then, Somne, which I probably won't if it's tomorrow. <laughs> uh, good luck. Best of luck. All fingers crossed for you. Again, they would be mad not to take you. They'd be mad not to have you. But I still wish you, you know, obviously not everyone, everyone is the same. So I hope, I hope you have, I hope you get it. I wish you the very best of luck. That'd be so cool to see. That would be so cool. And like, you genuinely deserve it. Your art's so cool. And it'd be so cool to have it in like a more public space like that and have more people to see it. It'd be really, really cool. It'd be really, really cool. If you do make an exhibit there, make sure, I mean, I'll actually, within your comfort level, because I don't want you to feel like you have to dox yourself, but if you fancy sharing how it looks and like letting people, because uh, most of us, of course, for, for location reasons, will probably not be able to visit in person. If you wanted to share like what it looked like in the end, I think people would really love to see it, but, obviously only within your own comfort zone and i completely understand if you don't feel like that's not that's not going to be safe and stuff like that you know it's whatever whatever it's it's whatever is good for you i'm sure people would love to see it but we also would completely understand if it's not going to be like a safe thing so yes i'm sorry i am gobbledygooping my words because i'm excited for you but you get you get the vibes okay so i'm just drawing this again because it was just not quite right wasn't like super far off or anything, but it was also not there. So, 
The pleats are meant to go the whole way up on this, so I'm just uh, spending a little time getting some pleats in. There we go. That should look good. Yeah, that's about that's about what we wanted. <laughs> oh, there's a bit of overlap here. <laughs> we're we're close. We're close. <laughs> Oh dear, good heckin' job! Good. Oh, got so excited, thank you, I'd love to share. Yeah! Again, obviously, whatever you feel safe sharing, we would love to see it. Even if it's just like a super zoomed in version so we can't see the store itself, whatever you can share, we'd all be, we'd all be very excited to see it, I think. That looks good. That looks like somebody reaching for a book on the shelf, which is what I wanted it to look like. So I'm kind of okay with that. Basically, we'd love to see pics, but only if you want to share. Yeah, it's tricky because I'm excited, but I also don't want to like, you know, I don't want you to feel like you have to share anything that might put you in danger, you know? Um, I don't know. Um, I'd love for anyone to come see it. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you're happy, again, obviously, within your safety and whatever makes you feel safe. But if you are happy to share where it's going to be, if you if you get in and such, like, more than welcome to. Like, find the website, find, find all that kind of stuff. I don't want to feel like I'm pressuring you into doing it because I'm also like, I completely understand how that... Because I've had exhibits... Well, actually, do, you guys know this, right? I've had stuff in exhibits in the last couple years and I've not mentioned it on stream be because I feel nervous about stuff like that. Also because some of them like to put in, you know, so-and-so lives here and it's like, ah, yeah, no, I kind of don't want people to go to that if it says stuff like that. But, um, yeah, no. So I completely understand if it's like, if you see it in person, you're like, oh yeah, this gives away a bit too much of my personal data. But if there is anything you can share and you, you're happy to share, I, I also want you to feel like you'd be more than welcome to share it because I think a lot of people here would be really happy. I mean, we're very fortunate in that we have a community that is very excited for other people's successes. And that, yeah, I would, I would love personally to see it, but also again, within your comfort, within your comfort. I'm just a little blabbering lady. Just a little blab blabbering lady. <laughs> oh dear. You're really not Jelly. Just, thank you, I'm glad. Oh dear. Gotta be, I, I always feel like I've got to be a bit careful because I do get a bit overexcited. I, I can be a little bit too excitable, which is a, it's a positive and a negative, isn't it? I get very excitable, but sometimes I get too excitable. I have to, I have to use my brain. And it doesn't help that I am feeling, again, what does it call it? More, more emotional than usual, because I'm not very well. <laughs> oh dear. It's probably a good, re a good thing that you didn't have the pictures of you in the gallery today. Like you're still, you're still waiting to hear back. Because if you randomly posted pictures like that, I, I am in the kind of mood where I'd probably just cry. <laughs> I'm too emotional for this. Oh dear. And I will, I, I, you know what, it's probably not the antibiotics, it's probably from being just a little overtired, because I've not been well, but I will blame the antibiotics. It's like, damn, these antibiotics got me feeling different, specifically emotional. <laughs> they got me feeling emotional and sentimental. Damn. Ah, oh, duh. There we are. Ugh. Double zuffer. In spite of all the piss of cannibalism and <laughs> You mean, not not in spite of, you know, with extra consideration for the cannibalism piss and feed, you know? <laughs> not, not in spite of. That's a, that's an additional part, right? Oh, dear. It all adds... I was thinking about piss yesterday. What reminded me of piss yesterday? Oh, you can't tell me. You weren't here. God damn it. Ah, oh, well, that's really annoying. That just Now I just sound mad. <laughs> so, something reminded me of piss yesterday. And I remember being like, I want to tell a stream about that. I want to tell a You know who's going to like this? Twitch chat. Twitch chat and YouTube chat, who are really getting into it more recently, would love this. Oh, damn it, that's so annoying. I can't remember. Ah, it, this is why I need streams, because I tell you guys things, and then you guys are like, Jelly, you're talking about this, and it's like, thank you. Gosh, bless you, thank you. Because I don't remember. <laughs> we, then we get pretty excited. Fan service didn't come out of nothing. Well, you know, I actually kind of love the idea that every time someone re actually you weren't here, Sonne, I'll, I'll 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 up to date you on what happened earlier. So um, when people have been raiding us, I've been drawing them sexy slimes. Why? I don't know. It just kind of happened. Grey Mouse raided us, and I was like, damn. 
Thank you so much, so much, Grey Mouse, for the raid. That's so kind of you. In response to you and your very kind raid, I will draw you a sexy slime. So I drew them a slime. Uh, what I drew them a slime with like nipple covers and then a thong and Saki raided. So we drew them a like in a little cowboy outfit with short shorts and stuff. Although the short shorts doesn't really work because slimes don't have legs, which <laughs> it did make the short shorts look a little bit odd. Unfortunate. Didn't think about that in advance that that might not work because slimes don't have legs. You'd have thought I would have considered that earlier, but it do be like that sometimes. Sometimes you don't realize that your, your characters don't have legs until you try putting them in tiny, tiny shorts. And the bikini was the first one. That was an unprompted uh, sexy slime because someone in chat asked for fan service and I was like, you, you, was it sleeves? Oh no, no, it was prism. It was prism. And I completely misunderstood what they were talking about. So it actually, I say it was prism, but it wasn't really prism's fault because what they said was very normal. But what I read it as was not very normal. <laughs> so it was technically prism, but not quite. Yeah, micro bikini. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time to run to reach. <laughs> Wait, I'll draw you a sexy slime, Somne. Actually, could I do you like a little sexy gladiator slime? Like a... Uh... Oh wait, what's the... No, 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 not gladiator. I'll do you like a princess Leia slime. Yeah, 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 in the bikini. That's the one that people like to do, isn't it? It's like, yeah. That, and then this one. And then they got the Leia buns. There they are. Uh, and then, oh yeah. And then what does she have on her bottom? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is the, the sexy one I think people dress up as. I don't really know anything about Star Wars. <laughs> Wait, do they, does she have a lightsaber? Oh, we could make, no, you know what? We're not gonna do that. That's, that's one. I will be very careful with where I put the lightsaber because I was gonna put it somewhere else, but then I was like, that might be too far outside of Twitch TOS. I don't know what a lightsaber looks like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like a piece of fabric? There you go. Privacy flag. I don't know anything about Star Wars, but <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> Did I do it? <laughs> I think I think that's pretty accurate. We could put some stars around her, so it's more obvious that it's Star Wars. There you go. She's in the stars. Uh, and then what else happens in Star Wars? War! Uh, we give her a gun. That, will, that, that signifies the war in Star Wars. She's shooting people. There you go. Uh, there we are. There, there you are, Sonny. For you. <laughs> I hope you like it. Unfortunately, I decided to draw something from a, a franchise I really know nothing about. Oh dear. <laughs> Thank you, anytime. <laughs> it's princess from butternips. <laughs> Listen to you. Yeah, I don't I don't really know where the rest of her hair goes. I'm not sure. Anyway, we gave her the best shot. There she is. You you had your sexy character. <laughs> I did my bestest. Um unfortunately, yeah, that was that's kind of on me. I should probably try and pick franchises where I know like a little bit more about them. Uh because I actually have no idea what she looks like, really. Outside of like a few cosplays I've seen. Yeah. Privet! <laughs> what? Come on in. How you doing? Good morning. <laughs> We've been, we, you didn't see anything. You definitely didn't see sexy slime cosplay stuff. Definitely not. Not on this stream. We were, we were, a, we were a, a, a goblin stream. No sexy slimes here. That being said, here we are. We've just been doing some line art. Uh, it's a bit... Uh, early days yet, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Line art is s lining. It's slowly lining, and uh, I think it looks pretty cute. And oh, we have this one from the other day. Pretty happy with that. Uh, so we just have to draw them from the back now. Oh, uh oh. Wait a minute. I can't read that. I'm sorry. We have English only in chat. Although I actually don't even know what language that is. Ah oh, dear. Ah oh, dear. Honestly, okay. I'm really sorry, Walter. I'm gonna just, we have to keep it in English only. Uh, what I can do is I can type this in chat. I am sorry, it's in English. Uh, English only chat. 
It's because it's the only it's the only language I can moderate in. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's the only language I can moderate in. Uh, I'm a, just a stupid lady who could only speak one language. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Noted. You're all good. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I wish I could speak more languages. Over time, I'm still practicing. Then again, the first one, like the one that I'm practicing is Welsh. Which is, I think, a language that maybe one person in this stream speaks. And they also speak English. So, uh, the, unfortunately, the language that I'm currently learning, it's not super useful for Twitch. But uh, it is super useful for life. So, you know, I am, that's, that's going to be the first one on the list. But after that, I have options, but I have to, I kind of have to learn Welsh first. Sort of, it's becoming, it's an, it's an important one. It's also arguably the easiest one for me to learn because I live in Wales and there are people around me who speak Welsh, so people can correct me. <laughs> Which makes learning a language so much easier when there's someone there who'll be like, you said that wrong, mispronunciation. Uh, I did have to take a break though from Welsh because when I, I think I've told this story, it's very silly. Uh, after I had bronchitis and when I was first diagnosed with long COVID, every time I made the kh sound, kh, like for at uh, beke kind of sound, right? I would, I would choke. <laughs> I would like straight up choke and it was really bad and I'd cough really hard. So I had to straight up give up learning Welsh for like eight months. Because every single time I try and like say anything with an accent, I well not give up, but give up speaking Welsh for eight months. Because every time I try and say anything which had an accent on it, I would quite literally choke because uh, because I was still my throat was still recovering for so long. <laughs> it was a very silly situation. Ah oh dear. Meanwhile, multilinguals be looking at chat. Like, I know, I know. I, I I see. I meet so many people that are so good at language and. I want to be there. I do. I just, I, I kind of need to learn Welsh first. And it's not just, it's not because you can't get by only speaking English in Welsh. Of course you can. Uh, in Wales, at least you can. Like plenty of people only speak English in Wales. But if I ever have a family in Wales, there are certain benefits, monetary benefits for a child that is multilingual, like both, both Welsh and English. Uh, because the Welsh government is putting like a really big drive into ke keeping people learning Welsh and getting kids to learn Wel Welsh, if you have a kid who can speak Welsh, they get to go to better schools, they can get really big grants and bursaries for anything they do at a higher education. There's so many benefits. So I am like quite literally learning Welsh so that if I ever have a kid that I can speak Welsh around them because Shiny is already first language Welsh. Shiny doesn't need to learn. Um, but so that I can speak in, uh, so I can speak Welsh around them, because it's much easier if both parents speak it, so that they get to go to the good schools. <laughs> that's that's it. That's why it's also a priority though, because I'm like I don't want to have kids right now, just to be clear. Not 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 in not in the new no 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 new time soon. But one day it'd be really nice to have that. So I I need to get good. Yeah. I mean, it's a good, like, I will say it is a pretty good motivation for wanting to learn, I think. Like, it's one where you definitely want to stick to it a bit more. Uh, I know people who are first language Welsh who have studied in Wales, and again, you get a lot of benefits from it. There's a lot you can get from it, um, because there is, like, that focus on trying to get more people learning the language. So, I get that one first. The second one on the list will probably be Spanish. Uh, the reason that that's next is because I actually studied Spanish for five years. And so, well, I wouldn't say that the UK is that good in the way that it teaches a second language. I have a slight head start, you know? And that's, it keeps you going when you're, you're just first learning. So I think that's probably the order it's gonna go. I gotta get Welsh down first. And then once I'm in a place where I can confidently have conversations in Welsh, even if I don't know, I don't need to know all the words. If anything, it's fine if I don't. It's just like, so that I can have normal conversations and feel confident in it as well. Mm. That's the other thing. Confidence is a big one, right? You, I feel pretty confident a lot of the time when I'm like seeing Welsh and like knowing how to pronounce it and stuff like that, but I don't feel confident speaking it. And I'm sure that will just come with time, with more practice. We'll get there. I think it's also normal that it takes a while to learn something like this. <laughs> oh dear. Bicicleta? That's a uh, bicycle, isn't it? Could be wrong. Not that I would ever use that. I don't cycle very much. <laughs> <laughs> Me every day to a different language. Yeah, well, because you're multilingual as well. Right, right, right. 
anime. We have a lot of people here who, who speak multiple languages. I personally always love to hear people speaking in their in different languages, especially if it's like you're somewhere you're somewhere that the first language isn't English. I'm always interested in hearing it. I like it a lot. Oh dear. There we go. Oh. Uh, oh, did I miss the first bit? I did. I think I saw bicyclet. I'm sorry, sorry. But they, yeah, green. Wouldn't it be bicyc? Is it that way around? Why do I think it's the other? F Am I screwing up Welsh and Spanish now? Because Welsh does a lot of stuff backwards. I would have thought it would have been bicicleta verde, but then if it's the other way around, verde bicicleta. Fair enough. Fair enough. I, I'm getting confused. I. It's too. One language is hard for me. Just English is hard. Putting three in this brain. Oh. Giving my brain a good workout. That's for sure. Ah oh, dear. Howdy dowdy ver! How goes it? Sorry ver, that was a really delayed intro. Ver, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. You've caught us doing goblins. Goblin things. We've become very obsessed with goblins recently. I've made some, well I made loads of people in chat into goblins. We've also made some original characters as goblins. Here they are, I love them very much. <laughs> Uh, that you, you're right, Jelly, it's supposed to be the other way around. Is it? Okay, I, I thought it was, but uh, yes, my bad. I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be like, um, actually, I'm, I'm just getting confused and trying to learn. Yeah, I, I think both Welsh and Spanish often do it like backwards to English, where it's like the description will sometimes come afterwards. Welsh is the same. Well, well not always, but often is the same. Like, bore da. Da is good. Morning. Bore. So you also have like print hound da. But it's the da, it's the it's the good. So the description is second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's actually morning good when you're saying bore da. But it means good morning. <laughs> but it, it just yeah, and Spanish is the same, I think, a lot of the time. Where it's it's it to the English counterpart, it feels backwards. Yeah. Michael Bublé, Everything Animal Crossing song, yeah! I don't know English. I, I wish I knew more. But Welsh is top of the list because I'd lived there. <laughs> I feel like that's a good reason. It's top of the list because you know what? I can use it straight away. <laughs> it would be really useful as well for going like when we, we've been more north, more west a few times. In this, If you're in the south, right, which is where I lived for a very long time, was like southest of the south. If you live in the south, you'll probably never have to use Welsh. While you'll see signs that'll be in Welsh and stuff like that, the majority of the time people won't speak to you in Welsh in the south. But as soon as you leave the south of Wales and start going more, uh, even more north or more west, although not all places west, because there's also some, there are some places west where I feel like everyone who's bought a house there is English and it's like their holiday home. But um, yeah, depending on where you go west, also west. Um, and then you'll hear more people speaking Welsh. Uh, and yeah, no, I've definitely had the situation a few times now where like family has has spoken to me in Welsh first and then been like, oh shoot, I need to actually change to English. And I would really like it if that wasn't the case. I'd love it if, if they would accidentally speak to me in Welsh and then be like, I could respond in Welsh, you know? And like, I can do simple stuff in Welsh and I can pick up stuff that they're talking about. Like, well, again, the last time they, we talked to them, the first thing they said in Welsh was like, oh, your hair's the wrong colour. And I kind of picked that up. <laughs> but uh, I was too nervous to respond in Welsh, even though I knew kind of what they had said. I was like, I was too, I was too spooked. I was too nervous. I didn't want to make a fool of myself. Uh, but I would like to get to the point where I don't feel so nervous about it. Also, no one is going to be mean to me. No one's going to be like, oh, <laughs> You tried, lol. No, everyone's very nice. Um, and they appreciate the effort. So yes, I just need to get a bit more confident and keep putting the effort in, and eventually I'll be able to respond in Welsh. Also, I think that looks pretty okay. I think I think we're pretty good there. I just need to like get the bookshelves in the background, but like for a character, I think they look pretty okay. Delightful, hell yes. Chiquita Roche. Yeah, like object and then color later, like jacket red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should only go back to learning Spanish. I know three different languages, but I want to learn Japanese, but it's so darn difficult. I mean, Japanese is very different from those other ones. It's like all the formats and the languages and like the, the writing and everything is very different. It's really, it's a lovely language though. <laughs> uh, just flex on us. You can flex on me whenever you like, as long as you're keeping chat to, you know, English, because obviously I know, I know personally you wouldn't say anything bad, but on the off chance that someone came in and was like, 
spamming the nasty words in a different language. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't want to. We don't want it to be encouraged by people in chat that are already not speaking English. But you already know that. You already know that. <laughs> oh dear. I trust. All right. I like how this looks. I'm. I'm actually really pleased with how this looks. Um. I'm gonna miss when we're not drawing gods anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna miss it. This feeling of like finishing a piece of line art and being like, I'm really happy with that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss when that's not the case anymore. I don't know if I'm, don't know if I'm ready to give up goblins. I've been really enjoying it. All right, do you want to do the background of this piece first or do we want to get both of the bodies in? Because we have one body right now, but we haven't got the background. Draw goblins forever? What if? Well, I also would want to do embroidery. Embroidery goblins as well. <laughs> Draw and embroider goblins forever. Ah, oh, dear. Could you share some other languages your brain cell body? <laughs> I forgot you were brain cell buddies. Goblinify Karimiko. I don't think I'll be the only person with a goblin uh, OC, uh, OC though. To be honest, I don't think I will. I think I'll be a few. Goblins have been pretty popular this year. I'm not sure if you're gonna like those brain cell buddy. You want a taste of Mimotha Tong? That sounds like flirting. I know it's not. Are you flirting? Are you flirting in my in my wholesome goblin stream? I can't believe it. I can't believe people are flirting in my wholesome goblin stream. What happened? What did I do wrong? Where did we go wrong? That people would come into my stream and start flirting? Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. I can't believe it. Oh god, PC Angie. Angie Angie PC. Jesus. Honestly, kids these days. Coming into your stream, flirting. Disgusting. <laughs> I'm sorry, I am joking. I am of course joking. Uh it's like about sounding innuendo. It does be sounding innuendo y though. We had the same thoughts like, oh my god. Flirting? We are the same individual. We are all one person. The hive mind. <laughs> we only flirt. We should not flirt with Jelly. The problem is, if you flirt with me, I won't realise. Yeah, my brain is not in a place where I understand when people are flirting with me. Oh dear. It's like a lot of the time innuendos go straight over my head as well. We have had people attempt- you won't believe it, but it's happened once or twice. Come into this community and attempt to float with me- float with me? <laughs> flirt with me. They've not attempted to float with me, not yet. Um, and I just miss it. I just don't notice, to be honest. Not that they're bad. I just, I, I just don't assume. <laughs> so I don't notice. Uh, the jelly hive. I think it does sound sexy. I think every language which isn't English sounds sexy. And there are also very special, talented individuals that can make the English language sound sexy. <laughs> but it's a few and far between. But it's the same with accents, right? I don't know how you guys feel about accents, but I, I, I generally stand on the every accent that is not my accent can be sexy, but my accent is not sexy. And I, th I think that's kind of, that, at least that's how I approach it, right? It's like any accent can be sexy, but generally I will, I will never find my own accent to be sexy. <laughs> Actually, let me just get a book that's of a similar size to this one. Like so. So that I have like a starting point and then we can hide this again. There we are. Alright. It's gonna be annoying, but we're going to we're gonna do this because it's important. Alright. Which is we're gonna have some books that are sideways. Is this gonna look annoying? Yeah. Oh yeah. You bet. It's gonna look real annoying for a while. That's okay. And then we'll work this out. We'll make this look nice. It won't look nice immediately and that's okay. Thin book in here too. There we go. 
There's some thin books in there. Nice. All right, that's one shelf. <laughs> and then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna woomph, rasterize, merge, and then we'll go back in and we will add detail, they will look better, but for now we'll leave it there. Ah, oh, dear. It's a Dutch reduced client, so she'd hard disagree with you. I think it's very true, because I don't think I sound sexy when I speak Dutch. What languages do you know? Uh, also, to be fair, I really like the Eurovision song too. Fair enough. Oh dear. All right. How do I want to do this? I could keep them, like, all very... I kind of want it to look, like, more scattered, though. Like, they could be anything in these bookshelves, but it's not just books, you know? Yeah? Also, I, just as a heads up, because I see a couple people commenting on it now, I'm not going to be talking about Eurovision. Uh, I'm not happy. Uh, uh, personally, I don't like what they're doing. I don't want to go into a full conversation about what they're doing right now. If you're interested and you don't understand, you can go Google it. But I also don't want to have conversations about Eurovision in this chat because personally, as a long time Eurovision fan, someone who has come back year after year after year, I'm incredibly disappointed. Incredibly disappointed. And I'm not watching this year. I'm not supporting that. Uh, stand with Palestine. Not, not doing it. Not doing it. Uh, and yeah, so yeah, if you want to talk about Eurovision, I understand. Not in this chat. Not right now. There is a me who is grieving the loss of something they have loved for many years being butts. And I, you know, I'm too high for that <laughs> right now. You catch me in the wrong mood, if that is okay. Respectfully. Not right now. <laughs> oh dear. I'm, I'm a sad, sad bean. There we go. I'm gonna do some like stacks to the side here. I imagine the really thick ones are like, uh, what do you call it? You know, like those tiny dictionaries you can get of different languages? Imagine they're that. There you go. Hell yeah. Potions and knickknacks. Oh, I would like some knickknacks. I guess I could do potions. That's, that's possible. do potions there we go oh dear what would they look like we could have uh, let me get the books in first because the books are all rectangles and I, I can i can have a little think about what i would want as potions afterwards i have time on that one uh yeah I could, I could, like, leave some spaces for potions, that's for sure. There we go. And I have to remember to get some really thin books in as well. Thin books do be existing. There we go, get some little skinny books in there. Oh, that crystal ball? Oh, that Jennifer... <laughs> And I like the crystal ball. I think I think there is no reason for a jellyfish. I haven't even decided if jellyfish exist in this world, but I like the idea of a crystal ball very much. That's actually a really good idea. I might leave a space over on the other side for a for a little crystal ball, uh, like over here. We could have that there, and then let's have a couple books on this shelf, and then a few lying down books maybe again. I, I, I'll be honest, I'm a big fan of books that go in both directions. I think that's kind of fun. So let's, uh... I'm gonna have to think of some good spines for these. And then... Some books on this side, too. And just have, like, a natural gap in them, too, sometimes. I think sometimes we don't have to fill the gaps. Just having some, like, little gaps in the books would be fine. I think would make it feel nice and natural. Like that. Oh my god, we're getting there. Jesus. I mean, it is looking like a bookshelf, so we can have potions up there, we can have a crystal ball there. That is just a book of shelves. A crown? Might be a bit too foreshadowy there. I like it. I, I see what you're doing. I see where you're going with it. And I do think it's very smart. But I think... I think I'm going to keep that a bit more... Not for now. Not for now. But I do like it. It's a wonderful idea. Big brain. Yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, you get a cat that gets stuck in a brain. I don't know if there are cats in this universe either. We haven't really gone very far outside of goblins, to be honest. So like, do cats even exist? I don't know. 
I don't know how cats fit into goblin society either. I haven't made that decision. Uh, gotta add syrup. Oh, a syrup? You're right. Okay, syrup can go... Oh yeah, we can have syrup somewhere. That's a, that's a very fair point. Syrup needs to be somewhere. Gonna add Easter eggs and community goblins? I am not sure. And specifically because uh, that was never part of the agreement. And you're not the first person to bring it up. And I, I do think it's a good idea, don't get me wrong. But um, because it wasn't part of the original agreement, and it's not, I, I'm just not gonna do it. No, not this time. It's not that I wouldn't do it in the future. Like uh, as, as a, hey, if you wanna have your goblin in, in the story, let me know kind of thing. But at this point, that's not what those goblins were for. It's not what they were designed for either. Because if I was going to de design them into the story, they'd all need to be simplified because they're far too complicated. <laughs> they're far too complicated to consider having as a part of the story as they are. So um, yes, I, not this time, but that doesn't mean not ever. Just not, that's not what they were designed for this point, at this point. But again, you're not the first person to bring it up and it's definitely not a bad idea or anything. Uh, I just would need to do a little bit more planning if that was going to happen. Yes, I think. I think that's understandable. <laughs> a jar of... I'm not... No. Listen here, you. <laughs> just because we have jar of piss in the community... doesn't. Then no, we save our goblins from the fate that this community has fell to. No jar of piss. <laughs> oh, dear. I... Uh... Oh, like a candy cane or something like that? No, no. Again, I don't have the permissions. I just don't, I don't want to touch that, to be honest. Uh, again, if we did it in the future, maybe I'd do things differently so we'd have that. But I think it's really important personally, and please excuse my own brain, but personally, I think it's really important when it comes to using other people's po P uh, OCs that we have that level of trust that the only things that will happen to it are things that you are specifically happy with. Because if I don't have that, at least that level of trust with the community, even if you think it's a nice thing, it's a breach of trust, if that makes sense, at least in my mind. So even though it feels like you're doing a nice thing, if even one person didn't feel like it was the nice thing you think it is, then you're not doing a nice thing. Uh, and that's that's my brain and belief system. So because I haven't had that permission, I won't do it. I won't do it. I, I, I'm real careful with stuff like that. And again, original characters and OCs really are like an extension for a lot of people of themselves. I don't want to put people in uncomfortable positions with stuff like that. I want to have like a nice chill stream where people can feel relaxed for a couple hours and I feel like that would be the opposite of what I would want to do to people, potentially, you know? Again, it's not to say that I wouldn't do it in the future though, like just not, not this time because it's not the pretense it was under. Yeah, gotta go, no you're fine anime, have a lovely lovely rest of your day, it was lovely to see ya. I'm just going to get some potion bottles in here now, because that was a good idea, and we're going to do it. Oh dear. Come on, please. No. This is my, uh, no. No piss. You've had enough. You don't need any more piss. <laughs> oh dear. In fact, did you even need any piss? I feel like the answer is no. You didn't even need a little bit. Scrolls. Oh, that would have been a good idea. God damn it. You probably posted that a minute ago as well, didn't you? Damn it. That was a good idea. If we have any gaps where I feel like a scroll could fit, I'll get back to you on that one. <laughs> All right, we got a couple of potion bottles. They look very cute. And I'm just gonna thicken up the lines a little bit and make them look nice and thick, like the other one. And then we're gonna put little labels on them. Well, I assume the wizards would have to know what was in these bottles. Um, here we go. I, I will say I'm not really a background person. Like doing backgrounds is kind of difficult. I've actually really been enjoying this. Oh dear. I've, I've really been enjoying doing the backgrounds and such. It's actually been really fun. <laughs> I really love adding all the little details and stuff. I thought I would hate it, but I don't. It turns out. I, at least I don't hate it as much as I thought that I would. I thought I'd find all this kind of stuff boring because it's not character work and I, I like character stuff. Turns out Actually, backgrounds is really fun. <laughs> Who knew? Definitely not me. I, di I didn't know. News to me. There you go. You like the little goblin skull? I'm acting as if the ears are a part of the skull, which they definitely are not, but you know. <laughs> there we go. There's a bottle of poison. 
Oh dear. Chess and boxes. Probably no boxes, because I think they'll, they'll get... These are all very box-shaped, but I really like the idea of scrolls, to be honest. That's a really good idea. Alright, get a little label on there as well. That's probably a bit big, actually. We could... Oh, we could even... Like that, and then, yeah, have like... There we go. And put like a little extra label on it. And just... Weird outside noise, I heard that. I heard that weird outside noise. There we go. <laughs> Here's one potion bottle. Cusco's poison, the poison for Cusco? <laughs> could be, could be. You might be on just like that. And then you just want like a random, like they've, they've stuck a label on, but it's like, it's not the most obvious label. And you don't really understand what's going on in it. It could be a good thing or a bad thing. It's difficult to tell. It's like a, like an interesting drawing in there. We're just not quite sure what it's of. But it's like got something on it. And then they've got some like scrawled text next to it. And then, what's the date today? There you go. Definitely not threatening. <laughs> Could mean anything. Could mean anything. Don't think about it too much. What could that mean? Who knows? There we go. Get that in there. Get that in there. And... Have like less of it in this one. That's a, that's a more empty bottle there. I do background books. I'd love to add little Easter eggs like this. Yeah, like put a little question mark. Oh, I don't know if I have space anymore, but I, I, I'm gonna do other pieces of paper so we can do that on a different one. <laughs> Fear not, for this is not the only little thing we're doing. We have a whole bookshelf full of things. <laughs> there you go. We got two of them there. And then crystal ball was another one, which I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna cheat. Don't tell anyone. It's a secret. Definitely didn't see that. <laughs> right, guys? Nobody saw? Nobody saw? Good. <laughs> it's just circles are hard, you know? And then I kind of want to... If I do this, I kind of want to go, like, kind of organic looking. So, like, have little branches going up the side, like this. And then if I... Oh wait, I'm on a size 5. That explains it. I was like, that looks kind of weird. Why is that so thin? Oh yeah, I've, got, I've not picked the correct size. There you go. Bye! I rasterize this and just erase uh, the bit in the middle. Like so. Excuse me. And then... Oh, I, I guess I could do it this, but that's fine. There you go. Get some little branches going up the side. And then get like a little... Oh, that doesn't look so good. That doesn't look so good. And just get like this going up the side and then have it going out to like there. And then on this side, uh, do the same thing. And just, yeah, there we go. And we get that a cool wood text, uh, I think. Yeah, yeah! Just a little crystal ball. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. Uh, do, actually, I could put a, I could put the question mark on this. Tempting. Oh, very tempting. No, we won't do on this because that's a bit silly. That makes it look like a magic eight ball, which is kind of funny, but that's not what it, it's not meant to be funny. It's meant to be very serious. A very serious goblin show. Oh, dear. Oh, unless. No, no, no. We're going to get a wood grain texture, which means that it would be kind of difficult to put that in anyway. We still have the question mark option. It's open to us, and it could be open to something else. And then... Oh god. Okay. And then... That there. And then... Over there, and then over there, and then and then get that bit doing the same thing, which is just put that over there, and then 
There you go. Nice. Okay. That should look pretty snazzy. Hell yeah. Okay. We have that then, which is our crystal ball. We have our potions. Oh, wait. The potions are on two different layers right now. Oh, God. Don't do that. Ooh, mistakes. Uh, there we go. So we have the potions there. The ball there. I need slime and I need scrolls. Oh, dear. Hmm. Oh, dear. Magic 8 ball would be a good crystal ball for a <laughs> I mean... We could put a little sticker on it, and we could say question mark. It's very silly though. What if we got a little question? Okay, well this can be the sticker. Oh wait, I might need to go here. There you go. You happy? You happy with your magic eight ball? <laughs> you happy with this? <laughs> oh, dear Jason, good morning. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. We're making a little bookshelf for a wizard. A uh, little wizardy bookshelf. We need the slime, of course. Sneak it around the corner. Being a little sneaky, sneaky something. And then I need to see if I can fit any scrolls in anywhere. Because I feel like I probably could. I feel like scrolls are one of those things where it's like, I probably could fit it in now that I, now that someone's mentioned it. I just have to go look. There we go. And then get the little bow in. It's important. It's important. They're very pretty. And they need their little bow. Come on. Draw a bow. There you go. <laughs> and then... Is this gonna be kind of flattened? <laughs> How am I gonna draw it flattened? Like that? Yeah, there you go. Just be me. And then me. Oh, it's a bit big actually, isn't it? There you go. And then. Cute. Okay. And then little face that's just no no thought behind these eyes actually i don't know if i like how the bow looks we, 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 you know what it's not quite right sometimes it don't be quite right that's not quite right something about that no it's not it's not correct look at the sweet leggings <laughs> i'm not gonna give them sweet leggings i'm gonna give them a little smile though there you go we're just gonna do them like their normal bow do them like their normal bow. Like it is technically underneath there, but that's okay. And then like 30, I think looked about right. Like that. There you go. Look at them being supportive. What a supportive bean. <laughs> Alright, where can we fit some scrolls in? I think I probably stack them on top of other things for scrolls. I think, like in here, maybe we could stack scats. Stack, blah, 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 blah. stack one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a vague circle shape, like so, and then maybe even actually that'll just be the one. Where else would we like a scroll? Because I'm gonna put some markings on it. Ah, oh, here maybe. Could even stack a couple of them here if we wanted to. I don't want them to be too perfectly round because I imagine that they're a bit scrumply, scrumply, scrumply scrolls. So like that more. And then we could have, oh, in here maybe? Mm, I, I don't want to fill every single gap with a scroll. Uh, oh, maybe we could have, hmm, maybe one in here. Like I could have one that's like falling into the gap. Like so, and then another one next to it. There we go, yeah, I think that would do it. I think I'll do that for a few little scrunkly little scrolls. And then if I go in with size 5... Okay. And then... Shum, shum, shum. There you go. You get the vibes. Scrunkly little scrolls. There you are. It kind of looked like little wads of paper, but I guess kind of that is what a scroll is. It's a little wad of paper. 
we know that it's meant to be a scroll. <laughs> they definitely add something. They add something. Zero eats. Do you see the food? I guess you would, yeah. They're not completely see-through, but they're pretty see-through. So I guess, yeah, you probably you probably would see it dissolve as they eat it. But wouldn't that be kind of satisfying? Maybe Syrup could start their own ASMR stream, where they, they dissolve foods live on camera. They can't talk. So <laughs> they, the only thing noises they can make would be the food slowly dissolving inside of them, you know? Would you would you watch a stream which was just a little pet slime slowly dissolving food inside of them as ASMR? Because I'll be honest, I think I would. I'd be like, hell yeah, let me hit that follow. <laughs> oh dear. Is there a brought to like or a species? There are species. They're like like they kind of fill in the space of like dogs and cats in this universe. Is that some goblins will have little pet slimes. So <laughs> they are, you know. Semi-intelligent. They can't speak, but they kind of understand what's going on. You can teach them tricks and such, but they are effectively the role of a pet. Yes, I, I would say at least. That's how I'm imagining them. All right. Time. That's the those lines. And that's that. Okay, we're going to merge everything in the background together. I know, risky business, but it's but time to start making all the books look more detailed. But what I want to do first is, just so I'm not wasting my time, uh, I want to basically erase where, where you won't see it. So, for instance, here, you won't see stuff because the other box kind of overlaps it. So I'm just going to get rid of that. And then the same thing where the body is. I'm just going to be going in and erasing any lines that overlap the body because it's easier if I'm not doing extra work that I don't need to do. And I had these, these lines here so that I could get a good idea in the first place, but I don't need them anymore. They're not necessary. So let's, uh, let's go in and just erase them all, so that- oh, I should maybe get rid of that. There you go. So I can see exactly what lines need to be erased. And... Yeah, stuff like this is great, but you know, I'm not gonna see it, so... Let's just erase it, and get it gone. I'm not wasting my own time. And here too. There we are. I wonder what kind of tricks they can do. You know, if you train them good, maybe they could do like a little backflip. Like, whoop. You know, I imagine that both slimes and goblins get on very well uh, as like, you know, the whole like slimes bring a little happiness to the homes, goblins. The goblins that I draw generally err on the side of being kind of grumpy fellas, whereas the slimes will always look pretty happy and cheerful. So I think, I think as far as like to the goblins lives they bring like a little air of like cheerful happiness but also they kind of just get along well because goblins can eat anything and so can slimes so their diets are actually very similar i imagine whatever food is served at the table would be the same food that you would serve to your slime because slimes can also eat anything goblins can eat anything kind of makes sense that they'd want to live together because they have such similar diets of literally anything so I imagine they'd get on really well. Oh my god, wait, really? Oh my god, we, but we must have been on for late if we're meeting Monster Pie. Monster Pie is one of my favorite artists on Twitch for anyone who has never met them before. Zoe is such a talented bean and incredibly, if you are someone who is wanting to look, get into like drawing little critters, small creatures, <laughs> you could even say, you definitely want to be checking out uh, Zoe. How was your stream? I hope you had a really good one. Normally, I'm never on late enough. I, I, I'll I watch their streams, but I don't think they can ever normally watch mine. How was your stream? Also, Rosie, welcome on in, and Ruby, and one hell of a, and Mel Melimony? Melimony, welcome on in. How are you doing? I hope everyone's doing well. Welcome on in. Very sweet bean. We are doing goblins. We are drawing goblins. Uh, we are just doing some backgrounds right now. These are our goblins. I'm very attached to them. <laughs> I've never made an original character on OC before. And so last year, for the first time, we took part in something called Chromacore, which is all about making your own OCs and stuff like that. And we are making a little story for these fellas. Uh, just as a heads up, I am not really a digital artist. Um, I am an embroidery artist. I tend to do my art like this on embroidery hoops and stuff like that. Uh, this one's just a black and white one, but we've done colorful ones. Uh, I can show you the- wow. I'm assuming you guys, if you're with an artist, you know, uh, thank you for the party. Thank you for the follow, Melamoni, as well. Wow. I'm assuming you guys know wow. Spirited Away. Stuff 
like stuff like this. We make stuff like this normally. Uh, not that screen. There you go. We like to party. We like to party. We like. We like to party. We like to party. I'm moving, and so it refused to focus. Or if you do digital stuff, it's like the amazing digital circus. We do stuff like this. This is normally the kind of art we create. So that we can make an animation out of embroidery. Not our first one, I should say. Also, hello again. Thank you so much for the follow. Um, so we entered the Iron Mouse animation competition last year, and we won. Uh, but we won with entirely uh, embroidered stuff. So this is what an embroidered animation looks like. We're going to be making one with the goblins, hence why we're doing some digital art for it. Also, thank you for the follow, Rosie. Appreciate it. I feel like I should get my class first, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd love to join the country club. Good. I got my snakeskin boots Four ready. Big guys, and they f***ed on my eyes. They eat my ass just like apple pie. If they keep f***ing me like this, I might just die. They pipe my booties till I cry. He licked my f*** and the f*** start dripping. <laughs> Took a bite and it tastes like lemon pepper chicken. He throw me up in the air, my booty flipping. What the f*** is this? He throw me up in the air, my booty flipping. He throw me up in the air, my It should have been me, <laughs> not him. <laughs> yeah, that's what we do. It's very stop motiony. It's like if you if you haven't seen embroidered animation before, it's very stop motiony. But that's kind of what I love. Also, yeah, if, in case anyone doesn't believe me, here's all of the frames that we embroidered <laughs> on pieces of fabric. Uh, and I also have them in a box behind me. If you really don't believe me, um, we had to embroider 124 frames in three weeks, 20 days technically, because I needed one day for editing. <laughs> it was a lot, but it was really really fun. So we're gonna make. An uh, one with the goblins that I've been making. So what I'm basically drawing at the moment is backstory so that anyone who joins for the first time when we've actually already started making the animation can really quickly catch up on what we're doing because otherwise it, I am throwing you in the deep end because they are basically, you know, original characters. You don't know their story. So that's what we're doing. And I have all the pages we've already finished above my head. <laughs> I think that does everything. Zoe, if you need to go look after yourself post stream, please do as much as you're super, super welcome here. And it's, it's lovely to see you. If you need to go eat or sleep or vibe anywhere else, please do. You're more than welcome to. Uh, and for anyone who's joining here for the first time, I'm sorry if I'm a bit lower energy than normal. Normally I'm pretty hyper. I'm sick. <laughs> I'm sick and not in the good way. Uh, so I'm a little, I'm a little quieter than usual right now. Uh, apologies, but uh, I'm sure I'll be back to normal in no time. <laughs> There's Daisy. Also, Rosie, thank you for the follow. I didn't say, but thank you, thank you. Uh, duh. Did you know there's a video game? I did, I did know, Zion. Uh, it's being made with machine embroidery and it's really, really cool. So I had a few people compare my animation to that back when we were making it because there's obviously been videos for that out for a while. Um, but the thing is, the video game is doing it with machine embroidery. I actually have a machine embroiderer right next to me. <laughs> I've done it before, which basically means a lot more of the work is working out how you digitize stuff, which is tricky. It's really hard. Digitizing things in the right order for something like a running animation is hard. Mine is more hand animation, which means it's a little bit more like imperfect because it's very hard to line up two embroideries next to each other and have them be the same like base. So there's a lot of imperfections in mine, but I also think that's kind of part of the 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 charm of it is that it's very imperfect. And I love that. I'm, I'll have a good time with it. So yeah. Uh, but I've been following their progress as well because I think what they're doing is really, really cool. <laughs> I'm really excited to see what they make. And when it's finished, I look forward to playing it. But uh, yeah, no, it's not not quite the same because of the method involved. But, you know, similar vibes. I'm assuming if I met the people that made it, we'd get along. You know, we, we clearly have similar interests. All right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and just thicken up the outlines. Oh, that's what I was going to say. To anyone who's joining us for the first time, heads up, I do all of my drawing with mouse and keyboard. I'm an embroidery artist. I have not invested in digital stuff. So I use Photoshop and I draw everything because we don't have line weights. To achieve the look of as if I have line weights, I basically draw the thing and then just go and add line weights with my mouse. So if you're like, why the hell is she doing that? Like, what the hell is with this weird art order? Uh, now you know, it's because uh, I, I don't have a tablet and I do everything with mouse and keyboard, which 
I'll be honest, I find it very relaxing. A lot of people do little like terrified expressions at the idea of doing everything with mouse and keyboard, and it could be because I just don't know any better. I have a great time. I don't know. I, I find this bit really fun. Just uh, going in and just like, yeah, whoop. <laughs> Get that little bit of whoop. <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess everyone's different, but I find it to be quite relaxing. So I've not I've not had it to be an annoyance yet. That being said, I have agreed with chat. Basically, if we keep doing more digital art at some point, I will invest because I do I do recognize that I could probably do the same thing much quicker if I had a mouse and keyboard. Uh, not mouse and keyboard. I have a mouse and keyboard. The other thing, a drawing tablet. But for now, for now, we, we, we're getting by. We get by just fine. It does just mean we have weird, weird order of things. As quieter and slow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think you're sick in both ways. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, dear. My poor emotional sick brain very much appreciates your kind words. <laughs> oh, dear. Like, they physically embroidered each frame as a sprite in the They did, they did. And they digitized for art. Yeah, it's very hacking cool. Oh, dear. I'm clearing my desk and I'm gonna go eat. Hell yeah, go eat. It's like, oh, God, I can catch your stream. No, it's lovely to see you. Normally I get to catch your streams. I think I prefer catching your stream. <laughs> but no, I very much appreciate having you here. Again, and any of my people that have not checked out Zoe before, a very, very talented artist. I think a lot of you here would actually really love Zoe stuff. Very storybook-esque. You know, we were talking about folklore and stuff like that earlier. You'd love Zoe stuff. You'd just love it. There's also very hacking cute bugs over there. Very hacking wholesome and cute bugs. You would love it. You would love it. Ah, oh, dear. Hell yeah, it's all that matters. Exactly. Gotta go. Don't forget to hydrate. Thank you. Yes, you're right. Did you hydrate me? You did. I have two actually, but I also have a lemon Coke. And since I'm feeling like a little bit more laggy in the brain, I'm gonna have some sugar. Mm. <laughs> Delicious. I would never normally drink this. But I had it with part of a meal deal. And it's actually pretty damn good. <laughs> <laughs> it's adorable. It is. They have so many cute things over there. That's why I think a lot of my people would like it there, right? Because we are we are here doing goblins, but we, we've been adding- Oh wait, I didn't do a sexy slime for- Oh, so sorry. All right, two seconds. For anyone who raids into us, we are slowly developing a very, very cursed tradition. Also, what is this? Oh, that's that. Okay. We are slowly developing a very cursed tradition. Thank you so much for the raid. Let me draw you a sexy slime just for you. Just for you. Here they are. All right, get their little head in there. Get their little little butt. Maybe we could even, okay. Is this a bit too cheeky? We could have them looking back at you, which would mean that they'd have like a little... <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> too sexy, too hecking sexy. What else is, uh, what can we put on our sexy slime? <laughs> uh, we could just have them, you know what? Just nudity, just nudity. There we are. There you go, just for you. Thank you so much for raiding us. Here is your sexy slime. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, actually, you know what we could do? Grab like a red one. It, they're not blood, but you know, like the, the, my present to you is my body. My present to you is my body. There you go. <laughs> sexy, sexy. There you are. <laughs> so hot. <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid. Here is your sexy slime. <laughs> Did I do this on the same? Oh no, have I done this on the same layer? Two seconds. Oh no, it's fine. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. The raid looks like Shibari rope. That's kind of the vibe. <laughs> we could even have. Okay, wait. Two seconds. Zoe, just for you. I know that you've gone to go eat. You have no idea, but this was. This, thank you for the raid. Here is my gift. <laughs> all right, all right. Back to work, people. Back to work. Serious faces on. Kinky, I like it. Also, Kyo, welcome on in. How are you doing? I hope you're doing good. We have been uh, getting. We we were wondering, going between like whether or not we 
started the the next bit like picture or if we just did the background but we've decided to work on a background i love it i thought i'd hate background work i was saying that before we got raided i thought i'd really dislike doing backgrounds because i'm so used to doing character stuff especially with cosplay and all that like that's just what i'm a lot more used to i don't think i was going to enjoy this as much but you know what? I take it back. I, I'm actually really enjoying just putting lots of detail into it. I think if I had to do backgrounds quickly, I'd find it quite stressful. But like when there aren't any time constraints and you can, you know, just take your time with stuff, I think it's nice. <laughs> Yo, hentai to bondage, quick transformation. Did I just get back to witness fight? <laughs> they were tied up. But it was like, okay, so in my defense, Cthulhu, my brain was like, you know, the whole like, my gift to you is my body kind of vibes. It was meant to be like that. But yeah, no, somebody did mention it kind of looked more like Shibari. So. Uh, yeah, we tied them to the ceiling. But it was meant to be cute. Like, my gift to you is me kind of vibes. Yes, yes, yes. No, keep the hanging slime. It fits so well. <laughs> Little fun. I can't. I can't keep them because I think very technically the slimes might be maybe towing the line of, of TOS because you're not actually allowed to show fetish stuff on Twitch. Uh, even as like a joke, right? And listen, I'm not saying that I find them sexy, but all it takes is to one person who's like, damn, that's hot, but actually, how dare you on my Twitch platform? And then they report me and I can't really defend myself because when they say, well, that girl, she drew sexy slime. I'm like, you're damn right I did. Oops, my bad. Uh, so yes, I'm, I'm trying to be safe and we don't keep them permanently just in case. But, uh, I mean, it all is just a bit silly. It definitely is just a bit silly. <laughs> That's the excuse we're making. The real, the real reason that I don't keep them on screen is because they're just too gosh darn sexy. And if I keep them on stream, then I just get, I just get so distracted. Like, I can't work. I can't work in these conditions, you know? That's the real reason, but don't tell anyone. That's a secret. People aren't meant to know. Is it break time? I was my gift to my body and it went to, I came like a wrecking ball. I mean, both of these can be true. You're right, it is, it is. I wish I took a screenshot. Everyone's been taking screenshots. That's our fourth sexy slime today. Oh dear. All right, here's where we're at so far. I I love this a lot. I will say I'm really proud of how this looks. I look forward to getting like all the colors in so it's, it like matches this kind of vibe. But I really like that. I really like the background. I really like how the books are coming along as well. We'll get them looking a bit more detailed soon. It was me! I mentioned it. It was cute because I'm cutie. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, right. Break time. You're damn right. Okay. So for anyone new here, there's a little timer this side. There's a timer here. When the timer hits zero, we pop across to the Discord and see if anyone's posted any art. That being said, I don't think anyone's posted any art this time. So... Oh, no, actually, I lied. I lied. One thing has been posted and I'm going to flash it on screen very quickly because it's just a little bit too sexy. <laughs> Here's... <laughs> Wait, it's missing one though! There's one more! There was actually five sexy slides! Because <laughs> the micro bikini one is not in this potato <laughs> the sexy slimes of the day. <laughs> just quick, just quickly, you know, we don't look at it too long, it's, it's just a little too hot. Uh, did it get through with the first line, bless you. I'll see if I can find it later for you, Sleeve, since you have done us the service of getting the other four. I'll see if I can grab the first one for you later. <laughs> oh dear, the potatoes are very naughty. It's a very naughty potato. <laughs> Uh, I'm eating a kebab right now and I'd like to offer it to the chat. Thank you. I would love that. But the shibari potato has my heart. <laughs> I'm glad. Yeah, we've so far got cowboy. We have like thong with like nipple covers. We had the, the princess layer, but I've not really watched much Star Wars. So I kind of just did it based on what I knew. And then we've got, yeah, the shibari one. <laughs> Oh dear, who created Shibari? That one was for- that the Shibari one was for Monster Pie Zoe. Uh, the Princess Lair one was for Sone. The one with the nipple color covers was for Gnome. And the- and the Cowboy one was for Saki. And then the original one was just our first sexy slime, so yes. We've had a- we've had a few. We've had a few of this one. <laughs> Alright, yeah, we can keep- we can keep going with this then. Uh, let me reset the timer though. 
how do we sign up for these? Oh, we just do them for people when they raid. If somebody raids us, we're like, let me make you a sexy slime as a thank you for sending your community our way. It's both a thank you and a curse. <laughs> And I've only just started doing it, but I have been enjoying it. A slime. Oh, you can call them potatoes. I mean, really, potatoes are just edible slimes. So it's fine. Fear not. I'm sure they don't mind being labeled as potatoes. Basically the same thing. I mean, they're not then they're, they're not so dissimilar. I imagine there could be a storyline where a slime falls in love with a potato, and it would be incredibly wholesome, I think. I think it'd be lovely. It's like, aww. He fell in love uh, with a with a potato. It'd be cute. There we are. There we go. Put that in there. Put that in there. I knew what I was getting in for when I was like, we're doing a bookcase. So I'm okay with this. We actually do need to go in and add pages to some of these as well. Should we do these ones while I remember? Because I feel like this is the kind of thing that I would forget. Um, we'll pretend like a couple of them. Uh, if I... Okay, just so I know. We're gonna do a couple where they have like fancy spines. That's a fancy spine right there. And then to here. But some of them are gonna be sideways. And if they're sideways, that would mean that... You can see the paper. Which means we need to do some little wobbly lines. Again, this is where you really see the, uh, the appeal of, of, uh, of drawing with a mouse and keyboard. It's actually the lack of control. It's like, oh yeah, oh yeah, these are some lines, but they look pretty cool. I mean, they kind of add to the effect at this point. You know, I'm trying to really develop an art style, and sometimes I feel like you develop an art style out of convenience. And this is definitely a style I'm developing out of convenience. There you go. We need to get all of these in. I think this one as well. Actually, probably the other two would be to the side. Just one that's the other way. I think that works. I think that works. I might occasionally put some of the books in backwards as well because I kind of like the idea they're sort of just thrown into the shelves. Like, it's not really a neat, tidy set of shelves. So, I imagine the wizard that owns these books would probably do something like that. Oh. Go. Oh, nope, not quite, not quite. I have to remember not to press them at the same time as well, because if I press them both at the same time, I go into the zoom, which is fine, but not what I want. Ah, uh, I don't see the curse, I'm glad. Ah, oh, dear. I mean, I don't feel bad about, uh, I don't feel bad about being labeled as a potato. I'm really sure they wouldn't be bothered either. No, I don't mind it. Potatoes are fine. I'm, they're very versatile, actually. If you're like a potato artist, would that just mean you're a very versatile artist? Like, you could do anything because you're a potato? Maybe. I'd be potato artist. I also think potatoes are delicious. Go. Nice. And from a distance, that should look pretty- Yeah, that looks pretty hecking snazzy. Right? Oh, dude, it's so worth it. Can't just uh, delete this, uh, but the kebab wrap is- Oh. <gasps> Lamb, garlic sauce, cheese, lettuce, and onion. Oh, that sounds delicious. That sounds so good. Hell yeah. So much to take a screenshot of the slimes. Mine didn't say for some reason. I really want that. In, in the Discord, Kyo. In the Discord, it, it, the, the picture that I picked was made by Schleeves. So if you want to get it, exclamation mark Discord. It's in the live stream chat. You can see it there. It is there for you. And anyone else who wanted those very questionable pieces. writing on them. I guess most of the time a spine would have writing on it, wouldn't it? Do you guys want to help me come up with some book names? <laughs> the silly book names. All right. Let's see. It can't be the same. It has to be like a different font though. Oh, big, big font. Small, small font. Oh yeah, fancy, fancy schmancy font. Ah, oh, dear. I'm a sucker ship for Shibari Potato. That's a good book name. <laughs> I'll, I'll put Potato because I want this to be family friendly. So just I'm a sucker for Potato. That'll do. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> I go, 
yeah, I want to have this one as a... <laughs> as one with the... Oh wait, it's four, it's not five, it should be five. <laughs> oh dear. Tales of the Great Jellyfish? I could do that as the next one. I got you. Tales of Jellyfish. Oh dear. Get these pages in there. I kind of want one of them to be a Spanish dictionary. I don't know why. That just makes me laugh. The idea that there's just a Spanish dictionary in this in this wizard's house. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's put like a little emblem on this one. Important. Oh, actually, if it's the tails of jellyfish, I think I know what the emblem should be. You know. There you go, there you go. And then uh, we'll do a slightly different font. Uh, Tales of Jellyfish. There we go. So you've adopted your first slime. I see that in chat. Good. Brain, big brain. How to read. Yeah, good. That's a good one as well. Be like stylized and off to the center corner. There we go. Bump. 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 Yeah. And then if I zoom out, yeah, this is how obvious those are. <laughs> but if it's a webcomic, you technically can zoom in. So I think that's fine. Ah, uh, de como habla español. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> I really like it. <laughs> all right, all right. First of all, how to read. Uh, how to read is going to go in here, I think. Um, yeah. Oh, actually, no, that, that one's going to stay. We're going to have a few plain books. Let's have a few plain books. Uh, let's have one of these ones, though. Uh, let's see. Uh, how to read. And we can have it, like, be, like, off to the... Oh, mm. Like, well, like a little bit, a little bit silly. And then... And then we could go like... Make it pretty, you know? There we go. What a pretty little book. All right. The one next to it is not going to have a title on the side. There's going to be a couple that don't have titles on them because otherwise it's going to get very intense. But uh, yeah, this one's going to be one that's just got like the lines. Maybe like a little. Uh... And there. All right, what other options have we got? We had, uh, so you adopted your first spy, uh, slime and we also have the Spanish one. It's there, there you go. Oh, God, wrong button. Uh, there you go, that's what I wanted. Nearly finished the first row. <laughs> all right, all right. How to read for dummies. We've got the necromancy for dummies from that, from that one. So do not fear. Also, welcome to the Discord server, Kyo. All right. Uh, gotta work like no, it's lovely to meet you, Mela. Let's take care of yourself. All right. Como habla español? Oh, and also, so you've adopted your first line. I need this. So you've adopted your first line one first. Um, put that in. This one. So you've adopted your first slime. Oh, actually, this might be really good for that thin book there, mightn't it? Because it's kind of a long title. And I feel like that wouldn't be a super long book anyway. It's gonna be like basics, like giving them a toilet space and such. Yeah, somewhere like in there. Oh wait, these ones haven't been uh, fixed yet. Oh, two seconds. All right, before before we get any more names, I need to, I need to actually make these look nice and pretty. I, I realize I haven't actually done that yet. 
two seconds. Must make books look fancy and outlined nicely first. Otherwise I might accidentally cover up the text later and that would be no bueno. As my goblin Spanish book is telling me. Ah, oh, there we go. And get that across there. And across there. And... Go. And down there. Like so. 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 Okay. And then get that bit in there too. And on this side. Just little bits. Sorry about this guys, my bad. I didn't realise I hadn't done this yet. I am but an unorganised fish once again. And I get that in there. And then... I think that looks a bit better. Yeah, yeah. So you've adopted your first slime for you. I'll wet my feet. That looks good. Is this unrequited or are you just quiet? I'm stuck here on this one way street. It has been a long week since I was just swimming here. What's on your mind, my dear? I think that we need to speak. And I'm stained on the glass, but I'm out of my bed. Fish! So I'm just gonna have to put it like that, and I think people will get it. People will understand funny joke. Well, the, I guess the joke is the idea that this sp <laughs> specifically Spanish, but I feel like everyone has a, like okay, maybe it's my my own experience that everyone has a Spanish dictionary in their home. And I don't know why, but I feel like everyone has a Spanish dictionary in their home. <laughs> okay, get rid of those, and then. But hey, that's just my experience. I want to put the Spanish dictionary in there. Oh. There we are, and then... Oh, actually, I don't, know, I don't know if I like that. There you go, that's a bit better. Make it a bit thicker. Oh! Oh! That wasn't quite right. Yeah, like so. And then I feel like there was one more I'm forgetting, isn't there? What have I forgotten? Because I've got one more book here on this one. Uh, I think they should be, uh, names should be thicker because the books themselves are kind of thick. I guess that's true. Damn it, you, you're right. How is the funniest joke so far? <laughs> it's very silly. I want to make the waffles somehow. Best waffles from across the, I'm not putting, oh God, I, I guess. Does it have a smiley cover on it? Well, just like a smiley face. <laughs> or a woo. Oh dear, compendium of NSFW slimes! Okay, you've caught me. I like that one. It's really complicated. I kind of want to make it a really long title though, like Autie says, I think some of them need to be a bit wider. And I think a way we could do that would be to be like, compendium of NSFW slimes, but then have like a second layer of text as well. Yeah, I think, I think we can do this. Uh, I could put compendium of NSFW slimes and then throw in smaller text underneath from one slime uh, slime 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 lover to 
another. There you go. And we can make that one smaller. So yeah, I get, I get what Auti means, in that it feels like, yeah, some of them aren't, like, thick enough to match. But if we do... <laughs> If we do it like this, uh, then there's no problem, right? It's perfect. Ah, oh dear. There we are. What did I say? Something about wider books, I thought. I could be wrong, was it not you? <laughs> I thought you said something about the wider books. So I've made a nice wide title. I could also actually, to be fair, while I'm free transforming it. Like this. Warp it a little bit like that. Compendium of little minutes of W slime from one slime lover to another. This one I'm gonna have have a little. Since it's for slime, you know, I make it a little wavy. And on this side, same thing. Make it a little bit wavy. This wizard is weird. Got some interesting books here, that's for sure. But you know what? We're not judging. We're not here for judging. All right, that is one, one shelf. <laughs> Thoroughly, <laughs> I really love stuff like this. It's really good. You want one with Uwu on it? All right, we can get an Uwu. Best waffles across the kingdom. Child care. So you are oh, child ate the table. That's a good one. All right, what I need to do is quickly just get these ones looking nice and like thickened up and stuff. And then we can go in for the second one. Oh dear. I think that looks really cool though. I, I do like the how to read, it's just it's just there in the middle, nice and bold. Oh dear. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> Alright, let's get this next set. Oh, actually, first of all, let's just I don't want to change any of these, so I'm just going to I really like that I'm a sucker for potato. I do like that. That one? Pretty good. Alright, rasterize the type, merge the layers. There you go. Oh, wait, did I? Oh, to this one as well. There you go. There you go. So these are all, those are all set. I am a sucker for potato. Kills me a little bit. Wizard books. There should be some spell books. I feel like there should be some spell books. They can't all be memes. I think some of them will need to be, like, just very standard, understandable, like, oh, yeah, you know. Spells 101, how to control nature, you know, that kind of stuff what to do when someone's rubbed out your runes all those kind of like you know protection runes for beginners stuff like that there probably should be a few of those in there since the whole idea is that charlotte the goblin in this scene is learning effectively magic by visiting these houses and speaking to the goblins there and learning from their books while the intention might not be to learn magic that is effectively what's happening. So there needs to be some magic books here. Yeah, just just for law purposes. You you know, thanks for reminding me. I was having such a good job putting Spanish books in here. <laughs> I forgot there needs to be some law. <laughs> ABCs of casting. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Oh, dear. So my best friend's a zombie. What now? You know, those kind of vibes. It can still be like a little jokey. Oh, put that in there, and then there, nice, and then down here, very cool. The one she's going to be grabbing will be not a Mimi book as well, because she is grabbing a book out of the shelf, that's that's the whole pose. <laughs> so the one she's grabbing I probably won't have be a meme, it'll probably be something actually magical. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is used in games and it means always be casting, hell yeah. Book of Maps, A Guide to Protective Runes. Yeah, so you saw him as the Tentacle Demon. <laughs> uh, the Guide to Protective Runes is supposed to be a subtitle to the previous lines. Uh, yeah, I feel like you could have those. You could those two together as like one longer title. We do have some thick books on this shelf as well. Maybe this could be the magic shelf. Like the top shelf is personal hobbies. We don't ask too much, but the top shelf is personal hobbies. This shelf is specifically magic books. Uh, I would like the bottom shelf to be recipes. Recipe books. Just that's where they're keeping their recipe books. They just put them with all the magic ones. Because honestly, I'd do that. That's the kind of thing I'd do. Be like, oh, should I separate the recipes and the magic books? Nah. Put them all together. They'll be fine. It definitely won't be confusing to look at later. 
So I think uh, I think I'd like the bottom shelf to be just cooking recipes, <laughs> like very standard, like not that exciting. Like these ones down here, just cooking. All right, let's a uh, couple more. I'll, I'll get all of these vaguely outlined because otherwise I'll do the same thing that I did before and forget that I need to do it at all. Also, how are we doing for time? We're doing okay, actually. And I feel okay right now. Again, for anyone who's just popped in, I'm sorry if I seem a little lower energy than usual, or if I'm getting a little confused easier. I'm just sick. I'm just sick. But I'm also, like, sick. <laughs> but mainly I'm sick. Uh, and so I'm a bit tired. A bit sleepy. A bit sleepy. Oh dear. On the positive side, I'm not the kind of sick where you get like a block nose and I will forever be grateful for being able to breathe through my nose because when you can't breathe through your nose, life is hell. Everything in life becomes 10 times harder when you can't breathe through your nose. So as much as I don't feel 100%, I'm eternally grateful that I can breathe through my nose. That's all I need really. Some food and nose breathing. And I'm happy. There we go. Up there, just add a little bit more. Nice, nice. Cooking is magic. Cooking is magic. That's a that's a very special kind of magic. You are you're damn right. Cooking is magic. All right, two seconds. I'm just gonna. Oh. Ah. I see. This book is not. This book is on a different layer. <laughs> All right. We need to fill this in on a different layer. Then. Oh, fancy. Look at you, fancy book, on a different layer than the other books. Hmm. Because it's attached to the hand. That's um, that makes sense, honestly. That does seem like something that I would do. There, and then just get that there, and put that there, and get there. We go. Yeah, this will be definitely like a very normal magic book. Just because it's, again, meant to tie into the story. Now, follow some rules, you know. Just at least one or two rules need to be followed. Ah, oh dear. My right nostril doesn't let out for a while. So when I get a cold, I really suffer. Yeah, that that is personally, I think, hell. <laughs> that it, Personal hell, that is, to me. I think it, to be honest, you know how people are like, I'm going to work through this cold. I'm like, no, no, you're not going to work through this cold. Because you know what? You're hacking suffering. And I know everyone says colds are fine and we should just get over it and yada yada yada, but not being able to breathe through your nose, that's a trial. I feel like that's a type of torture. That's the world torturing you. And you should be a feel like you're allowed to rest when, you, when you've been tortured by the world. At least in my opinion. I... Yeah, I don't like the mentality of having to always work through being ill. Like, from, if it's a good distraction for you, and it, or if you don't feel that bad, like, I guess fair enough. But if you're feeling really rough, or if you have a blocked nose, or nausea, nausea and blocked noses actually, those are the two big ones. Other things like headaches, uh, sore throats, I can, I, it might make streaming difficult, but like generally I can get through anything else in my life with a sore throat. Headaches I'm also really pretty good at, but I'm also very used to that kind of pain. Um, uh, but nausea, nausea is really, really hard to work through, and blocked noses is really, really hard. Hell yeah, those are difficult. Stomach aches, I can do that. I can do a belly ache. I don't like belly aches. Uh, they make me very angry. <laughs> I think most of my stomach aches these days are caused by being anxious, but also stomach aches make me anxious. So it's got it's got weird synergy where if, as soon as I get one, I, f I feel 10 times worse. Goblin King's past and present. I'm not gonna do that one, but I really like the idea of having that as one of the books. I, like, not, maybe not the one she's grabbing, but like one of the ones down here. I like that as a book. None of the other nostril stuff, but it's chances are it's not constant. I shouldn't have to have a stuffed nostril all the time. I can't imagine that's very fun. All right, let's get a few of these in with pages so we have an idea of how many titles we need. Uh, oh god, here we go again. Err. Zoom in. Here we go. And get one in there. Nice. And then, I want any of these other ones. Mm, maybe they're the bottom. Sure, go on. I do think the pages add something something. And I do like doing this kind of thing. The other thing is, uh, on the other page, this one, you can see the sides of all of the books. So I feel like having this one have some pages where it's uh, 
it's more visible will help it tie into the page before better. It'd be nice. There you go, get that in there. That was the last time I saved. Thank you, by the way, Cutie, for, uh, I didn't see it, but you know what? You're damn right. It's been a hecking minute since I last saved. Uh, they're not a pun, but one of them is just straight up the Necronomicon, Necrogoblicon. I mean, that would make sense. That would absolutely make sense. I could I could imagine that being here. Uh, let's have this one also be the wrong way around because they've just put it in wrong. They've just put it in wrong. Oh God, there goes the, there goes it. Goes the mouse off into the distance. There you go. And. Ooh, doo -doo. Oh. And one more. Nice. And then any others that I would like to have the pages visible for? Um, maybe the last one on the shelf because it's kind of fun. Sure, you know what, we'll have this one. I, I would like to have quite a few books on the shelf because it's meant to be spells that you can read. Um, I think I might actually have her reaching for the ABCs of casting. I kind of like that. It, again, it, with the whole vibe being like, this is how she learned. I don't want to say that this is how she learned magic. I want to imply it with the art. And I feel like that would be a good way of, of implying that with the art, if that's the one she's grabbing. Okay. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. We're getting there. We're getting somewhere. Uh, you never saw me drink? I did. I think I... Did I not? Nausea block knows her headaches are the worst. Yeah. I'm gonna have... Oh, no, you're fine. Have a lovely time, Kyo. Enjoy yourself. I don't know if I ever did drink. You're probably heckin' right. There you go. <laughs> oh, fizzy. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> I, I, don't even, I don't drink alcohol, but I barely also drink fizzy drinks, so fizzy drinks also do be getting me. Uh, oh yeah, the thought of putting people putting books in backwards, for sure. It's a terrible thing to do. All right, I think... All right, we'll start over here, because I, I do believe the ABCs of casting was a good, a good call for this one. Um, it's gonna be the A, B, C of casting. I'm gonna put a spell casting just so that it's not in any way, not in any way subtle, you know? You want this to be real obvious. This could be slightly larger as well, couldn't it? To fill the space a little bit and, oh, that does not stretch, there you go. A, B, C's of spell casting. And then, I am a sucker for potato. Wait a second. Oh, I need to merge these together at this point, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay, I'm okay with that. And then... Actually, we could just have the little... Yeah, like these bits that they get on books sometimes. I don't know what you call them, but the little edge bits. There you go. Hell yeah. So you want to be a wizard? <laughs> Good job, Jelly. I'm only the end of using ABCs of casting. I think this bit gets the point across and it's like, uh, it, it's, yeah. We did have a few other ones though. Uh, doobie 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 doob. Book of Maps. That was a really good one. We'll take Book of Maps. Uh, and again, I'm just gonna switch to this one. I didn't just switch the font, did I? No, it's okay. I think this one here could be Book of Maps. of maps and I have this one have like a little fancy cover you know like it's got a whoa and then it goes like dink 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 and then looks like a treasure map on the side you know and then we'll have like a little symbol, emblem thingy. There you go. Nice. Nice. Uh, Book of Maps, otherwise known as an atlas. <laughs> yeah. You're, da you're damn right. <laughs> oh dear. 
I don't know, Book of Maps sounds cooler. I know they're technically the same thing, but like if it was between a Book of Maps or an Atlas, I think I'd go for the Book of Maps, you know? Okay, <laughs> this Book of Maps. Uh, so you want to be a wizard? We can do so. You want to be a wizard? So you want to be a wizard. There we go. Uh, and then we've got... Uh, but we don't, we don't, we don't, I think I had something before, didn't we? ABCs of casting. Uh, so you summoned a tentacle demon, a guide of, to protective room schemes. Oh, that, that's a really good one. A guide to protective room schemes. I like that. I like that. I like the I like the way you've written it. All right. Oh no 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 no. There you go. Get off that. Get off that. And then. Okay. Uh. Uh. Guide to protective rune. Oh. Rune. Sheer searcher. Schemes. A guide to protective rune schemes. There we go. That looks good. Hell yeah. Had this one go backwards. <laughs> there we go. And then... Uh, get that in there. Okay, I'll put the details in later. Text first. Text first. Wizard spells with two Z. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We should have wizard with two Zs. All right, and it's gonna be in the silly text. Uh, this one. Wizard. Oh, we'll do it now. We'll do it like in all in lowercase. Wizard spells. There we go. Uh, actually, I want this one to be subtle. Uh, could I have it coming out of there? Like, people that know will know, but like, I want it to be coming out of there. Because like, I know what that would say with the two Zs. The subtle reference. There we go. Wizard spells. Oh, Dave called that like, huh? Oh, dear. We've got... Okay. Um... Oh, I do like the child care so your child ate the table. We'll have to keep that one. We'll keep that one. All right, can I think of any that I like? My turn. Get my, my head on the table. Um, I think it's going to have to be some really boring ones just because of the story a little bit. So let me just get a couple of, of maybe not so entertaining ones in there, but kind of important. Uh, stuff like... Uh, uh, 101... Moon spells you didn't know you'd need. And then I'm going to put one underneath that says number seven will shock you. <laughs> you know when I said I was going to do serious ones? I've changed my mind. Um, actually, I could probably just cut that up, couldn't I? And just, yeah, didn't know you'd need. And make it this. There you are. I can still do number seven. Will shock you. And. With shock you, will shock you. Literally. And then we need another thin one. You're still alive! How's the book? Oh, it's looking really good. Don't read them too closely, but it's looking really good. <laughs> Just don't read any of the book titles and we're fine, anime. Oh, dear. Let's do another one in this and have... Uh... Ooh. Uh... 
uh, how goblin magic has evolved. How goblin magic has evolved. There we go, let's do how goblin magic has evolved. Because there's a really thin book over here that needs something. There we go, and I think how goblin magic has evolved. That'll be you! Because no one's probably going to be able to read this one, it's too small. And... Yeah, it's like so small, so that'll be fine, it doesn't need to be interesting. Uh, and then... We've got one big one here. Ooh, okay. I think one of them needs to be a rune dictionary, which I know is kind of boring as well, but I think we need a rune dictionary. Uh, if I do this and go into rune dictionary, 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 that's how you spell dictionary. Actually, I don't know if I like the font of that one. Two sex. It's fine, but it's not quite rune dictionary. There we go. Mmm, dictionary. Oh, Book of Runes actually might be better, mightn't it? Book of Runes may be better. Book of Runes. Actually, do we already have a Book of Runes? No, we don't have a Book of Runes so far, do we? There you go, and then that one needs to be stretched out a little bit. Book of runes. There we are. Nice. Ah, oh dear. Good morning, Shifty. Welcome on in. How are you doing? Don't read any of these. <laughs> look, look at all of them. We've been taking themes, rooms to Electric Boogaloo. Then you got it. Runology. Runology is another really good one. I might quickly just grab runes to Electric Boo. Oh no, that's the last one. Ah. Oh. oh no, that's not true because we have the second book. Okay. We can do runes to Electric Boogaloo. It's allowed. And then we can do runology on the next on the next one. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. Rune studies. Oh, that's another one. I think I like runology though. I think I do like that as just one word because most of these are quite wordy titles. All right, we need to have a hold off. Do not give us a second because I need to now detail all these books. So if you give a suggestion now, I might miss it. Um, it's book detailing time. Let me just add this to I'm a... Unfortunately, my layer is currently called I'm a sucker for potato. Hopefully this fixes it. Yeah, now it's called the ABCs of spellcasting, which is arguably better than I'm a sucker for potato. It's a very silly name. All right, so let's do some detail stuff so that all these books look a little unique and special. Okay, it's important. We have the, the map one already looks pretty cool. We don't need to do anything with that. But we could get something in here. A guide? Okay, yes. I think this one could have like a little... Oh, actually, maybe we go... Mm. And just have some little like... Tendrils, or I guess actually we could have it just like this and then have the other one coming out the other side There we go and then And in here Now yeah, that looks good protective runes uh, this one is just a silly book, so just put the two bits there and there. Uh, same with this one, it's very small, very small. There we go. And like, back to business, we have so many silly titles, Sean, you're not even ready. Because you want to know, uh, number seven, not, oh, it says number seven? It does say number seven. Do you want to keep it as number seven, or do you want to change it? What do we think? Number, or not? Actually, it doesn't matter, at this point it's number seven. 
<laughs> number seven will shock you. It's a very silly one. Jelly, you spelt number wrong. You can't stop me. It's perfect. What do you mean? It's perfect as it is. Zomboti, good morning. A sucker for potato. Oh, over here. The first book on the shelf. <laughs> We're taking title suggestions. Oh dear. That's just, I'm a sucker for potato. All right, Book of Runes. Uh, we'll just have some little like rune looking things on it, I guess. It's a book of runes, so I guess it needs to look like a rune book. I get that across there, there you go, we'll just have that at the top. And then book of runes on this side. There we go, and then... And then, there you go. Book of Runes looks pretty cool now. Full stop. <laughs> That's just a silly book. And get that there. We got the casting one. <laughs> oh dear. Um, Colts 101. We could do that. Uh, this is also just a silly one, but this is also part of this is a silly series. So you know what we'll do? Just the normal. Go. Pink, pink, and then in here. And I think for this, there you go. Just get that in there because that is meant to just be a very, very thin book. I think that's another shelf done. I mean, it's looking pretty cool. Like, it does look pretty cool. How to draw a spell circle. That's actually a really good one as well. Oh, this is looking cool. This is looking really cool. I'm very pleased with this, actually. The more detail we add, I mean, it does kind of fit. Liney work has kind of become my art style. The way that's a wizardly place. <laughs> God damn. Mm hmm. How do we go an anime god? I don't think I'll put anime in it because that, that uh, we've already put Spanish in here. I think anime might be too far. <laughs> All right, let's uh, okay, hold off on ideas for a second, guys. Hold off because I, I still need to sort out this next shelf. And if you give me good ideas right now, I might forget them before we get to it. I'll hold off for just a second. Let me get this next shelf with all of the books looking nice and snazzy and then we'll get back to it. If you've had some good ones and I haven't put them in, you might need to repost them in a second. <laughs> because I do have the memory of an actual fish and I might forget. And I know we've had some good ones that I haven't included yet. Ah, oh, dear. We go. Oh, big bike, vroom vroom. I need to just get all of these looking nice and snazzy before we can put the titles on. Otherwise, I might accidentally put this over a title because the book is smaller than I think it is. <laughs> is that a really thin book, by the way? It is a really thin book. There we go. Put the top of the thin book. Nice. And get that in there. Get that in there. And then that in there. And then over there. Under there. Into there. There we go. Another book. And then into there, and into there, and into there, into there, and into there. That's one side done, and then we just need to go- I think the other side has the crystal ball on this side. Yeah, so that's not got any books on it. Nice, which means we only have these few books. Ah, oh dear. Memory of a jellyfish? We actually already have the tales of jellyfish, so we- fear not. Jellyfish is representative on these shelves already. All right. Let's get some of these in, shall we? Okay, if I go, first of all, first of all, elements and their use was a really good one, or elements and their uses, elements and their usage. Uh, there was how to spell a, uh, how to draw a spell circle. I think I might do that one first, because that's quite an important one. Um, and then how to draw a spell circle. How to draw a spell circle. There we go. 
put that in there. One of these books I will probably have pages as the detail. I'm feeling like the, the other big book, like this one. Uh, and then the rest of them can be facing this direction. But one of them is too thin. One of them's too thin for a title. It do be like that sometimes. How does Dora spell circle? Circle. Um, what are kids? So they're meant to be spell ones on these shelves. We have silly. We have a silly shelf. We need two for spells. Then a few other silly ones, and then we'll do recipes. So right now we're looking for spells specific. Runeology. We're looking for specifically ones where it's like that sounds like it could be a spell book. Uh, and I think we might have got all of them, to be honest. Uh, I do just need to... There you go. Get some different different fonts again. Because I think this one can be Ruanaji. We have one more. One more on the spells. Go. Um, ten, ten big spells. Number <gasps> Finn, you're... we've already got one of those. I'm sorry, but you, you're a good idea. But look, you... <laughs> 101 new spells you didn't know you need, and then I misspelled number. <laughs> uh, number seven will shock you. <laughs> oh dear. There we go. Wayfarers of Wizzy Pace, elements in their use. There's 100 different ways to save more eggs, please, and Goblin and Frostmer. Also, Quill, thank you for the follow. It's very kind of you. Oh, out of those. Mm, Wayfarers I like, but it's definitely for a silly shelf, not for this one. Elements and their uses, a hundred different ways to say more eggs, please. We've already got the 101, so I think we're good on that one. Colts 101, I think would be on a different shelf as well. Uh, number in the dark spelling of numbers, so not far off, thank you. How does summon a lemon? But make the font makes it look like demon, does it? Okay, if that's true, then we can have that on this, we can have that one. All right, we've got the last one then. Because I want to see that. Uh, it needs to be a capital L, maybe. Kind of actually, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see that. I wonder if I can make it look more like demon. If I have it this way around, ah, uh, not without losing the rest of it. Oh well, oh well. We have how to summon a lemon, rune studies, arms. Oh, we got runeology though, which I think is fine. That that last one, by the way, the one that I've not done, they're gonna be. Ones where you can see the pages, because otherwise it won't fit in with the rest of it. Thank you, by the way, everyone, for the ideas. I do appreciate it a lot. There's a lot of very silly ones that I definitely wouldn't have done otherwise. Uh, speaking of, the next one is a silly shelf. So, or was it a recipe shelf? No, sillies, sillies and recipes, we'll say. Uh, which means, give it a second, because I will need to make it look thick, but you have like 10 minutes. 10 minutes or so to think of some silly, silly, silly books that might be in a wizard's shelf or cooking recipes one or the other i do want to do the one from earlier so your child ate the table that one i would like to put that one in uh because i thought that one was very funny uh but other than that i don't have i don't have any that i'm like they have to be in it but the child eating the table that's hilarious i require that how to draw a spell circle probably should have like a circular bit there then and be like like so and then and then we'll have runology is a very fancy old-fashioned book i think yeah yeah runology feels fancy and old-fashioned that feels like something that get passed down from wizard to wizard we have this one very thin book, which we're just gonna have almost like it's like paperwork that's been bound together, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, Pineapple, thank you so much for the follow as well. It's very heckin' kind of you. Considering that all you can see is very silly book titles. I very much appreciate it. It's very kind. Ah, oh, did also insert book title here. That's a nice one. Oh, that's nice. I see what you do there, and it's very funny. Okay, get that in there. How to summon a lemon. How do you summon a lemon? Never summoned one before. Better read this book on how to summon a lemon. God, please, mouse, do what I tell you to do. There you go. Uh, okay, and then on this one, we'll just have there you go. normal, normal, like there is a book in there, but you definitely can't read it kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, this is looking pretty fancy. <laughs> I think the lemon would be a good word to carry through, like how to bake a lemon or something. <laughs> God. 
<laughs> oh my god, but it's like how to bake a demon. Wimpsums like the Simpsons, weakly interacting massive particles. Wimps are hypothetical particles, and one of them is <laughs> I mean, I could make that a whole title. I need a thick book. All right. I do need to just, speaking of thick books, I need to thicken up these, because as you can see, they require a little bit of outlining to look really nice and pretty. So let me, let me merge everything that we've done, uh, because I like all of it so far, and then we'll, we'll get these done, and then we'll, we'll look for some new names. I think this one has books on both sides, right? I think so. Yes, this one's, yeah, no, this can be a silly shelf. We can have a silly shelf, because then we've still got a couple shelves left for cooking recipes, which I do want. Uh, because that makes me laugh. What humour do I have? I, I don't know, just the idea that a wizard puts their cooking recipes with all of their spell books, as if like you could be uh, just, you know, like multitasking in the kitchen. Like I'm cooking a spell with one hand and on the other hand I'm, uh, I'm cooking eggs. You know, I just like that. That's the kind of humour that does it for me. Silly. Silly. <laughs> but I like it. Uh, Alright, and then... Is that just going over there? There you go. And then one of the little little scrolls. Oh yeah, we have some sideways books here as well. Okay, let's get those looking nice, nice and thick and lines. Uh, actually, let's could just yeah, I could just put that in there, and I think that would be fine. And then put that in there. Yeah, yeah. Actually, all of these three I might have with the paper facing out. Just again, as like a bit of a call back to the previous page where all of the books have the paper facing out. So we might actually at least, maybe at the top one, but all of the bottom ones I'm thinking to have the paper facing out. So we would only have a couple on this side just because, yeah, it's just a call back to the previous page really. There's not any other deeper meaning behind it, but I think that'd be kind of nice. Uh, and then, and then we have more on this side. Yeah, the other thing is we do also have more, so it's not like we're as limited as the shelf above. We can put stuff on these ones instead. There we go. And... Huh? Wee! Yeah. Wee! The ideal lifestyle is cooking massive amounts of mac and cheese in a cauldron. I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. How to cross-stitch a summoning circle? <gasps> that would be cute. I do like that. Bombastic sparkly sp <gasps> Bombastic sparkly spells for beginners. You know, it does kind of sound like a goblin would write that Zomboti. That that feels that feels like something a goblin would be like. I need to title my book. What should I call it? Bombastic spells. Oh dear. It does, it does sound like it. Making spaghetti! Ooh, delicious! Hell yeah! Enjoy your spaghetti. I wait, are you making it from scratch or are you making it like the dried one? I feel like you would have made dried spaghetti before. Are you making spaghetti from scratch? <gasps> Mystical amount of pasta people? Make spaghetti from scratch? I know pasta is not meant to be that complicated, but I can't say that I, I would go to make it from scratch. I guess if I had like a special occasion maybe? Then yeah, actually, okay, I take it back. If there was a special occasion, a special enough occasion, I probably would do it. But only for that. And I'd probably make tagliatelle. <laughs> Cause I like tagliatelle. <laughs> Ah, oh dear, not from scratch, just the easy way. Fair, fair. Ah, oh dear, cunts and do a spell of bombastic side eye. <laughs> it would be a good spell. All right, uh, that is another one thickened. Uh, I'm just gonna actually just get a little thickness on the bottom of these. Um, then they're not a part of this process, but still, I just want them to look a little thicker at the bottom. Why not? There we go, get that in there, and then... There we go, get them a bit more interesting looking and nice. Nice, okay. Right, so those ones we've decided, I say we, I've decided that maybe like one book in there could be with a title, but I think we'd only have like a maximum of three on this side. And then we'll say one of them's the wrong way around, so four. So we've got seven. Seven book titles. Uh, let's have a look. We'll get, I'm just gonna lay them all out here, I think. We'll just have them all here. Uh, first of all, we had How to Cross Stitch a Summoning Circle. I'm stealing that, that's a great name. Thank you. Uh, how to cross stitch a summoning circle. Uh, and then we had. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Bombastic sparkly spells for beginners. Oh. Can I do bombastic sparkly uh, spells for baby gobblers? Or baby goblins, maybe? Instead? 
I like the idea that it's like magic that you would do at a party. Sparkly spells for... Oh, I could do for under 10s. There you go, so it's like for kids. Bombastic sparkly spells for children's... Because there we go, that, that I, I like that. Yeah, for little baby goblins. Or small ones. Um, and it's smelling really nice! Help, I'm stuck in a book! I mean, that does kind of work, honestly. Help, I'm stuck in a book. All right, two seconds. Help. I'll change the fonts in a minute, by the way. Oh, bock. Book. There you go. Help, I'm stuck in a book. Oh, dear. Yes. Uh, I made... Uh, so I'm reading all of these like, oh, yeah, my favorite book. I once made fettuccine from scratch. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favourite book! Oh dear, how to bake dino nuggets! Okay, how to bake 101 goblin cakes. We can have that on the next one. This is not the baking layer. This is the baking layer. This is a silly layer. 50 shades of spells. It might not have been serious, but I like that. That's silly. Uh... 50 shades of spells. I need three more for this silly shelf. I'm thinking. Mm. I'm gonna do blobology. Blob Olo Blobology. The sub the, the the blobology. The study of blob. We're gonna have hmm. Insert book title. I haven't had that one, but we have got help. I'm stuck in a book, which I feel like has similar vibes. I don't think I think I think I'm okay with one or the other in that case. Um, blob blobology. Didn't we have something else? The Adventures of Purple Goblin. I think I like it, but it's meant to be in a wizard's house, and I feel like that wouldn't be very wizardy. Bottom text. Then again, need for his bottom text. <laughs> PhD. Ah. Oh. So you're now a fish. So you're now a fish. That feels like a wizardy thing. Kind of. One more. One more silly one before we get to recipes. Well, we can come back. The, the, the child at the table, we're gonna have that in your recipe. Oh! No, no, I'm gonna have the child at the table as part of the recipes <laughs> because I think that's sillier, like, as if the table is the recipe. So yes, childcare, yes. How to quietly seal bones, very important. You know what, you're damn right, that's important. Ooh. A guide. Oh god, can we have a space, please? Guide. To court. Can we just maybe have silent stealing? I think it's, yeah, stealing. Because I don't think they necessarily steal your bones. But I, they probably do steal though. Okay, that's seven. We've got all seven. Seven is done. I'm sorry if anyone missed out. <laughs> um, I just need to put these in different texts so they sound different. Help, I'm stuck in a book. And that one can be this one. Uh, Blobology, I think it looks good. We are now a fish. Oh god. Oh, did I do commas instead of dot dot dot? There you go. Oh, actually, let's have that as that, because otherwise we have two with dot dot dots at the end, which is fine, but a bit odd. Um, we are now a fish. A guide to silent stealing. And that other one can be... Uh... This one. There you go. Okay. We have books. We have books. GG's. I feel like a guy just loud stealing would be funnier. <laughs> guy to loudly stealing. All right. Time to move all of these onto their books. Yeah, I think this is the right way of putting it. Count how many books you have. And then do it like this. A guide to loudly... Stealing. There we go. To steal while screaming? I mean, it could just be a guide to loudly screaming. There you go. <laughs> I don't feel like 
you need a guide to find. <laughs> I feel like that's just something inherently you know, but sure, sure. Uh, sure. Oh dear. There you go. 50 shades of spells can go here. Oh, for wizardly incant incantations. But yeah, sure. What a <laughs> sure. Um, let's have um, bombastic spells for under 10s. There was only going to be one this side, so I'm going to make it this one. It's going to be a bit small, unfortunately, but we can we can work around it. We'll still see it. Bombastic sparkly spells for under 10s. And then uh, we need on this so now, okay, we need to take these ones. So you're now fish, uh, how to do this, uh, blobology, uh, and where's help I'm stuck in a book? Help I'm stuck in a book. Come this way. Require you on the other side where there are more books. Here they are. Okay. <laughs> uh, how, come, come, come here. Okay. Uh, so, we have Blobology. There we go. Put that in there. Blobology. We have Sionara Fish. <laughs> um, that would be probably this one. Oh, it's a bit hidden, isn't it? I think you can kind of get the vibe. It's a little hidden, but I think it's okay. Uh, help, I am stuck in this book. There we go. And then stretch it a bit. Make it a bit smaller. Help, oh, I'm stuck in a book. There you go. And then how to cross stitch a summoning circle. be this big one up the side and there we go right now we just have to do the extra decorations hell yeah <laughs> more books also break time up the book oh thank you, thank you. wizardly incantations perhaps gotta scream loudly he's got to yeah it's important otherwise people don't know well, thank you for the horn don't worry don't worry i saw i saw uh fear not for i see that it is break time how are we doing for time we've done four hours I mean, that's kind of what I was aiming for today. Mm, but I don't feel unwell. Tomorrow, by the way, uh, the plan is at the moment that tomorrow I'm going to do an extra stream. Just with the idea of like basically catching up because I had to take yesterday off because we had a power cut. And also today I've only been able to do a half day because of similar reasons. So I'm thinking, do we just do four hours a day or do we go, do we go longer? I don't know, it's tricky, right? Because I know tomorrow I can go for a long time. Or I should be able to, at least, as long as nothing unexpected happens. 50 shades of spells, get that in there. Hmm. It's tricky, it's tricky. I just finished off the book today. Yeah, maybe we could we could finish the bookshelf today, and then that will be the goal. I think that sounds actually like a very smart plan. We'll finish the bookshelf for today. And then we'll continue tomorrow. It's it again. I don't feel that unwell. I'm just a bit sleepy, to be honest. Just a bit sleepy. But tomorrow we should be able to do a good long stream, hopefully. <laughs> As again, I'm, I'm I'm touching wood. Touch. I'm touching wood with my leg right now. You can't see it, but I'm doing it. Touching wood because you never know. But yeah, since we couldn't stream Thursday, and I can't stream Sunday because I'm seeing my family, uh, I would really like to get an extra stream in tomorrow. Just to get more goblin stuff done. I mean, I'm okay with doing the goblin stuff off stream, but like, I honestly really enjoy these streams where we're drawing and stuff, and I'm having a really good time with them. So, when I can, I would really like to do them on stream rather than doing the drawing off stream. Like the last two pages I've done off stream now, and it's fine, but it's a bit lonely doing art on your own. <laughs> and I like it. I like it if I could have other people join and stuff. And like for stuff like this, where you get lots of really silly ideas, like look at all these silly ideas that wouldn't have happened if I'd done it off stream. If I'd done it off stream, I probably would have just written really boring things. So yeah, what I'll do then is, if you guys are all right with it, 
because it means that we probably won't have another another time another discord art share we'll finish the books and then or we could do a discord art share finish the books and then just end stream we could just do that what would you prefer would you prefer to postpone the the discord art share and finish the books and then have one at the end of stream or would you rather do the discord art share now and then not have one at the end of stream what would you prefer what would you prefer we can do, we can do either i don't like one better than the other There you go, just for blobology. Get some like blobby shapes in here. <laughs> oh dear. Put little two dots there. And two little dots there. There we go. The mind. Hmm. Okay. So trifecta, trifecta hotel Trivago. <laughs> Longest most unclear title. Yeah, we could have a try. We have like two. We have electric boogaloo. Also, thank you for the save. Don't mind, I think end of stream. I mean, I do kind of like finishing with it and it would give more people time to finish some bits and bobs if they're like part way through something and want to share it before the end of stream. You'd have like an extra, what I'll do then is I'm going to just reset this and pretend it doesn't happen because otherwise people are going to come in and be like, why are you doing art share? And it's like, uh, because, because we're going to end stream. But basically there probably isn't another hour on there. I expect there'll only be like another 20 minutes for us finishing the books. And that means you have about 20 minutes if you want to post in the Discord art chat, I'm going to assume. I'm going to assume. And then the next one we do will be the last one of the day. There we are. And I'm going to just put little crosses on this because this is cross stitch. I think that's cute. There we go. So that's another, another page. <laughs> oh, another page, another shelf. We've done four shelves. I mean, it does look really, really cool, I will say. There is a lot of Easter eggs in here. But I think it's pretty fun. Nice end stream with. I think it's really nice to end stream. I've honestly been really enjoying ending stream with the with the, the with the art share. It's just such a good vibe of like, I'll show you what I've done for the day, and then we'll see what everybody else has done. I don't know. I I I've really much very much enjoyed that vibe. So yeah, if people are happy with me, just continuing. Normally, by the way, for anyone who's joined us for the first time, I normally aim to stream for about six hours plus, but. Because normally I would stream in the mornings and then get to this time in the afternoon rather than starting in the afternoon. Uh, I, it is getting a little late for me. So um, yeah, that, that's why I'm like thinking of ending. Not because, not because anything really bad. Not because I'm not enjoying myself. It's just, uh, yeah. But then tomorrow, again, should be able to go for a good long time. It should be nice. It should be nice. Get lots of art done. The other thing is, I, I don't know if- okay, we have other artists in chat who can make me feel less crazy right now. Do you forget to blink when you're doing digital art? Or just me? Because whenever I'm doing traditional art, I'm fine. But as soon as I move to digital art, I just stop blinking. And I don't know why. I don't know what, what survival instinct this is that's kicking in that's just like, yeah, Jelly, stop blinking. Because I have to keep reminding myself that I need to blink. Because otherwise I just do this. I just do this the whole time and it hurts my eyes. Not because I'm looking at a screen, but because I'm just not blinking. But it's only digital art that this happens with me. So often, okay, I'm so glad. Oh, Otty, you're going to sleep. Take care. No, you're fine. Go get some good Z's. Hell yeah, you're eating the celery? Delicious. Which shelf are we on? Uh, second to last. And the last one is very small because it's just these ones here. So this is recipes. Last two shelves are going to be recipes. So foods and like for instance like so the goblin so your child ate the table kind of things anything to do with food eating uh it could be uh it could be like ingredients lists of like here are ingredients and where to find them foraging 101 it could be those kind of vibes or it could be just like goblin guides to like different foods because i like the idea of like again it, you know i if i'm gonna be the author here these goblins are foodies it's important they can eat anything so why not eat everything uh, so yes, foodie style, it could either be places to find certain foods, foods from certain regions, or you could think of like, I guess again, foraging, problems with food, allergies, stuff like that. You know, maybe even diet books. I mean, it could be, so you're doing the vegan diet. <laughs> 101 vegetables that don't mind when you eat them, stuff like that. <laughs> vegetables that give consent, all that kind of stuff. You could, I guess, take it in, in, in many ways. 
I think as long as we're not incorporating too much real world culture, that would be the only thing of like, we have the Spanish book as a meme, but I kind of want to separate this world from our world. I want it to be a fantasy world, really. So uh, yes, take things fantastical, I would say, rather than like, uh, visit Spain. <laughs> as much as Spain is cool, I do be liking Spain. And Spanish food's really good. Not, not, not quite in universe. That's why the Spanish book's meant to be a meme. <laughs> All right, let me decide how many. We've got four on that side. Okay, we'll have two books backwards there, one book backwards there. I'll, I'll sort that out now and then we can start coming up with some names. Okay, let's have this one because it's kind of small be the one that's uh, backwards this time. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. And on this side, we have one very thin book, which, yeah, won't be very useful for very much. But I can't really make it backwards either because the, the strokes are too thick. Hmm. So I guess we have one backwards one, one useless book for a title at least. And then we have these ones, which are a bit hidden. Okay. So I think, I think that's fine. I don't think I want to do more than that. Otherwise, we're just not going to have any options. So we have one, two, three four if you include the one that's been very cut off and then one two three so let's say seven but one of them bear in mind will not be very visible i think all right now where's the child one that one's important uh what's the kid one the so you so your child ate the table that's it right so your child ate the table so your child ate the table uh, I, I need that one. Important. Okay. Um, let's have a look. What have you guys suggested? How to collect teeth for a cake? Oh god, it's very specific. Uh, they don't I get such bad drive from it. Yeah, I keep forgetting as well. You get that with cross-stitching? Or... Uh, it doesn't inspire It happens with most games, but even just looking at a phone, it slows your blink. Oh, really? Interesting. Best waffles from across the kingdom. Yes, you wanted that one earlier, didn't you? Let me get that one in. Best waffles across the kingdom. And then we have uh, how to bake a hundred goblins toadstool diet, book idea, meat to wheat, a cannibal's guide to. Oh my god, that's good. Yuki, you came in with a with a absolutely amazing one. Oh my god, Yuki was immediately on the same page as us. Um, okay, we've got how to bake a hundred goblins. I don't know if the, I don't know if cannibalism is a big part of the diet though. The toadstool diet, we could do a toadstool diet. I like that. Toadstool diet. Why you can't bring teeth to a pig set? God damn the teeth. Oh dear. Invisible recipes. You can figure it out. Maybe secrets. Mm. A thousand cookies in one night. Unbelievable. Uh, low iron diet. How to avoid girders? God. <laughs> it's very cursed. Okay, we'll take that one. I like that one. Thank you very much. Also, just to be clear, if I'm obviously not going to be able to use everyone's idea, but listen, if I don't use the idea, it might not be right for this particular story, but it doesn't mean that it's not a good idea. <laughs> I Obviously, I have some ideas in my mind where I'm like, I kind of want to fit between these guidelines, but you can't necessarily know that. So if I don't use yours, don't worry. It's not that it's not a good idea. It doesn't fit between very specific guidelines. <laughs> uh, or it just hasn't been written into the law yet. Um, hmm. So you find that there were best waffles across the kingdom. Total diet? Oh, total diet probably shouldn't have a question mark at the end, should it? There you go, total diet. Uh, low iron diet, how to avoid girders. Hmm. Bombastic sparkly spells, there they are. Hmm. I mean, we could just have a how to bake. Maybe. How to bake. Oh, or maybe bake. How to bake. And then. Eggs, 100 ways. There you go. Wait, that, we've still got a few more to go because we have the ones in the next one, but I think this is a good start. I think this is a good start. How to bake can become uh, this one. Um, iron diet, I like that one. I like the idea that the toadstool diet's a little fancier than the girder diet. So we'll have this one be this one. Uh, I like... 
Oh wait, it's not meant to have book idea, is it? <laughs> I'm an idiot. Ignore me, ignore me. Meat to wheat. A cannibal's guide to recovery. Yeah, because I don't think they should be eating each other. That's what I've got. So your child at the table. I think I want the child at the table to also be in like silly italics. There you go. So your child at the table. A sad story. <laughs> All right. Got some more. Double check the blinking stat. The article says that the doing Our bleed rate goes down to about 10%. So we're normally. Oh my god. That's really intense. And don't leave your steak burning at the steak. We can leave that for the. Okay, so on the next shelf, we have. We'll say three. Because I might use a couple of those for like the other ones. So, yes. Let's say three or so. Uh, how to bake is going to be the hidden one because I feel like it's the most boring and it's also one of mine so I don't feel offended or nobody else can feel offended about me hiding most of it. Uh, there you go. Most of that is going to be very much invisible. And then... Go. How to avoid girders. You don't want to be eating girders. That's no good for you. Uh, let's have that be a little smaller so I can do like some girders at the side as decoration later. <laughs> and then we have eggs a hundred ways. There we go. And so your child ate the table. Just stretch this a little bit. It's a bit more filling the space. Put your child at the table. There you go. Okay, and then we have these ones for the other side, which is uh, best waffles in the kingdom, meat to wheat, and a toadstool diet. Come with me. There are books on the other side that you must come see. Oh dear. Be rebel. Blink on purpose. I can do that. Oh dear. What if one of them was called This Is Not A Book? So we actually have, I don't know if you can see it here, help, I'm stuck in a book. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Extremely secret box of trinkets. Kind of like the extremely secret, an extremely secret. <gasps> That'd be kind of fun. Oh yeah, yes. To be fair though, it's nice though, because I'm glad that some people have similar ideas because it means that the sense of humor is already there. It's good, we like that, we like that. All right, we've got Toadstool diet, meat to wheat, Hannibal's guide to recovery. Actually, I might for this one, because it's kind of a long title, I might... There you go. Have it like that. I think that makes more sense in this case, because it's quite a big title. Meat to wheat. Uh, and then uh, best waffles from across the kingdom, which is a subtle nod to what is about to happen in the story. We got it in there, we got it in there. Our secretive little nod. I'm gonna keep it quite small because it's a bit of an Easter This one's actually a bit of an Easter egg. <laughs> there we go. And then we have just a few more down there, but I do need to just quickly get all of these sorted. Get the rest of the details in, you know, all that kind of stuff. Rasterize! And then merge. And then we can just start erasing things because here this is not looking very good. There we go, get rid of that. And get rid of that. Oh, oh god, where did I go? Oh my god, here I am, sorry, excuse me. <laughs> Got lost for a second there. Let's get some pretty details on these books. And then we have the last few. Oh yeah, we're nearly done, we're nearly done. Oh dear. Which year, how to magically, <laughs> how to summon furniture. Oh dear, heckin' relatable. There we go. We need eggs. Wait a minute. And then, like an egg cracking, you know? <laughs> there you go. So your child ate the table. Second did, and they've got like a very nice, very formal looking book for, for your child ate the table. Uh, this one! Have another one like this. And like this. Come on, do neat lines, please. These are fancy books in a wizard's house. They gotta look, they gotta look nice and fancy. 
and then get that in there since you cannot see most of that one anyway. Uh, oh, and this one, of course, even though it's just a little skinny book, it's still important that it gets some details on it. It'll look like it stands out in the wrong kind of ways. There you go. And then across here, <laughs> hello, <laughs> hello, waffles. Okay, we can have this be like a little waffle kind of like a little check sort of texture, like the texture of a waffle. So, yeah, look at that. I feel like a lot of recipe books do have these silly things on the spine as well. Like, I say silly things, it's like marketing, but I do feel like a lot of recipe books do have those silly little things on the spine. So it's not even that, that out there. There you go. Toadstool Diet. Ooh, that's, that's, gonna, that's gonna be really fancy looking. That's a fancy book right there. Like so, donk, donk. And like so. Donk, donk. And then, what is this one? Ah, meat to wheat. The corner's in there. Go. Very nice. That's another shelf. We zoom out. That's looking pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, that does look pretty damn cool. I actually really like this. Thank you. You are drunk an egg. I was gonna suggest that. I am. I also stand out in the wrong kind of ways. No, you're good. You're good. Financial security and more finance fantasies. Goblins past, present. Yes, also too real. <laughs> okay, let's just get a couple in there so we know what we're going for. I'll take Goblin King's past and present because it's a nice reference to the story and I do appreciate that. Uh, so let's get Goblin King's past and present. Uh, we'll have... Oh. Oh no, that's not what I want to do. Goblins, kings are past and present. We can do... Hmm... I'm just going to put... Secret... Oh, secret diary. There you go. And then... Do not read. <laughs> there you go. Kind of going on from Zombotis. Foot! Just foot? Oh, the spaghetti's really yummy! Hell yeah! Oh dear. And then one more, I think. One more. What are you doing? Oh god, yeah, sorry! I don't think I've ever explained it! Hi, I'm an embroidery artist. It's, I'm very lost. I don't, this is not my normal area. Um, <laughs> basically, uh, okay, how can I explain us? Cults one all run. I don't know, I don't wanna I don't wanna build in cults yet. I think I wanna flesh that out a little bit more before I add it in. Ah oh dear, I think I need more. You know what? I kinda like financial security and more finance fantasies. It's silly. We'll take that one. That's our last one. There you go. <laughs> Alright, who are we? Uh my name's Jelly. Um at the moment I'm on a goblin binge. These are my goblins. This is Mabel. This is Charlotte. This is Syrup. And Waffles is my other OC, but Waffles isn't in the story yet. So it's basically chicken and waffles, Mabel and Syrup, and they're my breakfast goblins. <laughs> and I love them very, very much. Um, basically, we're going to make an animation soon, but I'm an embroidery artist. What I do is hand embroidery. Uh, I'll show you the video again. You know what? Screw it. You get to see the video. Uh, this is one we made for the Iron Mouse animation competition, which is why it's a clip from Iron Mouse. We actually won the Iron Mouse animation uh, competition. And uh, this is this is the kind of animation we all make. Right, it's all made with hand embroidery <laughs> specifically. I feel like I should get my class first, you know? You have to be a part of the country club, Connor, play along. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd love to join the country club. Good. I got my snakeskin boots ready. Four big guys, and they stole my eyes. They eat my asses like apple pie. If they keep <laughs> me like this, I might just die. They pipe my booties till I cry. He licked my in the start dripping. Check a bag of it tastes like women pepper chicken. He throw me up in the air, my booty. What the fuck is this? It should have been me. Kill me. Kill me. It's not fair. There you go. There you go. So we're going to be doing that again, but with uh, with my own goblins. So basically what I'm doing at the moment is making a little backstory for my goblins, because for anyone who joins in the middle of the next section when we're doing the animation, they're going to be very lost. They're going to be like, what the hell are you doing? So I'm making a little a little backstory so that anyone who joins once we've started the animation doesn't have to worry about catching up on months of work. They can just be like, oh, this is what you're doing. I understand. 
done. Uh, because otherwise, it is a lot to ask of people to be like, hey, so I've been streaming like a hundred hours on this project so far. Um, can you just go catch up? It's like, no, no, no. So what we're doing is a little comic. Uh, it's only going to be like 12, 13 pages long, which basically introduces the goblins and the series. And that way, when I say we're making an animation for the next part of the series, people know where we're at and can catch up very quickly uh, in their own time as well. That's the other thing in their own time without having to wait for me to explain it to you because uh, I feel like that could be kind of annoying as well so yeah that's uh that's where we're at that's where we're at and that's what we're doing so we're not really digital artists I literally draw everything with a mouse and keyboard because we've never invested in digital art stuff because that's not what we really do here we normally do embroidery art um however yeah for this in particular we need to be getting some digital art done so that's what we're doing and to be honest I've really been enjoying it. I, again, I'm a bit newer as an as a traditional artist, I guess. Uh, I I am more at home amongst embroidery and like all that kind of stuff and cosplay and sewing and everything there. So this is a little out of my comfort zone, to be honest. But I've been really enjoying myself. And we we did a project before this, which we finished the last week, this week, really recently. <laughs> I think we finished it this week on Monday, kind of. Um, we finished it really recently where we drew loads of people in the in the community as goblins to get used to drawing goblins. Uh, and then, yeah, now we've kind of moved on to my own stuff. And hopefully, if we can get this comic finished a bit sooner. Unfortunately, this week's been just one of those weeks. Uh, we had a really big power outage yesterday in our area. So even though I was going to stream for like my normal time I had to obviously stop because we didn't have any power and that was like after half an hour of streaming so we hadn't even started art at that point we were still chatting we were like hey how's everyone doing good morning oh you know what have you been up to kind of stuff we were having our morning chit and chat and uh, and then my power went out and, and <laughs> it's been a bit of a time and then I got sick right after I realized I was ill and it's like great that being said <laughs> you know what makes me happy this uh, also, for anyone, like, this is my original sketch. This is a sketch we started with today. This is what it looks like now. I, I really like that. I really like that. It's got a lot of really silly things in it. Like, look at all these silly books. <laughs> look at all of this. Look at all of this silliness. Oh my god. Going the whole way down. Loads of silly books. But I love it. I love it. Progress. Woo! <laughs> Hell yeah. Mercedes spells because it might be too risky. Nah, it's tame. Oh yeah, we already have up here um, compendium of NSFW slimes from one slime lover to another. <laughs> Love the potions. How you're full of com community. Yummy, delicious, delicious community. It's awesome for being out of your comfort zone. Oh, thank you. I, I really enjoyed this. This was really fun. I, I have been really enjoying drawing them. Like they've, it's been really fun. And while I'm not really this kind of artist, it's been really fun. I will say as well, the other artists we've met who do goblins or do comics and stuff like that in the community, it's been really welcoming. I, I do think a lot of you who do web comics are kind of masochists in the nicest way possible <laughs> because the heckin' workload you put on yourselves is so high, but it's been really, really nice to meet other people that do this kind of stuff. And I think it's really interesting. Again, I'm more in my element when it comes to embroideries and all this kind of stuff. This is where I'm happy, but I'm enjoying this and I'm having a really good time, a much better time than I actually thought that I would be having. So I definitely can't complain. That being said, that is one of two panels done. That, and I think it means it's time to do a community art share. So this is what I've done for the day. I'm very, very happy. I really, really like it. And thank you everyone who suggested book titles, whether we use them or not, I really appreciate it. Um, and then for, for the Discord, what other people have been working on. <laughs> oh, bless you. Thank you for making a clip of it. That's very kind of you. Oh. <laughs> First of all, very important. I do see people have posted, but here are our sexy slimes for the day. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's, that's some sexy slime action right there. We have tiny bikini slime, cowboy slime, uh, in a thong and, and nipple cover slime, princess Leia slime, and shibari slime. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, Schleeps, for the uh, for the full collection of slimes. I appreciate it. Uh, they look. I, I'm very proud of these. This is the most art that I've done today. This is. I'm very, I'm very glad. Uh, do you think you'd ever do a draw in your style of goblins? I wouldn't mind it. Yeah, like I, I wouldn't be against it. I mean, aren't all art artists some kind of masochist? Is a very fair point. Of all the words I expected to hear, look at these little friends. Look at these little friends. Shibari slime. <laughs> look at the little butt. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, going across now, we have anime. Both are done! Oh my god, they're so neat. So we have a lot of very talented crafters in this community. It's like not just like traditional artists, we also have people that sew, people that do embroidery, people that do knitting and crochet, 3D modeling, woodwork, metalwork, music, and food. So we have a lot of- we're very very blessed, so it's always nice to go see what people are doing. And anime is incredibly neat. If you've never met anime- thank you for shouting out anime. Good. If you've never met anime before, the one thing that you should know about anime sewing style is it's incredibly neat and incredibly precise. They also make a lot of patterns, which it's a lot of very detailed line work. It's very satisfying. Very, very satisfying. This looks great. Well hecking done. So productive. Variety is in fact the spice of life. That would have been a good book name. Oh dear. And then for- uh, <laughs> My attire for Jelly and Ravel streams. Sack. <laughs> oh my god, look at the feet though. <laughs> Crunchy potato packs. Phone charger. You look very heckin' comfortable. Listen, I can't complain. I think we all, all of us deep down want to be this. I want to be this. No arms. High neck pants. Is there a link to the Discord? Yeah, there is a link to the Discord. I can grab it for you. It's exclamation mark Discord. But uh, I can grab it. There you go. There you go. So you can come see it with all the rest of us. Oh dear, Sean. I love this. It, it, we all want to be this. Like, I know- Oh! I've just got the- my device is running an old version of Photoshop. I, literally, give me a second. I'll do that after stream. I'm not updating in the middle of stream. Also, <gasps> some boaty- oh my god. It's stunning. They, oh my god. This is so pretty. Oh. Oh. Why can't I be them? I want to be your art. We can eat your art, but I also want to be your art. I want to be a mixture of your art and Sean's art, actually. The hair of this character with the pajamas of this character. <laughs> I wish that's what I want. That's what I want to be. Immaculate hair and then just but just like one pajama pant. That's all I want. Uh, the, how do you eat them? With your feet, I think. You'd have to just be dexterous with your foot, right? Thank you for the, de uh, the generous donation of piss. I appreciate it. Ah, oh, this for his is lovely. Fox girly. I love this. I love the earrings as well. I love the. I, I love everything. I love the texture of the hair, like how voluminous it is. Hell yeah, very hecking nice. All right, if we go into knitting and crochet, <gasps> an army, <laughs> an army. Oh my god, a, a veritable army of cute. Oh my god, clues. They're so cute! You have created an army! <laughs> oh my god, I love them! Are they- are, are you going to sell them or are they just like a for home collection? Because I completely understand if you've just made this as a collection for yourself. They are too cute. They are so cute. This- uh, the theme of these are beautiful. Clues, I love them. Thank you for sharing your adorable, adorable army with us. Locally, yes, that's very fair. Very fair. In food, <gasps> the spaghetti that anime made. This is this is what they made. Hell yeah, looks delicious anime. I'm sure we're all very jealous. I'm jealous actually. Uh, I don't know what I'm having for dinner. I wish I was having this. <laughs> Pasta, <laughs> made all on my own. It looks fantastic. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Well heckin' done. Well heckin' done. Good on you. And then if we look into embroidery, <gasps> the progress from Prism, who is making, uh, just for reference, they're making this this sloth. Hey, you have the progress shot. Hell yeah. It is coming there. It's coming along. Soon enough, you'll have a little sloth face. I feel like once the face is looking back at you, the motivation, because there'll be a face there being like, you're gonna do me? You're gonna do some, some more stitches, please? Maybe not you're gonna do me. That's not the right terminology, but you know what I mean. <laughs> You can do some more stitches. Tigly a tilly. <laughs> the less I can eat it tomorrow. Very hacking smart. Very hacking smart. Right. In that case, thank you everybody for joining me for stream today. I really appreciate it. I know it's a bit out of our normal time. We're a bit later than usual. But thank you everybody for sticking to do me. That's not what I meant. <laughs> not Phil. You know what I meant. <laughs> um, tomorrow we're going to be doing... Uh, what do you call it? <laughs> Gonna be, we're gonna be doing we're gonna be doing things tomorrow. We're gonna be doing more of this. We're gonna be getting more pages done. I might chip away a little bit in the in the background. I'd love to do some coloring on stream at some point, like getting some of the the colors in. So maybe what I I'll try to do is maybe do the other line work this evening. And then maybe we could do some coloring tomorrow because I haven't done that on stream. I've just been doing the line art on stream and like, that's fine. I like that, but it'd be nice to do it a little, little, little bit different. Um, I'll have to double check to see exactly how long I can go for tomorrow. 
and if anyone's coming over but hopefully we should be able to go for a good long time I'll, I'll update in the discord if anything dramatic happens in the meantime though we're gonna send you all on to another bean and we have oh my god we have some amazing options actually we, because we're on much later than usual oh no there's so many people i'd like to send you to um okay okay how do you feel about going to another artist who is make if it looks absolutely stunning it looks like almost fairy themed i could be wrong um who is doing pickles or no pickles <laughs> pickles or no pickles i think that sounds pretty good ah oh, dear choose on boaty hell yeah oh the thing Hydrate. So we're gonna make, we're gonna make Durkle. I don't know if I've ever raided Durkle before, to be honest. I'll shout them out in case any of you get stuck behind, because sometimes that happens. Sometimes we be getting stuck behind with Twitch stuff. Um, I don't know if I've ever raided them before. So this might be a, a first time raid from us. Um, if we have, it definitely hasn't been for a while because again, I'm not normally on this late. So yeah, it's a good opportunity to to run by someone who we don't normally get to run by. Ah oh, dear. All right. In case. You are new here. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining and being chill. And thank you for all the people that have come back. I really appreciate it. Thank you for everyone on YouTube for helping me get my vote showers up. I really appreciate that. Stay safe, everyone. Have a lovely, lovely rest of the day. And I will see you tomorrow, hopefully, for as long as I can go. <laughs> and if you are watching in the YouTube, thank you so much for helping me.